My hair, it don't move. My hair, it don't move. It don't move. My hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? My hair, it don't move. My hair, my hair, my hair, it don't move. My hair, my hair, my hair, it don't move. Yo, look, yo, look, yo, look, yo, look, yo, look. Woo! Bad idea. Yo, look, hey, yo, yo, look. Step well, yo, look, look. Bad, bad, bad idea. My hair, it don't move. My hair, it don't move. It don't move. My hair, it don't move. You don't get My hair, it don't move. Gorilla glue. Bad, bad, bad. Hello, I am Narada Hayes. I am both a licensed cosmetologist and salon owner of over eight years here at the Green Thumb Salon located in Decatur, Georgia. As a licensed professional, my clients expect me to not only use the best tools, but also the best products for their natural hair. That is why as a professional, I both use and recommend Loved by Birdie Cuticle Oil. This cuticle oil is not only exceptional for nails, but is just as amazing for scalp and hair. Formulated with jojoba oil, this oil blend will not only lubricate the hair, but also help to regulate your scalp sebum production. This makes this oil suitable for all hair types, including those with extremely dry or oily scalp without being greasy. This lock retwist was done on clean hair using only the Loved by Birdie cuticle oil. A little goes a long way. Apply a few drops directly to the scalp and hair and allow the oil to smooth and coat the hair from root to tip. And that's it. Even without using any styling products, this oil will soften and condition the hair, leave it full of a sparkling sheen, and assist in sealing and retaining moisture in the hair shaft. So what are you waiting for? Show your hair, scalp, or nails some love today with the Loved by Birdie Cuticle Oil. To purchase this oil and other nail and nail art essentials, visit lovedbybirdie.com and use the discount code TRIBE15 to get 15% off your entire order. This stream is sponsored largely in part from patrons on Patreon, YouTube channel members, and donations from viewers like you. Thank you. This live stream is protected under fair use for criticism and commentary. This live stream features videos of select content creators via viewer requests seeking my professional and personal criticism and commentary. As a fellow vlogger, I encourage everyone to check out and support the creators featured here. Here in our tribe, we are a community, and we do not encourage negativity, mean-spiritedness, or cyberbullying. If that is what you are about, this stream is not for you. There is not any malicious or unethical intent of my use of the videos featured. We can disagree and engage in intense discussion, but be sure to be respectful and gracious, not only to each other, but also to the creators. It's easy to sit back and have judgment and opinions of them, but it takes a lot to get on here and share yourself, your thoughts, and your work. If your videos have been featured on this channel and you would like to have them removed, please feel free to contact me directly via email or my social media platforms located in the video description.
All right. Hey, what, oh, I'm like, why are we sitting so low? Oh, first off, we need to empty this jar. Okay. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Hola, hola. It wasn't the volume. It's just not matching up with the video. Oh. Again. I don't know. YouTube, y'all, YouTube. All right, okay, good to know. Um, so, what's up, everybody? Um, we are back for another watch party. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, everyone's having a great day today. My day started off terribly. It wasn't that bad. I'm being a little dramatic. I just was woken up out of my sleep. Both of us. I already went to bed late. I got woken about my sleep like three hours in. And y'all know, like, I don't sleep that well to begin with. But um, the supplements my uh, doctor got me taking has been getting me to bed a reasonable time and keeping me asleep relatively longer. It's still some things I need to tweak about my sleep. But I'm a light sleeper. So once you wake me up, like, there's no going back to sleep. So I was kind of restless and irritable today. Um, it was cool. We just had a situation with our garage. <laughs> Yo. it, we, it got rectified, <laughs> but I just didn't want to deal with it at 6 in the morning when I went to sleep at 3. Has anybody like, ever got the garage? Is it, okay, anybody who got a garage, is it automatic, first off? Has ever got stuck to the point where you couldn't get your car out? That's the issue we had this morning, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but we, we got it. Yeah, we got it fixed now. Together. It ain't fixed. Yeah, fixed. But we, we, we got the cars, cars out. out. Yeah, that was the problem. <laughs> we got so many damn cars in this damn house. Like, yeah. everyone couldn't get out. So Yeah, it was bad. Um, it was, lit his car. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Aaliyah been driving me around today. So, thank you, sis. I mean, you always show for me, nigga. So, shoot. Yeah, I never think about it like that. You do, though. <laughs> it, it threw me off. Because literally, when we went back to the car, we were out. Force a habit, y'all. I, went, I unlocked the car with the keys and went straight for the passenger side. He was like, what are you doing? I said, oh, shit. <laughs> She's so used to not driving with me. Her ass going to yep. take the key, unlock it, and then go stand by the passenger side. I'm, and like, I'm looking at him like, what you doing? He and then like, not only doing? that, I get in the car on the passenger yep. side, and my ass reaching for the seatbelt on the left side, and I'm like, where is this seatbelt at? I'm reaching for fucking air because the shit is on the right side. He's my personal <laughs> chauffeur, y'all. That's what it is. I oh, so yeah, that was um, that was <laughs> that was interesting today. It was a lot. Um, but it was cool. Um, today was productive. We got stuff done. Um, as you can see, didn't stick with my diet today. <laughs> Do listen. Today was stressful. I, I just didn't feel like dealing with that. So I said, fuck it. Today going to be a cheat day, and I'm not going to feel bad about this shit. I'm going to just eat what the fuck I want to eat today so I can feel better about life. All right. Um, Let me see. Every so often, our door senses will become misaligned. Ooh. Yeah. But that weird. damn garage was heavy, y'all. It took both of us to lift that shit. Because when he tried, he couldn't get it up by himself. He was like, no, nah, this shit. Maybe bad. I was just tired and I just didn't you feel were, like trying. Yeah, it was 6 in the morning. My mom woke us up. Like, we woke him up and I was in the living room sleeping. So I woke up through it all. I'm like, what the hell is going on? I'm looking over the couch like. <laughs> and I didn't want to wake her up because I already know mom was up there making yeah, she noise. Turned the light on in there, everything. She slept over on the couch. And I'm like. I was up at that time. I was like, when you came, I heard when she said, you might want to ask Leah. I was like, I know he coming. Yeah, I, I I just assumed you was going to take me because I was like, she said she ain't got nothing to do today, yeah. but I ain't want to assume like you ain't Thank got you. nothing to do today. That's out of respect, though, but I got you. You know, I wasn't doing shit. But, yeah. <laughs> Did the spring break? You um, think? Possibly? No, when, when normally when we can't operate our garage, we put on manual and I can lift it up, take it down real easy. For some reason this morning... Yeah, it was, like, resisting, so it took, like, two people to get it up, but we got it up, so it's cool. <laughs> it's just still halfway up. Um, yeah. <laughs> she wanted to leave it like Ooh, that, too. we got a new subscriber. Right, the new sounds. Look, hi. Yeah, I, I changed it up. I got sick of the old sound. So, all right, um, <laughs> what else do I need to uh, mention? Um, for the Patreon and channel members... We are going to have our sip and paint on February the twenty the nineteenth. Yeah, February the nineteenth, which is a Saturday. 
I just want to go ahead I'll and that put too. that out there now so that y'all can get y'all little paint supplies and things. I gotta um, get mine. For the channel members, just wait for a second. I got to give y'all your post um, in the community tab um, so that y'all know like what we're doing, what to expect, what we're painting, all of that so that you can get all that together. I just haven't done that yet. So just FYI, it's coming soon. If you don't hear nothing from me in, in a sec, like just let me know. I have a lot of shit going on. But um, yeah, just that's happening next month. Okay, I'm gonna keep saying that. Um, What's up, Christy? By the way, she said you stay eating. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> now, one thing I'm not doing though is oh. drinking. Ali got her wine today, and I said nope, not me, bitch. You gonna talk about that? I will. Um, I will say for the channel members, the, the paint party is um, open for Patreon members and channel members of both my hair channel and my gaming channel. I did open it up for both of y'all. So thank you for all the love and support. I'm glad we can do something together outside of just chilling, kicking in, watching videos together, which is fine. You know, I just want to give y'all a little bit more this shit. You know, just a little bit more. Um, speaking of the Patreon... So, you know, y'all know I hate to do this. Y'all know I hate to do this. She's proud of you, though. I I feel, thank you, Christian. I feel like a broken record sometimes because I feel like I'll be addressing the same shit on a different fucking day. But um, y'all y'all saw last all last year I was like, I'm not drinking. On the hair stream, I'm gonna save it for the Patreon. I'm gonna save it for the Patreon. You got to watch it, <laughs> catch it on the Patreon. I was like, no, you know, it's cool. You know, like open up support. You know, it is what it is. Like we all just kicking and having fun. No, that's too much yeah. for some of y'all. So you know what the fuck I'm gonna do? Y'all ain't gotta worry about me drinking out here no fucking more because I'm getting tired of everybody. So no, no, no. Let me get it out. Let me get out. I'm getting tired of everybody being, you know, speaking of which, my, where my heart rate monitor at? <laughs> oh, shit, y'all. Where my heart rate monitor at? Yeah, this, this really, like, made him mad, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm just over it. It's like, everyone's just too fucking judgmental, and I'm just tired of everybody, like, nitpicking at every little fucking thing. It's like, back in, back in the day, a year ago, two years ago, we ain't had to deal with this shit. Like, I would just get on. We would just kick it. We would, like, and, like, it is what it is. Like, I didn't want to have to, like, create a whole Patreon and create this paywall and shit for people to get through. Like, I wanted to just get on here, have fun, kick it with y'all, and enjoy, like, the videos and shit. I get it. I be getting a little wild and crazy sometimes. It's fucking New Year's. Who doesn't get a little turn? It's, it's New, new year's. year's. As long as you say it's, it's new, new year's. fucking Year's. Like... <laughs> Oh, my God, like, y'all act like I get sloppy drunk every time I sip wine, like, the fuck? So, you know what I'm going to do? Because I'm, I'm just getting tired of the little comments and the little, I'm concerned for your sister and, you know. Oh, like, that, too. A lot of people had, like, we're worried about your sister. You're so mean to her. Y'all, this is my brother. I've been here living with him since day one. I know his type of humor. I know how he moves. I don't take this shit to heart. See, I, I warned him about people taking it to heart, though. He'd be like, what you mean? I said, yo, I'm used to your, you know, sarcasm and nonchalantness, but other people, they're not. So, so I'm like, people, stop asking to check it up on me. I'm good. He's not abusive <laughs> whatsoever. Whatsoever. Despite how it looks, I'm always in control. Like, I might be a little angry, tipsy, like, just going off. I'm just talking mad shit. That's what I do. I just talk mad shit. Like, that's why she don't pay my ass no fucking attention. I don't. But it's cool. It is what it is. And, you know, since it bothers some of y'all so much, I'm going to just not do it. Because I'm getting tired of y'all referring to me and calling me an alcoholic and shit. And I don't take that shit lightly. My stepfather was an alcoholic. And that shit traumatized the fuck out of me to the point where I can't remember shit before sixth grade. Like, I I don't play that shit. Like. Damn. No, it ain't nothing to talk about. I don't know. Like, I don't remember shit. Really? Like, and this is my girl said, Aaliyah's a bad <laughs> Y'all funny. Y'all funny. No, it's cool. It's, it, it is what it is. It, it's, I'm just, I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of people hinting at it. 
and leaving little snot remarks. Like, I've had people come to the salon and say shit. I've had people, like, say shit to her. I've seen shit on the internet. And you know what? I'm not embarrassed by me drinking and acting a fool and having because I'm having a good time. I'm grown. Like, I can do that. I, I own a business. Yeah. And it's not like I'm going to get fired for getting drunk on a live stream. Like, y'all have to worry about that shit with your yeah, 9 to 5. I don't have to worry mind, about that. It's entertainment, too. Like, y'all, he... I ain't gonna say he does the most sometimes, but when you look at your system, you know like, everybody play up a little bit. You know the camera, <laughs> the camera on, the on, lights on. We in the moment. It happens. It like, happens. It's fine. I, I I ain't even pressed about it no more. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave it the way it was because the shit was working for us on Patreon. But since it bothers y'all so fucking much. It's fine. Y'all ain't got to worry about the shit no more. And you know what else? I'm about to be born and dry on this fucking live stream. Because oh, every no. time, yeah, I'm going to be sitting through these videos like, but don't, hmm, don't do them like for the people hmm, who ain't like No that, comment. Though. No comment because y'all have something to say on everything I fucking do. So you know what? Yes. Now y'all really going to be fucking. See, what y'all done did. <laughs> what y'all done did. Um, what else? Um, so that's a wrap. Um, I'm not even drinking anyway this year. I'm detoxing. So it's the salon. Yeah. Yeah. People have, people have come to the salon yeah. and, you know, um, I don't know who they are, but you know, Henny told me, you know, she had a client or two that was like concerned. They were like, Oh, you know, I watched, the, you know, his channel. I, I watched for years. I'm just a little concerned with, like, how the channel is going. It's not what it used to be, and he's drinking a lot, and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, don't worry about it. Y'all ain't out of sight, out of mind. Oh. Y'all ain't got to see it no Epiphany? more. Epiphany? No, it's not. And the problem is not on Patreon. It's on YouTube. That's the issue. No, it's on here. Yeah. Like, that's why That's, that's why, why I'm a drink on. Yeah, that's YouTube why I'm Patreon. only drinking over there. Um, You know. I thought it was cool. I thought we was having fun. And I'm pretty sure for most of y'all we were. Uh, I guess it just annoyed some of y'all, like, so much so that y'all just couldn't mind your fucking business. And y'all wanted to be, like, opinionated and judgmental. It's fine. I get it. Um, for those of y'all, y'all know who y'all are. Not all y'all, of course, but the I'm ones, just, yeah. 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 It's cool. It's cool. It's I just, a few exits to ruin the batch, bro. Uh, I, I just, I guess for me... It just upsets me so because, like, I really, really, really just want this to be something that I can just get on and just, like, be open and genuine and authentic and just, like, myself and have fun. But, like, people get so easily, like, offended over everything. So now it's like I have to conduct myself in a way where I'm, like, at work. And you know, I treat I treat this like I'm at work. Block them. No, it's not. It's not a matter of blocking because it's always going to be people. I don't know who these people are. Like, I don't know who they are. I just know I keep seeing it, and it's irritating me to the point where I just don't want to deal with it. So to not deal with it, I'm just not going to do it on here. And that's it's it's a done deal. It's fine. Um, it sucks. You know, they fuck it up for everybody else. That's that's life. That's what it is. Um. And what else? Oh, um, so a lot of people have been trying to help me out with my. You're a wizard. <laughs> Sorry, you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> a lot of people have been trying to help me out with um, my insomnia and things. I appreciate the help, but um, it's one of those things where I just like I know my body. Like I've been in my body so long, and I've been dealing with insomnia for so long that I just know, like, certain things is not going to help my insomnia. Like, the problem is not me not being able to relax or me having anxiety or me needing some type of behavioral therapy. I saw that, too. I'm not offended by any of the comments or suggestions people were making. Cynthia. Huh? Cynthia. Cynthia. Cynthia, come. What? She said, could you at least get lit in the Discord and react to videos on the Discord? Um, yeah, we can. So it's, okay, so Patreon and Discord. Yeah. Okay. Um every, everything everything there. behind the paywall. I just, yeah. you know, I just Yeah, I'm mm -mm. So yeah, Patreon I, and I Discord. can't I can't keep doing this. Like it's it's irritating me. So, you know, I'm not bringing this into 2022. This is the thing that's bringing them stress, y'all. I'm this. not I'm not Yeah, cuz I'm not I'm not even stressed like if you if you with my everyday life like I'm so fucking chill. Like I wake yeah. up 
I fucking play my little video games. I get on and stream. People get mad because I stream all fucking day. I I thought I was cool. Like, I'm enjoying this shit. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't want to be here, I wouldn't be here. But I'm here for... Who the fuck gets on and stream for fucking five, six hours? Like, I, I do it because I enjoy this shit. But since it bothers y'all so much, like, I, I just don't... I don't know what to do with you. But you know what I'm not going to do? I'm just not going to drink. That's fine. I'm not going to drink. Um... Anyways, back to the insomnia. Um, thanks to everybody that's trying to give me advice and help me out with that. Um, it's okay. I, I don't need any more suggestions. Um, and I mean that in the nicest way possible. Um, everyone keeps wanting me to take CBD. Um, I did research on it, and I don't know if that's something I'm willing to um, test and play around with right now with the health issues and things I'm dealing with right now. Um, I get it, but I don't think, I, I really don't feel like in my spirit, like that's what I need. I know it's not going to get me high and, you know, it ain't got nothing to do with the weed and stuff. It's just like, right now, I'm really just trying to go from a health and wellness point and there's not, there hasn't been enough research with the effects of CBD and the dosages um, with like dealing with insomnia and things. It deals more so with anxiety and people who have anxiety about not getting sleep, but that's not my issue. So, um, yeah. Um, thanks, but I'm good. I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> I, I've been dealing with it this long. Like, this ain't nothing new. Like, in high school, I was up for 72 hours. Like, not because... I was stressed or going through shit like I just couldn't sleep. Some people just have insomnia. Yeah, like, I mean really, it is it is what it is. Um, nothing is really triggering. It's just, I mean, we kind of have an idea what may be triggering it, but we don't think it's like stress or that. We just think it's you want me to say? No, just leave it alone. Okay. It's cool. It's, <laughs> When you, cause I'm starting to see when I open up too much, yeah, yeah, yeah. like so people I... people feel a need to like insert themselves and like that's starting to irritate the fuck out of me too. I'm not gonna lie, that not not anyone who tried to help me with the insomnia, but like I'm I'm kind of speaking between the lines here because I kind of feel like some people are really just sitting back and they like watching and tuning in every week like they fucking fans on a reality TV show or some shit like this is my fucking life like this I, like I'm not here for your fucking entertainment this is my fucking life so when I open the fuck up and I tell you some shit about me and yeah I get it like that's why you got to be careful what you get on and open up and share with people but like I don't like for people to like call themselves being supporters and then throwing the shit back in my face right. that's irritating me too so you know what I'm gonna do I'm going to just, mm -hmm, I'm going to just pull back. I'm going to just pull it all back because it's, it's it's starting to get to the point where I'm like, you know, this is no longer a safe space for me. And I keep like. Oh, thank you for saying that, love, love, today. Yeah, Lipstick Alley is attributing to that, you know. I mean, it, that's one aspect of it, but it's I'm seeing it outside yeah, of outside. Lipstick Alley. I'm seeing it everywhere. I'm Like I said, I'm seeing it at my salon with people coming in. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it like people seeing this stuff. Like it's just it's everywhere. Yeah. So at, at this point, since people are so concerned and people are so bothered and people are so offended, I'm gonna just pull the fuck back. Like so I can maintain because I was cool sharing everything when, when this was a safe space. Right. But just like my fucking Facebook, which I no longer get on anymore because it, it just got like infiltrated f full of people who weren't really here for me. Like, everybody just don't deserve a front row seat to your life. And for a long time, I've been sharing everything on here, and this has been my personal journey. Yeah, and it still <laughs> is to a sense, but I, I can't be so open anymore. And it sucks um, because that's just the person I am. I'm very open, genuine, and authentic. And I'm not ashamed of anything. Um, it's just you got to protect yourself, you know? Um and it sucks because I, you know, I really feel like you guys are like a family to me, like a family in a sense that I don't have, like with my family. You know, it's just yeah. it's the dynamics is different, but it just it it sucks that I can't like have that with y'all in a sense. Like I said, you know, it's over. It takes that one rotten egg to ruin the bunch, the batch. It, it's fine. It's fine. All right. Anyways, um, I think that was I think that was it. Yeah, that's that's it. I'm a little irritable today. I'm a little restless today. I've only had about three 
maybe four hours of sleep today. So if my energy is a bit off or a little bit lacking, that's why. I'm here to help on Wusab's little I'm, I'm Wusab. We you just, we gonna watch, some, need to we gonna watch some videos. You need to we gonna watch some videos. <laughs> and I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good. You're good. We, we here. I'm here. We, we good. Let's get it. What the hell? Really, nigga? Did my shit open up? My shit didn't even open. Right. You know what? You know what? You mad at everything. You mad at the world. This. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna just do this shit manually. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right. Okay. I hate that people put you in this space. Um, it's it's fine. I I'll deal. I'll deal. People say they want people to be real, truthful, and authentic on here. That's not what the fuck y'all want. That's not what y'all want. I realize that. <laughs> keep try- I keep trying to give it to y'all. Y'all don't want it. I don't, I don't know. It's like insanity. Like, stop giving it to them. This ain't what the fuck they want. <laughs> stop giving it to them. Oh, what was that notification? Um, super chat. Okay. It's cool. I, I Like, after I end the stream or we start watching the videos, I'm not going to be thinking about this shit no more. i just been holding it in all day, and it just needed to come out. And now it's out, so I feel better. What's up, Erica? Hey. She said, oh, my fucking God. All right. <laughs> Did you just pop in the chat, boo? I'm late. Hey, y'all. <laughs> What's up, love? You kind of missed that uh, uh, a mouthful if you're just coming in. Yeah, you t- Koya said, YouTube is messy. I escaped to decide to get away. I did, too, but not d- this. I can't escape here no more, apparently. It's fine. Um, the requests are open, and, oh, that's not supposed to go there, um, thank you everybody for, um, all the love, encouraging words, and support, yeah, I, I know, I know, I don't mean to, like, unleash on y'all, but it just, ooh, chill. Tanya said, Lurker Tribe member ready to jump out the bushes and fight. Just say when. <laughs> Love you and Aaliyah and the tribe down. God bless y'all. Cross back in the bush. Love you. Denise, Hold on. Where my sound you. bite? Where my sound bite? Thank you. Aww. Look, Daddy Rada putting us in our place. I cannot. Not Daddy Rada, y'all. Ooh, not Daddy. Oh. Who call you Daddy. No one yet. Mm-hmm. I cannot with you right now. But you gay. <laughs> That's disrespectful to take it to your salon. No, I I mean, they're just concerned. I they're just concerned. You wanna be an uncle rider. Who going who gonna uh, make him an uncle? Hair? <laughs> I don't want no kids no time soon right now. Oh. Unless I got a ring on your finger. This is annoying me. Can you put that in that first drawer? I'm sorry. It's just irritating my spirit. The clutter. <laughs> the clutter the is... The clutter. It, it's just distributed. <laughs> distributed everywhere. <That's> like... <laughs> okay. Excuse, excuse. Where is all the damn super chat? It's, it's not popping up like it's supposed to. It's real quiet in here. <laughs> Rada is Zaddy's old. Oh no, Moji said it. <laughs> Zaddy, ugh. You know. Don't boost this nigga head. <laughs> what? You ugly. <laughs> what you trying to say? Hold on, you're you're in therapy. Who the fuck? Well. Oh, for hair growth. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> is right. that is that a new trend now, or is that an old video? Excuse me. Urine on your head? Oh no. Leah, come home. Your kids miss you. I be- Wait a minute. Who kids? I got kids? <laughs> Wait, what? Excuse me, bitch. What the hell is going on? Hold on. We got kids, DeAndre. You making me miss the count of these damn super chat. Hold up. That threw me off. 
Congrats, Trina, on your uh, Trina on your lockiversary. Somebody said Leah with Italian on us. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Six. Well, I heard poop. Wait, I heard people putting diapers on their face. Wait. Hmm. Ew. Not the diaper. Well, y'all is uh. Oh, that's nasty. These people, mm-hmm. they'll put anything on the internet. Y'all think I'm bad? <laughs> they would though. They would put anything. Y'all if think... they put anything in their mouth. <laughs> See, that's the problem. People share too much on social media. I know I ain't the one talking. People share too fucking much. Bill Different said, no request, just a hug for you. Let it out, Narada. Let it out. I feel the love. Hold on, hold on. Erica said, Leah, you a Rolling Stone. Got kids all over the place. No, ma'am. Well. And then Deandra said, Leah, come be a, f- a, a family woman. Come home and leave the streets be. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, baby? What's what, up? What is happening right now? I'm going to just mind my business. I, I don't. I ain't seen none of these alleged you know, children. I'm Zaddy Aaliyah. Zaddy. You know, you're not just Zaddy. I didn't know I was anyone's Zaddy. Somebody said you somebody Zaddy. I think Bozy said it. Oh, well. Look, I cannot. <laughs> you see this nigga wrong. <laughs> can't stand this nigga. Saw them glasses, girl. You was looking real, you real fine. You do look fine. good with them glasses. You were looking like real fine in them glasses, you know. I like your picture, If, if I, if I uh, swung on that side of the fence, you know. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I told you, a lot of my old, old friends in, like, middle and high school, they like, your brother's cute. I say, but he's gay. He don't want you. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you a man, it's maybe. It's always the girls. Yeah. Big Zaddy Rada. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close this because y'all are talking about big daddies. And, no, even Mo just said, Rada, you know you fine, and kids. Child. I don't know what you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an old, I'm an old dusty queen. <laughs> you said it. I ain't saying. Say Would you call yourself a dusty queen? <laughs> okay, bro. Hold on. Where's my camera at? I will okay. literally start calling Aaliyah that if she's not joking. I am not a Rolling Stone, Erica. I heard someone say urine makes your face soft or something. I've heard of people using baby's urine for like facials. And I, I'd be a little more open to that idea, but like, grown person, grown adult piss, nah, you just nasty. You nasty. Okay. That's fine, Arata. The tribe can continue to bond over the spicy game in Discord. I don't have a request. Oh, you know what? Speaking of which, I'm thinking of doing a second playthrough of House Party. I think they had an update, so... Oh, okay. She meant Zaddy. <laughs> but she meant Rolling Stone. I'm like, look, I ain't got kids all over y'all, the place. Y'all, I'm not doing this with y'all. You know what we're going to do? We're going to we gonna be right back. We're going to be right what back. What do We're going to play this music. You and I'm got a, the mic on. I know I do. <laughs> we vibing. I'm just getting my, uh, my donations together, my requests. That's who you were watching earlier? Five, six. Mm-hmm. Seven, I figured. I, I remember eight, her voice. Nine, ten, How do you remember her voice, but you know her face? I remember her voice to her face. What you mean? Oh. <laughs> you nosy all up in my phone. You showed me her plenty of times, sir. So I was like, I heard her voice before. I just like watching her. She's funny to me. Ain't that wrong with it? I was just like, I figured that's who you were watching. What am I trying to do right now? Concentrating, Rada. Okay, okay, there we go. Oh, two girls. In, wait a minute, y'all already getting raunchy in the chat. Wait, huh? what's happening? I just saw two girls in one cup. <laughs> um, hold on. I'm one one mess at a time. Uh, okay, we got one request. Okay. 
We got a donation that says, love you and your sister to life. Dr. Aww. Shiko. We love you too. Thank you so much. Um, there was a video that I wanted to address. Oh, shit. I got a couple of cash apps. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just over here mumbling and talking to myself. I'm sure it's kind of weird. All right. All right, so um, there was something that someone sent me, and bro, my buttons don't want to work no more. Um, just give me a second to pull it up. I should have pulled it up before I came back on. But I don't put nobody's info. What is she doing? Oh, <laughs> I remember that. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna send my messages. All right. So. What's the problem? Because it got wet and I was letting the air dry. I'm not taking drugs, I promise. Oh, I just looked on the counter. I'm not taking drugs. I was like, oh, where are these? Okay, so um, someone sent me this to comment on. I've kind of already commented on this. This is... um. So, back to that one live stream where Shari J was getting her hair done by Tasha, and Tasha was doing the little twisty where she twist up the hair and then snip the little flyaways and stuff. That's essentially what oh, this stylist is doing here. I didn't mean to pull your hair out. No, you're like good, you're good. You're not, look, it's That's essentially what she's doing here. Um, she's just clipping the little flyaways. Sometimes it's split in. Sometimes it's just flyaways. With her um, having this... Mm, just her, yeah, her ends are just eating up. It just, it's gonna make it look better for oh. the silk press, but it's still gonna be. Pre Wait, what's the what problem? What comment did I miss? No, I, I don't know what y'all talking about. Aaliyah got a whole family with me, and she roaming these Georgia streets like she's single. <laughs> I got kids. So yeah, this method works best for like straight hair and I've done it a couple of times like on my mannequins and um, I've tried it when I was in beauty school but I realized it, the shit is so negligible like that to the point where it's still gonna be there like no matter how many times yeah. you do this um, so for me in my personal opinion I don't really waste my time doing this but there are styles out there that will do it because they know that they they damage their client's hair, and this is all they can do to salvage it. So. Thank you. I'm not a Y'all not even talking about these damn hair videos. See, y'all on some other stuff. I'm sorry. Look, I I'm going to have to ban you from these damn live stream. You going to ban me? If I want to. Oh, what, you feeling that way now, what nigga? What you going to do? You ain't going to do My that. beach is gone. Oh, shit. <laughs> I need the beat. <laughs> Cannot with you, bro. I need the beat. I'm gonna behave myself. Y'all behave yourself, bro. Y'all stay trying to do this lesbian plenty of fish oh on here. This is not God. that type of stream. I, not P O S. This is nigga. not that type of stream. Go on the the damn Instagram DMs like everybody else. I You're not you gonna do the shit here. You're not. I'm tired of this. Tell her it's time to come home. <laughs> Hold on, where is home? Is the question. <laughs> where you stay at, DeAndre? We gonna get started on our first request because I don't have time <laughs> with y'all shenanigans and y'all baby done. mama drama. All right, our first request comes from Focus Clarity. They said, Odie, Odie, and for a laugh, Matt Nelson, hide the butters. 
just don't hide it from her. The hair butters? What are we talking about? How is this an oldie? I don't even know what the fuck this is. Oh, thank you, Justice. <laughs> oh, it said, Leah, they throwing your name. They call you a dead beat. I ain't got no kids, y'all. <laughs> the hell is this? Mm -mm. Whose mama is this? You look scary. <laughs> Wait, what is y'all talking about? I'd be interested in seeing the end result. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't post it. What do you call the service? Um, I don't know if there's a technical name for it. Um... Snipping the flyaways? I I don't I don't know. I remember this video. Okay, I've never seen this. Um, back cutting. <laughs> Wait, what? They talking about the Instagram video. Oh Lord, here they go. I know you know I flirt with my baby mama right <laughs> in my face. <laughs> you know what? I cannot. Y'all chill. <laughs> I ain't do that though. Here. Oh, let me fix my counter. So we got some babies around here. Around having their first steps. Alright. Let's go. Let's see. Black people, I am so mad at you right now. You know, this both our faces like um, changes. Is this the one where she was mad that they just found out about using hair butters? Let me tell you why. You have been hiding the butters from us. Okay? You don't outright hide the butters, but you just don't communicate how wonderful the butters are. And when I say the butters, I mean the cocoa butters, the shea butters, stuff like that. Um, once you have tried the cocoa butter, lotion is not the business, okay? Lotion is more like flavored water putting on your skin. The butters is where it's at. Oh, she's Black talking people, about for skin? You've been using the butters for years. And you have white people just not knowing about the butters. The butters. <laughs> it doesn't going sound to, like, like the butters. Bath and body works. And it's weird because like I know people who call white nice people the butters. Flavors, and they smell good. Don't get me wrong. But it's not as good for the skin. Who said this, Karen? Black people, I, I know that you got some other secrets and you're just not telling us. I need you to give those up. Okay, because there are a lot of white people, me being one of them, that has had a mixed child. You already know that we can't do their hair. Okay, that that's why problem. there's a lot of little mixed babies running around with effed up hair, just looking a hot mess. <sighs> but then on top of that, they got ashy skin. You've been putting lotion all over their skin. My baby was so ashy for years that I was not afraid for him to be kidnapped because I knew we could just follow the trail of ash she and gotta find be him. Bullshit on this. Okay, I'm gonna need you to tell all the white people about the butters. PSA: White people, get you some cocoa butter, some shea butter, some something like that. Because the black people are not telling us. And black people, I need you to give up the other secrets that you have because I just discovered the butters not the too butters. long ago, a few months ago. And um, I'm really pissed off that I'm 34 and just now knowing about the butters. What other things are you hiding from us? You need to tell me now. No, you just need to do your research, boo. Just like everybody else. Ain't nobody hiding shit. Who do you think you are? Don't call me yelling at me, girl. Excuse me, bitch. What 
is wrong with you? Girl, no. shut the Which the up. one I'm looking for? Which one? You mean to tell me in all them nigga ass cities y'all can't find You ain't got no butters here? in your city. The butters. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> she ain't got no butters in that hillbilly. Let me stop. Let me stop. Oh, so now you just being all types of racist. I'm just saying, because she's saying black folks is like, um, big. we're not the only people that use that, though. What? So, I'm, I'm trying to understand her issue with us. I'm not getting We hiding it from her, apparently. How? <laughs> well, you could just look I online. literally had tears in my eyes. This is funny as hell. Right. Follow the trailer, Ash. And I was like, bitch, what? Take a shot every time she says the butters, black people, and <laughs> Ashy. Yep. You're going to be fucked up after that. This is hilarious. Ash's sons, aunties, grandma, somebody. Or just go hang out in the beauty supply store. No more butter hiding. This is funny, but okay, another secret for your kids' hair which is a classic, is pink lotion. It's a great moisturizer and makes the hair very manageable. Well, y'all done stole so much, we oh. just wanted to keep a few things to <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> the shade! The shade! Hey! Mm. No comment. <laughs> that is funny. Well, yeah, t Karen, tell me the secret how to be a uh, privilege. This ain't funny to me. Maybe it was funny back in, how many years ago was this? Look, I'm telling you, say. This was funny back in, um, 10 years ago. Someone said another secret, seasoning. Here's another secret, washcloths. Oh! 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 Bruh. Oh, Bruh. Oh, All right, thank you so much for that request, Focus Clarity. <laughs> Um, we are going to move on to our next cash right, app request. Right, bar soap. <laughs> Use it. Kimberly would like us to watch I Know Lee, Week in the Life of My Perm Rod Set. Wait, they don't wash their legs? Yeah, you ain't hear about that? Well, yeah, Come on, wait, uh, so a... you stop after you wash your cooch and, and your, your balls and your ass, and you don't wash your legs or your feet? So your feet still stinking, your legs still, nah, son. Because, mm -mm. mm -mm. like, how you getting your feet if you ain't washing your legs? And you know your feet stink. She's still making content? Is this one sponsored, too? It seems like she don't make nothing unless it's sponsored now. Wait, that ain't even fun, Shay. My ex didn't use soap, a cloth. I was turned off completely. Who hold on, wait, 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 Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you? What did he use? What did he use? Use water. What did he? No. Who just lets the water run off? Who him? said that? Had Dookie crumbs. In oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Hold on. No. Not Dookie crumbs. Calm down. I can't focus on the chat with you. It's screen. actually P that said it. You got to scroll up. First off, why was he your ex girl? When did you right. find this out? <laughs> You laid up with him? I ain't judging you. Right. Okay, I kind of am. But, I mean, a guy I work with used Windex to clean everything. Wait, what about his dishes? <laughs> they use their hands in plain water, never soap. My ex was a white passing biracial. Okay, uh, she was 16 and 17. I'm 30 now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Okay. At least you, you, you knew. You was like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. That doo-doo pose, dookie, whatever. That that boy got doo-doo things. That Sometimes, -doo. you know... You, they, Is he still alive? <laughs> yeah, it's petty, y'all. Yeah. I don't want to make poke fun at any, no, anyone's spouse, but, like, has anyone else had to, like, have... Had that hygiene conversation in interracial relationships. I'm just really curious, like, or just in any relationship, in period. Cause you well, know. I I want to focus more so on interracial because we already know niggas got their issue with hygiene. <laughs> yeah, we ain't gonna talk about it. 
But like that's that's a, a separate. At least like at some point, there's some type of abrasive material, exfoliant, and like some type of detergent. They be smelling like ham and mayo. Oh no! Remember you said somebody smell like bacon. <laughs> yes, it's a thing among White Walkers. They do not like soap at all. Is that why they be feeling so clammy sometimes? I don't touch them. I okay, come on. They use soap. Just use their hands instead of a washcloth. And yes, I've shamed my white husband. Who said that? That's Deej. He <laughs> said I shamed my white husband. I haven't. Y'all been around some weird ass white people. My white exes use soap at least. Okay, so soap is definitely a thing. Washcloths, maybe not so much. Oh, not in that way. Like, I don't touch them. I, I just don't touch them. I mean, I don't really have close friends that are, you know, white. So if you <laughs> use your hands, how do you get in yep. the... How do you... How do so you let get me in see. the crevices? You, you, do, you do this, and then when you get here, like... You what happened? Your booty. You're fingering your booty, like. Uh, what? Oh my god! <laughs> you gotta get in the grooves, you know. I'm just saying. Um. Okay. Let's see. Ugh. I've been married 32 years. My husband washes and uses soap. He is white. He uses a washcloth also. Did he grow up using that, or did some? Did he date somebody <laughs> else, right. and did they bring that to his attention? Because I keep hearing, but at least. Now, I've never heard about the not using soap. I've never heard about the not washing legs. Yeah. But I have heard not the using washcloth. a washcloth. That I heard. That 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 much I have heard. But you know, every every family, everybody is different. So I I ain't clumping all the white people. And like, hold on, my white ex bathed better than my black ex husband. My black ex husband didn't use a washcloth. My white ex did. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> Yo, Cross. Cross. He ain't used no washcloth. Mm -hmm. How they? Cause I, bro, I know y'all feel the difference because I wash my face, my face with just you know my hands and soap, and it don't legit feel fully clean. And the difference is we use it. Washcloth, you get the scrub that shit. It feels a lot different. Yeah, because you're getting all that dead yeah, skin exactly. off. Exactly. That's is... what I'm saying. Like, so imagine your whole body without using a washcloth. Watching y'all in the shower, I can't miss the broadcast. Are you using a washcloth? <laughs> Are you, do you have some type of of cleansing? Uh... Not a loofah either. <laughs> I'm t look, I'm trying to I mean, you people... can use a loofah, but. No, like... a loofah's not meant to, it's, it's meant to exfoliate. That's not meant to be used in the other parts that, you, you know. Yeah, I always wondered about that. It's like, not I, meant for that. It's I'm different. a washcloth type of person. That's just me, but, um, you know, if the, you wash your body how you feel like you need to wash your first date question. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's definitely, yeah. I need to know. Cause I'm not, mm -mm. I'm not. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I went over a guy's house, um, and I was kind of surprised. I, this is where I learned I need to bring my own washing essentials, bathing essentials, because I just thought that he would have a washcloth and towel for me. Um, the towel he did have, the washcloth. Not so much. So I ended up using a small hand towel to, because I was like, yo, I'm not, you no. You had to use a hand towel? I did. Not not like a paper hand towel. Oh, I thought you. No, you not a paper hand towel. Like a hand towel you use to dry your hands. Yes, I'm saying, a paper towel. No, not a paper towel, a, a cloth hand towel. Oh, okay. Yeah, like okay. a large, a smaller like, towel. Yeah, we got it. Okay, I got you. Not this stank story. I'm just saying, like, I it, it opened my eyes because I was like... And then you... I have two washcloths, one for private parts, yep, one for the body. Yep, mm -hmm. same here, boo. Same here. I'm offended for you. Yeah. 
If was he white? I know, but he he's not fully. I mean, he's black, but. He was Egyptian. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's black. He but was he's, Egyptian, yeah. and I don't know. I just assume I'm like he from Africa. Like, <laughs> no, no. And then, and then on top of it, I was like, he grew up Muslim. Like, they're very and clean. They're very clean. They're very clean. Um, I mean, I mean, how clean Did can he you? Stink? No, he didn't. He smelled good. He must be setting that motherfucker body up with them hands, boy. Okay, um, uh, it's time to move. Pull out, pull out, oh pull out. Okay, I need to find my um comment I originally made with I know. Le- okay, there it is. Yo, speaking of cleanliness, I made a post the other day and I had a lot of reactions, y'all. What was your post? I said, if you start cooking dinner with a sink full of dishes, I'm not eating your food. Period. Fight me. <laughs> I don't, look, that's just how I was raised. A sink full of dishes and you cooking a full course meal with what dishes? That's all are already in the sink. Explain that to me. Somebody. <laughs> Get these likes up almost 600. Come on now, y'all. Oh, okay, yeah, she right. Come on, let's get these likes up. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Don't worry. I'll be, I'll be in the right back screen. We gonna wait for y'all. Y'all let me know when y'all ready.
the real ones. For the real ones. Hey. All right. Shout out and thanks to the 400 and one of you who hit the thumbs up. Everybody else, I'm glad y'all fucking kick rocks. Fake ass hoes. All right. <laughs> Um, what did you did you want to say anything? Because oh, I muted you. Somebody put a comment, um, touching up with the dirty dishes, but somebody said you post look at somebody's hands, you know, before you know they cook for you. That's another pet peeve of mine. Y'all, I work with my hands and my nails are clean. I I don't play with that. That that's a pet peeve of mine when I see these dirty ass, long ass nails, and it, it be the studs too that have these long ass, kinkly ass nails that look dirty and shit. Gunk on even I'm like, who are you fingering, bitch? Who is you fingering who, with that? Hold up. Who talking about with that? them daggers? <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe like, she not doing it. Like you getting raunchy. Okay, look. It's too it's this too much. I'm um, just saying dirty nails, yo. And they cooking your food. Someone say, is that me in the tip cup? Yep. Yeah, I think if somebody becomes a a subscribes, then my face drops in the cup. I think that's what it do. Okay. Um, wow, this is, uh, hold up, just to say, same, I was just saying this in this yeah. court. I work on my hands, and for me to keep them, it's important for me, like. Yeah, for me, hands are a big thing, like. I don't want you to be looking at me like, what's wrong with if you? If your, if your hands don't look <laughs> manicured, like, me, not meaning that you have to go and get a manicure, mm-hmm. but it, just like that they're well cut, kept. Yeah, you cut your nails, you keep it at least low. You know, it ain't looking like no daggers out here. Yeah, that's <laughs> like hands. Like you can tell a lot about a person, especially a man with his hands. Like I can tell, like if a man is a hard worker, like if he puts in work, just from how rugged his hands are. You know, like he looked like he been do- like digging in the dirt or some shit. And I'm saying my you know? hands be like this color by the end of the day at work, but I still make sure my shit look good. You know? Yeah. It ain't looking rough. It ain't looking like what the fuck you been doing? Scratch the soap. <laughs> I don't scratch the soap. I, like when I lather up, I scratch like in my hands so that yeah. the lather gets mm-hmm. in. Because like soap carries like bacteria oh, and stuff. It does. So, yeah. I just had to get that out. But thank you. Somebody said that it was like you see somebody cooking your food and they nails looking like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm like, yeah, I would have been like, uh. Oh, my God. Okay. I use a nail brush. You know what? Maybe I should do that, too. Nail brushes sounds like better. <laughs> Especially if you have longer nails. I think for me, because my nails aren't that long, it's it's good. But yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and watch this. Um, I know, Lee, we... C- Sorry. I know, Lee, we c- in... The life of my perm rod set. Wait a minute. Yeah. Um, nine days total on type four natural hair. Okay. Let's check it out. What's up, y'all? What you gotta say? Who's on the mic with your lead today? Well, my name is Lily, and I'm a fly girl, and all these boys wanna rock my world. No, ma'am. They don't. Just my husband. I was going to say, ain't you married? (laughs) I am Felicia, but I go by Lee. And we are finally doing... A week oh, in the life right. of my mom. Yeah, I, it look, it's looking Today, like a wig. It is, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's our hero. At the end of the day, I will insert a, a clip little curse. You got to right today, down. but I did do my front part set today. Okay, just so that you guys can get a really, really good view of my hair, what it's looking like. It's beautiful weather today, but it's actually pretty cold. I'm trying not to get no shadows, but. Ooh, she's working. looking good. Today has been a long day. It's been a lot that has happened. However, this is still day one, so I'm going to count it. I'm going to start it. Today, today is January 3rd, and it's giving Monday. So we're going to try to make it through the entire week. The only problem is I actually did this prime art set on old hair. So Her bathroom, though. When I did this front of my set earlier ba- today, Look, you can see the, um... I didn't uh, cleanse my hair. I I'm just thinking just it was the salon because the wall. Yeah, like, you're blocking her shower. I, mean, I see it now. Yeah, I see it now. My that bad, y'all. It's her bathroom. Hold on, let me move. The events that were happening today. That's a beautiful way. Three hours. My three-hour wash day routine. This was my goal to have a glass shower. Hopefully you guys have seen it by now. I didn't have that much time, so... 
in my head, I tried to minimize it just a little bit, and it did work. I brought it down to maybe like two and a half hours, but that's the only thing. So I'm still gonna try to make it through the week, and I will be updating you guys basically every single day to see what's going on with the perm Her there. bathroom looks like one of your backgrounds. It do it though. Do. It, it do. do. That one background you got with the bathroom. bathroom. Very Thank you for the 360. Oh, Oh, I was like, we're also going through a freeze right now. It's not really a freeze, but you know, it's cold outside for us. It's in the 40s. And I'm in Houston, and this is kind of like a... a yeah, YouTube check hit different when it comes to bathrooms. <laughs> so I love. shouldn't have any issues whatsoever making it through at least a good five to seven days. But either way it goes, whatever happens, I'm going to update you guys right there, you can see. on it so that... That's cool. You can join this journey. I, I with just me. love that oh, wall. Like, like, and it's a shower. You see the head that's behind her head. It's I like right there behind that's, it. The dude so that's the shower part and that's the tub. Are you, right you sure? Oh, look at it. You can, look 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 you can see the tub right here and then you see the shower head. You can't see it when she moves her head. but I use this. You can see the difference in the glass right there. Nothing else with it at all. Literally. Everybody is using this mousse now. Just to make the process a lot quicker and this was kind of like the only product that I was using before so that's really kind of like the only difference in this I can't remember which moves I used in the video so we're gonna go ahead and get into a week in the life of my perm rod sets night one I already showed you guys my perm rod set nighttime routine is super easy so I will check in with you guys Oh, okay. I see the shower. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like right behind her. There go again. That's cool. All right. Marcia. Thank you. Oh, what happened? Thank you. <laughs> Marcia, girl, hold it down. Hey. Hold on. Let me see. DJ in there. Boot you pick one. You pick one? Yeah. Hmm. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I know. You don't know these beats. Girl, come on, the video gonna be over. Okay, okay. So I'm just gonna press my my, my regular. Oh shit, look what you did, see? Uh, uh, but, her set, you can just pick another one. You know. like. I've already shared a couple of clips with you guys from taking it down this morning and in the car you earlier today. So it's kind of falling and settled in and you can slightly see the back in the mirror. So this is what Day two is looking Listen, like. I will see you guys you on Wednesday face with no makeup. for a week in the life of my perm rat set. Does she have heat damage? Why is it falling like that? I like that this. natural look with the makeup. It's not too much. It's supposed to be like that. Oh, shit, she's talking again. Leah, shut up. <laughs> Day night. I forgot to do the check-in today. That's why these videos are hard. But I definitely wanted to show you guys what it looks like at the end of today. And today, I didn't even pick out my hair. Look at the walk-in closet, I though, with the purses Child, on it. What is, she, what is she doing? What is her husband doing? Look at the name brand. Child, last I checked, she was up in college, like, Ooh. getting crunk. Like, now she is out here, like, living. Living it up. <laughs> living it up. <laughs> Luxury, I it baby. I let it I'm not mad. That's why she ain't on YouTube no more. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at it. Giving all day and... I oh my God! She said, "Hey, Leah, too, someone was so. looking like Jigsaw. <laughs> don't yeah. do y'all so like will that. See you guys. Hey, y'all don't. <laughs> Hasta mañana. Hi guys, it is Thursday. It still looks good. I'm checking in. Barely making it today, but what I day is to this? Show you guys what it looks like. My hair has been in a bun most of the day, so unfortunately." It's not like a whole, whole lot. Right, black woman really in luxury. You, but yes. curls still popping. She's cute. I haven't even like picked it out or done anything with it. I just took off the bonnet, shook it, and she let it fall. So in her bathroom. This is the Thursday check-in. And it looks cute. This is about the day that I'm like, yeah, my hair is looking exactly how Her I bathroom look. sounds huge. That's what I'm saying. You hear the acoustics in that bitch. That shit is huge. Going somewhere or going to see anyone today, but I'm not. So, 
Hold on. Someone said, can you please pass this to Aaliyah? What was that? What happened? Hold up. Aww. CD and four, she said, could you please pass this to Aaliyah? I don't have her PayPal link. Oh, thank you, love. <laughs> Who's this? CD and four. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Let me send it now before I forget. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, give me that. So we are at day five of my perm well, I'm going to try to get a better on. view for you guys, but she likes today's a good day for a perm It her. looks so good, so... Well, she got this the is G. ideally what I like for my perm rod sets to she look like red G, on a regular basis. I love them to look more like an afro rather than like... I like Ooh, the, the sweater. I just said that. Oh, sorry. You were texting. Yeah, they they pulled so a, this um, is kind of what back. it's giving today. You were good. I, it's super I said fluffy it, but you were texting. and full and just a vibe. So when I get out of the car, I'll give you guys like... A better 360 of what's going on with the hair. Can she rent her closet? Right. So pretty. <laughs> can I stand there? Okay, now you can get a good no, I knew she had a hair. I know it's loud. Hey, T. She's about to hear. She so, said, T. hey, Miranda. What's good? Now, it is going to rain tomorrow and Sunday. So, that will be the true test of whether I can make it through the seven days. Because y'all know if my hair gets wet, it's going to be over. But, so far, five days. Okay. Wow. Okay. okay. It's still holding up. Yeah, when you it's when you put in a lot of curls, so it's still holding up. That's why when I do Ross's, I don't shorten it. I yeah. put every little curl in there as much as possible because it, it helps the longevity of it. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Hey, I mm -hmm. absolutely love it. To me, it just looks so freaking good. Ooh, it's shining and well, glistening. I'm going to say, though, my bonnet you know, is in the wash, right. so I ended up pineappling my hair last Everything. night. So I do have, yeah. like, these stringy pieces, like, in the back, which I'm not... A huge like fan of. That's why I love the method that down. I use. So if you haven't seen my nighttime and morning perm rod set routine, I'm pulling that shit back up. Because so if it go the down and stay down, I mean, nobody easier, gonna be using it right now. Okay, just as long as she know. This say no. Pull it down. Take it up. Pull it down. Like, like no. Mm -hmm. So here is day six. I love it. It's very cute. The only downside about today is that it's raining. So, what? This may be a difficult day. We'll see how it goes. But I said that it was going to rain anyways. And if my hair gets wet, it's going to flop. And then when it dries, it's going to. You know what it looks like? You know how if you have an afro and you get in chlorine, like the pool, and when you get out, it dries? That's what it's going to look like. And I don't like it. I'm not the hugest fan, but honestly, I've never actually played with my hair like that because it gets really, like, stiff. Like, it gets weird. So Yeah, I do want her to pick out the back just a little bit more and round it out. You know that I made it through the day, but I'm going outside, so. Or at least fluff it out. She ain't got to pick it. She doesn't need to fluff it a bit more. Today is Sunday. I actually made it to Monday and wore a puff. Let me show you something. And don't say it out loud, but just read that last message right there. What is that? We're going to talk about it later. No, no, what's the vibrating? It's my phone. Oh, yeah, let me see. Somebody call me or something. Oh, okay. I got you. <laughs> We'll talk about it later. All right. Um, Damn, stop. Is that? No, that's you. Oh, shit, who calling me? I'm looking like, I thought that was me. <laughs> Wait, why do I have a group call? Is my Instagram on your shit? Because that's why it's doing that. That's my Instagram. How the hell that? How, how, wait. Is my Google account attached to you? 
What the hell did you do? You been using my no, tablet? No, I haven't been you've using it. You been using my shit? Nigga, I haven't touched your tablet. I don't know how that's coming through right now. What the? That is weird. What the fuck is happening? It's my Google, I figure. It has to be my Google. It might be attached. I don't know. I never used your tablet. How though. is it attached? Maybe on your... No. Uh, I did I did log in on your desktop. That's what I'm saying. But I don't know if it carries uh, on. It. it must carry on to that. Yeah. I'm taking you off. Okay, go ahead. I didn't know it was on there, nigga. I was I'm like, sorry. I'm just confused. No, I ain't, I ain't tripping over it. I'm just like, I'm surprised that your <laughs> stuff is coming on my yeah, I device. was too. I thought that was my phone blowing up. My bad, my bad. That's why I want you to leave, leave my YouTube account side. No, no. Get the shit off. I don't, I don't leave nothing of my accounts on anybody's devices. I, I don't want you leaving your stuff on my... You can sign in, but don't check... Leave, sign in, or save account. Like, don't do that. Okay, mm -mm, okay. Mm -mm, yeah, mm -mm. I think it was your desktop. Ooh, now I can be real nosy. I ain't got nothing in there. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Nigga, I, I don't have nothing going on right now besides work. <laughs> but, um, yeah, as far as um, Rod sets go, like, my client, like, the, the, the young woman I live streamed last week, I had to take that live stream down. I'm probably going to edit it and put it back up with some music or whatever, because if you know, you know. If you don't, you probably should watch the live streams. Um, but I'm, like, her um, curls last for two weeks, and she got soft, heat-damaged hair. Not heat-damaged, yeah, but... Yeah, still going off. Yeah, now. it's heat-damaged and everything else. I'm about to just take yeah, off the take vibration. Yeah, take me off, because he's calling I can't. I, I can't do it right now. I'm sorry. But, yeah. <laughs> That's why I took my time. Um... And all I use on her hair is is mousse. I use that lot of body mousse and some type of curl cream situation for moisture, and they good. So, just FYI. Okay, it's a lot going on. I feel stressed right now, so I'm going to just... It's, uh, it's too much going on for me. She said, don't it's, do this. It's the, don't like this. the tablet is vibrating. I don't have no secrets, though, in my message, boo. Like, I don't have no love life. I don't. This is work. He not yet, you don't. Now his messages. Maybe. Not yet, you don't. Wait till I get up in there. Okay. <laughs> How's it gonna change, nigga? Shoot, I'm trying to get some some little nieces little and Erica nephews. Said, yeah. <laughs> I see you got some male friends up in there. What you mean? Yeah, it's on my IG. It's my homies. Okay, your homies. Okay. From college, nigga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. The homies. All right. <laughs> I, I don't got no secrets, y'all. I know you don't. I'm, I'm saying I'm going to set something up so they, like, you know, you the You're going to make me look. Why is your hair? I thought it was stuck to the pin. Sorry. I have, a, I, I have this habit of, like, pulling my beard here. I'm I thought sorry. it was stuck to the pin. I said, how did that even happen? I'm sorry. No, you good. All right. <laughs> um, where the f Where were we? I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to do our... First off, mm -hmm. shout out to CDN4. Thank you so much for the $50 tip. I didn't even see it come in, but thank you so much. We're going to do our one and only tip request for tonight. That comes from Kendra. She said, Trophy Douglas, I chopped off all of my hair. It's her recent hair video. Keep being you because people love to see others downfall. Just make sure to be lit for us on in the Discord. Girl, you ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> Hello, Deandra said, yeah, no. And no family, no nothing. You damn Rolling Stone. <laughs> she is bad. What I do? <laughs> what I do? Um, I, I'm staying out of that. I, look, I don't even know what I do. What did I do? <laughs> I'm gonna need to see a picture of your kids because I I got nieces and nephews I don't know about. I ain't cool but then I that. got some sons and daughters I don't know about this. Not son. yet, you don't. Not yet. Wait, do you, wait. Yeah, you do. What kids? My cat. <laughs> I'm like, oh, your cat. That's what you call it now. I do have a pet cat, nigga. I oh. mean, I'm just saying. Anyway, like, let me get on this video. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> he talking about me. I, mean, I was even trying to be naked. <laughs> let me just play this damn video. What is, what's happening? Yeah, my cat, my child. How about that? <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> what the fuck was that? Ouch. Ooh. You bald headed. Oh. <laughs> so you bald headed. No. <laughs> He said, I will be a great stepmom for that. <laughs> you are some fool, Erica. Hello, squad. Not with back to the channel. As y'all can see, your girl got it here. I mean, if you read the title, you already know what's about to happen. Today is big day. I'm about to big chop <laughs> my hair again. Um, the reason. You probably want to know what is the reason. I don't know. I've just been having it. Like, I don't like doing my hair no more. Y'all know I'm always complaining about my hair. It's just so... Look, Jess is saying she's pregnant like, now. What, the, what is going on? It's so thick and it takes so much time to style I'm it. Pretty by my words. And I just, I'm tired of it. So I want to have shorter hair. I'm, I might grow it out, start over, but I might wear it short Let's for a little while. Up. I don't know. So I feel like, okay, the first time when I went natural, which was nine years ago, almost 10 years ago, I cut my hair in 2012 <laughs> and it's going to be 2022. So I've been natural for like nine to 10 years. But I mean, I'm still be natural, but this is going to be my second big chop things i'll be stressing about like my hair is just like you can't even it's just it's just too much so i'll wait i'll wait <laughs> okay so i don't know I don't, i'm not gonna cut it like super short like this i think i'm gonna give myself a little hold on who's tristan because it's gonna shrink so i don't want to cut it like this then i don't have nothing <laughs> yeah, look i'm gonna, it I'm gonna up, have just, like a cute little i feel like i heard that name tristan thompson i think it has something to do with the kardashians uh, <laughs> professional basketball player <sighs> you both hit my Damn, my yeah, the Kardashian Chloe. Be so bad. Damn, y'all trying to call me like that? At this moment. Ooh. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a hole in her head. Uh, he said you bald headed now. That's yeah. fucked up. Aww. That's her husband or boyfriend? Oh, that is light hair. I'm shaking. All right. Now I'm about to actually uniform it, so we got to make it at least this short. You need to. This is what I wanted. You need to even oh, that cut. Fashion, oh, okay. So in the front, I already had um, I already had breakage. So like all around the front, it's all broken off right here. Y'all see, it's short right here. It was already like this from postpartum, and then also me not taking care of it. That's another reason why I just need to get rid of my hair because I don't take care of it at all. And same here, girl. Maybe I'll take care of it more once for sure. Yeah. I got I'm him. Not, I am. Would Thank you me. cut your hair like that? Much to take care of. I what, feel like, like how he did it. Right. Yeah. Why hell no! <laughs> if I got you, you know what the hell you doing. That's if I had to go to somebody that didn't know what they were doing. I just needed my hair cut. Just just said she gonna send the pics of the uh, ultrasound of y'all baby. Thank you, naturally me. How you doing, Miss Doris? I could have sworn I wrapped it up. I'm gonna try to make it easy. That what he said. <laughs> I could have sworn I pulled out. Just what like you a mean? deadbeat. I pulled out. What you mean, no, that's son? <laughs> Where the pull out song? She didn't pull out. Oh my god, I pulled out too late. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> the crickets, really? Stupid. Watching video. Stupid. I just, I just feel like I'll be so frustrated with my hair. I just want you to cut it. Like this part right here, I got heat damage. He said, Don't I took this right. Like oh my god. So, this is not that kind of stream. I keep telling y'all, this is not the lesbian hookup. Maybe like a burgundy or like that scissor color. It took the strap off. Oh my god. Burgundyish. Reddish. You know, it's not really a burgundy. It's like more of a reddish. Make me laugh tonight. So something like that, maybe. I just want to experiment and play with it. All of y'all in heat. So she transitioned basically. The brain cells aren't working. The damage out, yeah. but I, yeah, I think she just over all this hair. Actually, measuring them because you ain't cut it right. It, right, that's what I'm looking like. Yeah, I'm She's right cutting because I definitely have it doing it myself. I am not my hair. I really don't even care about hair, honestly, y'all. The damn lid is that me? So like child support? <laughs> no, y'all. Yeah. So, just FYI, if you are going to cut your hair like this, which you, you can definitely do, you just want to make sure when you pull out your hair, you pull it out, like, directly out from the yeah. root. So, like, you don't want to, like, take this hair and pull it to the side because mm -hmm. then the top part will be longer and then the bottom part will be shorter. If you pull it out, 
like straight out from the head, then you'll get a more even cut. If she did that with the initial cut and he mm-hmm. pulled it straight out, it would have been even. But the fact that he pulled it over to the side, that's why that little piece was shorter than the rest. <laughs> so she kind of did that back here. She kind of pulled it and leaned it to the side. If you can like just have everything like going straight out and cut it, that's as even as you're going to get it on your own. Thank you, Lola. Yes, hit that thumbs up. It better get the 500. I also recommend if you are going to do this, maybe like put your hair in like some small to medium sized two strand twists and do it that way so it's easier to like take each clump and like clip it evenly because when you just have it out like this, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to end up with a cut like this. Not like Having a stick over here, not like I'm complaining, but. And that's why you asked me, would you do that? Nigga, I got you. What you mean? Maybe you want to rock it short again. Not Ooh. uneven. Well, not like that. That's what I'm saying. Look. <laughs> it actually is kind of cute, though. Because you cute, boo. That's why. It's cute still. Even though it's uneven. <laughs> She's doing it right now. Right. But before, they were pulling it different angles and shit. Oh, look. Y'all can see. Dang. Y'all see how he damaged? Y'all see how this piece is like straightest ever? And then look at the difference. Then, then everything changed. That's why it looks so soft. Attack. I just want to like. I had he damaged right <laughs> in the middle from when I was doing it. It looks so soft. Oh, so that, I guess that means I'm going to be selling my uh, you part wigs. It just needs a little bit of shaping. Tell us a lie. It kind of higher up <laughs> at the front, huh? Is this too long? Because I know I'm going to have shrinkage. So, like, yeah, account for that like, shrinkage. Like, like, this is already a little. Are she donating her hair? No, not cutting it like that. I'm about to say, don't you gotta have it like braided first? Wait, why are you cutting that? Oh, oh, leave it alone. Wow, leave it alone. These are not big. Okay, so we gotta see how it looks. Baby, it's picking out everything now, boo. That's a lot to it. But I, my hair is dirty, and I'm gonna get in the shower and wash it and stuff. This would be a damage with. Yeah, that's how she leave that. Better be tatted. Honestly, what it look like? But you whipping up a neck. The way she did it, though. Shake the hair, baby. This is how much hair? Oh, damn. God. She did have a lot oh, of hair. Oh, oh. That's a whole head she right there. She did have a lot of hair. Ooh. She's shaping her up. Ooh, when Bae come in. Well, well, well. The perks of having yes. a man that know oh, how to cut here. I love it. There you go. What t-shirt? <laughs> I cannot. I cannot with you. What's on this? The top. The 25 millimeter? The 25 millimeter? Yep. He hooking her up, boy. Oh, he got the gray sweatpants, too. Oh, my mm-hmm. God, y'all. Yeah. Get you thirsty. Is nobody thirsty? I'm she, just saying. That is her man. I'm not thirsting after her man. I'm just saying he got on the gray sweatpants. I mess with you how you do me like that. I ain't nobody. Look. Yep, yep. Well, she going short, short. Oh. <laughs> Stupid. You a real one. That's a real lover for real. Oh. I love it. What about... They got two kids, y'all, and are happy. I know, cause I'm subscribed to her. Hey, y'all. So I just wanted to come back to give y'all a final, final look. Okay, so this is my hair. The next day, by the end of the day, I did. <laughs> Uh, earlier, as I saw in the video, Terrell made sure everything's even. He went down a lot, and I like this length a whole lot better. I did do my baby hairs a little bit. It's gonna take some getting used to. It, like all day, I just been looking at myself in the mirror every morning. I'm like, who that little boy here, little boy over there? Oh, little boy, boy. Girl, you don't like <laughs> no stuff, boy. Stuff. I just want y'all. But I really like it. It's solo maintenance. Um, I did it with the sponge. Well, girl, girl. I really have to figure out my my product. My hair is kind of looking dry, and I gotta see what actually no, works with the curl. Cause right. I thought my hair was curlier than this, to be honest. Like. It's gonna take a lot of work to curl it, but okay. yeah, I like how it's just like no hair really, like nothing, low maintenance, so I can be ready pretty quickly during the day. Oh. I just got a little bit of hair, and I can. I don't even hear nothing. Is your ears going off? Or um, I wasn't sure about the back, like oh, wait, the sticking out. You on my I'm IG like, too? Wild, but I definitely am gonna be coloring. No, it, so I never used your shit for IG. What are you talking about? First, um, 
Is it not yes. rings too? I don't know. Is it cheap? I'll also leave some product recommendations that really help with curl, like curly. Yeah, that is you. That really you. Help my curls activate. I, I use Camille Rose in it today. I don't even like, have um, that sound. Jail, Eco Style Jail. I'm about to so. just mute us. Cause I'm what like, like, what the fuck is going on? I love practice like I'm used to, but okay. I'm excited. I feel so good. Now it's all out. Y'all gonna have to get used to the little head. Y'all gotta get used to the little head. Y'all gotta get used to the little face holding me on camera like that. I'm gonna go to the video. Um, if you got anything negative to say, just keep that shit to yourself. Okay? As always, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! No one was thinking it, but you pointed it out. That was low key thirsty. Who? Me pointing out the gray sweatpants? Y'all know how I feel about the men's with no shirts on. Like, I don't. I don't want to see the women's with no shirts, the men's with no shirt. It just kind of like, whoa. It was just like, whoa. So then the only thing I could look at was the gray sweatpants. So that was what I mentioned. Looking you, for that print. You mean, no, I wasn't looking for the print. I'm just saying he got on no shirt and he got on gray sweatpants. That's all I'm saying. I know, I'm messing with you, bro. Like we but ain't trying, we ain't trying to hide too but much. Nah, That's you, all I'm look, saying. I'm, I'm the reason why I, I I'm not what thirsting I need. after her man. I mean, he handsome, but he he with her. Okay. I'm not lusting okay. after him. I'm just so saying. So do we have a mutual understanding when you be trying to call me out? For no, because I don't be like, oh well, I fuck him. I don't be like saying shit like that. You said he was attractive, so clearly you. I didn't say that single. though. I just said that because they asking about the situation. Can y'all see my face? Leave that man, I mean, that woman husband alone. He's, he's, he's still on the man. <laughs> <laughs> My point has been proven. Leave that woman man I alone. I don't want to hear it. She done said they happy and married with kids. <laughs> now, you want to take your fake lesbian ass and go break up somebody home. You do that on your own time. You're not going to do it on my stream. Wait a minute. Who's a fake lesbian now? Because last time I checked, I'm a golden star, boo. Mm. What does that mean? That mean I ain't never took. Can I be raunchy? <laughs> no. No, I'm about no. to say. No, mm. it's not that kind <laughs> of. Because I'm snake. about to say. Oh, mm. so you want you want a you want an award? Is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> you want an award? Wow. <laughs> no, you're not. You've been with a guy. Uh, not sexually. You kissed him. That's it. That's the only thing sexual. And I touched the dick. We I gonna we gonna keep going. We gonna keep going. <laughs> are we gonna keep making this a thing every every No, but stream? I'm just saying. I'm can speaking I, my can, truth. I'm gonna just move on to the next because y'all is all right. Next request comes from Rose Jerish, uh, comb coiling for kids. Maurice the Crochet Master. Thank you so. Oh, Maurice, I remember him. Lord, mm. I mean, how can he mess up? He can't mess up crochet. I mean, comb coiling, right? Oh, my God. Somebody said golden star with the straps to prove it. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, as well. And the justice, she's still pregnant. She got the first <laughs> <laughs> Y'all is wild as I can only imagine what the Discord is doing <laughs> right now. Oh, no. That's probably what, what my tablet going on with that damn Discord. Like I said, look, I'm a golden star, y'all. Ain't no fake lesbian, son. Bro. <laughs> Don't be stealing my, my lingo. Nah. Yeah, yo, lingo, we that got that from the game, lingo. nigga. No, that's my no, lingo. No, we both got that from no, the game. And no. we know what game that was, bro. You're trying to steal my swag. <laughs> You're trying to steal my swag. I cannot, bro. Kissing is sexual in a Christian's eye. Oh, wait, what? It's called lustful behavior. Who said that? Who said that? That was Sunfire Fire. Where? Oh, kiss it. Really? Nah, son. You wanted him, and he wanted you. Uh, no. And your lips wanted no, each other. No, because y'all know what happened. I got drooled in my mouth. I don't know if I ever told you that story. You got what? Drooled in my mouth by a nigga. What? Yes, and I, bro, I almost threw up. It was bad, y'all. What are you talking about? So, back in the days in middle school, you know the, the game was seven minutes in heaven? Yeah. So, some fr um, childhood friends, we grew up together. We uh played that in my house. 
So, of course, me and Buddy, is, I ain't gonna say no names, but the dude that we happened to be paired up with, everybody kind of knew we had a little thing going on, like, a little chemistry. Like, everybody knew he had the hots for me. And I was like, oh, he's cute, you know, let's see. So, everybody... Star. I am. So, everybody picked us, and we, we figured, we was like, okay, cool. So, we go in the room, we start making out, but the thing that fucked it up, you guys, I'm laying down while he's on top of me. So... As Wait, he, how old were you? I was like a seventh grade or eighth grade. You little hussy. In your room, matter of fact, we used that room for the seven minutes of him. <laughs> but it's before you stayed in the basement. I was still living here. What you mean? That basement was still a bonus room. You violated my bedroom? It wasn't your bedroom yet. <laughs> Let me say, holy shit. You was in the seventh grade. Where the fuck was I at? I was here. You were out doing something. I don't know what you were doing. That was my bedroom. That wasn't your bedroom. That was my bedroom. When I was in sixth or seventh grade, it wasn't. That was mom's little hot spot when she had her little booth there. No, it was the it, basement was. Yes, yeah, I'm saying it was the basement. Your, uh, your bedroom. Oh, you say my bedroom now. Yeah, now. Okay, that was everybody's little hot spot. Uh, okay. Oh, see, <laughs> all right believe. then. Look, I don't want to hear it. Everybody fucked in that room. Shit. Well, yeah, basically we played the game, so we weren't hunching, hunching you guys. We weren't humping or doing none of that. He literally was on top, and we were laying down, we were just making out. And as we were doing that, he claims that he did it on purpose after the fact. But why it happened, this nigga drooled legit in my mouth. And I'm down, so all the gravity just pulled. I was like, oh, I pushed him off me, and I ran out the room. And everybody was like, y'all, seven minutes ain't done. What's wrong? And I ran the bathroom. There was like knocking on the door, like, "Is everything okay?" I was like, "No, this nigga just threw the motherfucker." I was mad, y'all. So that's why you're gay. You never got over the trauma. It's not the only dude that kissed, though. That's you never got over that trauma. No, that's not why I'm gay, that's, though. It's okay. We can we can work through this. That's not why I'm gay. <laughs> he's not, I'm saying he's not the only dude that kissed before. <laughs> That's why you're a fake lesbian. It all makes sense now. But y'all, let me tell y'all. He ruined it for everyone. Let me tell y'all, this nigga, he was so petty. He claimed he did it on purpose to get back at me because some dumb shit back in the past. And I was just like, that don't make you any. You spit in my mouth. Oh, right. So, nigga, you just didn't know how to kiss. kiss. I said that. I said, you just didn't know how to fucking kiss, sir. Because it didn't seem like he was trying to be spiteful or none of that. You just know how to fucking kiss. He didn't know how to control his, his uh... Slow saliva. <laughs> it was horrible, you guys. Yeah. Mm. Why can't you accept your sister, Narada? Let why? Her... Why is Narada trying to do conversion therapy? <laughs> she hasn't healed her trauma. Yeah, I wanted to fight him. It was bad. I was so heated. Like my friends was like, "Yo, you may have to leave because she is mad." I was like, "Yeah, I, I cursed him out and everything." You guys like. The fuck? Don't be mad. You the one that sat there, laid on your back with your legs open and let that man get on top of you. Who leg was open? Who leg? Because <laughs> last time I checked, I was fully clothed, nigga. <laughs> no clothes came off of me that day. Mm. Exactly. So, Harlot. Whatever. Carry on, sir. Carry on. All right, did I pin it? Okay. <laughs> you every every time you come on these lives and you open up about your heterose- heterosexual activities more and more. Anything else you would like to share? So you 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 play, you juggle some balls. You 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 you, you like dro- getting drool in your mouth. First off, I didn't test no nigga ball. You slutting it up in in my bedroom. (laughs) Anything else I need to know? You apparently did it too. You said everybody did it in that room. Mm. I mean, it's a secluded room. Mine is terror, of course, but you know. It's a secluded (laughs) room. Like, who would? I mean, like. Y'all see, he trying to throw me underneath the bus, talking about juggling some damn balls and shit. Jiggling, jiggling. All right. Uh, Hopefully, everyone here is 18 years or older. Uh, make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. Okay, I see we got even more people up here, so I'm going to need y'all to hit that thumbs up to cop and say, okay, because some of y'all, y'all think y'all slick, y'all want to dip out so y'all ain't got to hit it and then come back in. No, that's not how this shit works. So you know what the fuck I'm going to do? I'm going to sit here and wait. That's what we're going to do. We're going to wait. Come on. Oh. <laughs> R- 
Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Not playing. I'm just saying. Ooh, hit them thumbs up. Hit them thumbs up. Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm gonna just start. We hit 500. Yeah, keep it going. They're gonna leave again. Hey, it's okay. Yep. It's okay. I need at least 550. I need, I need 20 more. I need 20 more. we not gonna keep on doing this. Put in me. Through in this. Do like this, I don't know how to rap to this. That little, little move right this, like this. <laughs> 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 I think it was uh, the twins. The, Sierra. Sierra. Sierra did that. Yeah. Oh. She was like Sierra. Boom. A boom. I can't do it, but yeah. Oh, that's where they got that from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Sierra should do that. Speaking of Sierra, I, what's she doing now? Married and yeah, living. just happened. <laughs> Happy. I feel that. All right, thank you all so much for the love and the support. I greatly appreciate it. You went through that one? Good. That's why you oversharing. All right, all right yes. My name is Maurice, the Quote Master, and I would like to welcome you. Oh, let me slow him down. Let me slow him down. I'm sorry. Uh, always making it a point by clicking on that red button and ringing the bell. Yes, you're most welcome. So today, we're going to see something that is very, very simple and... Um, I know you guys, you always, God uh, damn, yeah, you so much product on that on that little but, piece uh, of hair. I would hair. like to show you something that is very very simple, and to me it would look like um, uh, temporarily uh, because. Uh, Did you at least comb through the hair? Like, <gasps> He's just uh, ripping through this baby head. But still, I still want the uh, the I still want the hair of, of, of my kid to get back. Okay, ain't so no strands now, coming out. I decided to make uh, this. Still, all that so tension. Uh, I decided to make this so that. Um, uh, my, the hair can last longer and another thing is uh, still the hair is going to be protected because uh, I do uh, we, it can be it is temporarily so uh, I believe can you at least detangle the hair first to it, it's going to be very very easy for for me uh, to no we're not going to take we're just going to coat it full of product and hope that it helps it glide through. as as usual like we always have to make our boxes very very neat because that one is the must we need to make it to arrange mm, our boxes mm, very maurice neat. what you going to do this yeah pull that like, comb out see if you all you have to do is comb through it maurice our natural dreadlocks or maybe other dreadlocks you find someone now your coil inconsistent let's say if it's natural and then when they start growing all like when start growing and growing for more years uh, then um, it becomes a uh, uh, very very um, lock to part ratio it, it wider front high. hella thin but, but this third lock is like hella big which one is it so are we doing small are we doing his lock to part ratio most of these his locks are not congruent um, the braids you should always try to arrange your boxes very very neat so that it's um sometimes it's according to the shape that you have chosen to do uh, that kind of um style so now we are doing or um, he don't know how to uh, he can't even do the cone coils right them temporarily because i know anytime i can remove them so now i know some of you are walking up the steps no i'm going behind her when she walked this she got this, me wet she was like, very, like very i was like what the hell yes, uh, you just what product to, uh, is he using her hair i just need to get them all it don't move it's, her hair is not reverting it's not pulling back into itself it's not moving it's just and it's slathered full of product it it's too much open it and leave it to uh, can you imagine walking out the with your hair done and this shit already dirty? Girl, like when you always that shit would piss me the fuck off. The changes, it's that time into a whitish, you understand? So if you can try to take it out, that's how it always it starts to turn to whitish. So, so look, you got you got these little skinny ass and lock and then this thick ass lock, lock over here. Which is it going to be, Maurice? Thing. Now she's going to have big lock, small lock, little locks, large locks. Like what? Yes, uh, it is about the comb that you're using. And then, uh, with the her hair being so that, thin and fine, it's even more important that you allocate the same amount of hair to each lock. That hair that is very um, uh, packed and it is, um, it is somehow it has got. Uh, you see my uh, face? I'm just like, it, it's not this, moving. Uh, comb. It don't move. It won't be easy for you. So now, you just have to observe the hair, how it looks, 
and then you make sure that you Lord, feel it. he so gonna have like 30 strands in that one lock in the front. Trying to uh, do this locking. So it is very, very easy. And removing it, it is also very, very simple. Why are he doing it on dry hair? Because he don't know how to work with natural to hair. To He's scared that shit gonna revert and he don't know what the fuck to do. And even on that day when we're going to and place the hair still I will have yeah, to show you yeah that's why will know except the, the product ain't really wet in the hair it's yeah. just like uh, uh, and they become coating it is like some type to, of like you see how pomade or paste or something you know, sometimes we feel like we get um uh, it becomes hard for us like to choose she gonna have mad build up like to, like on day one to so, like to plate our kids but now this one is just very very simple yeah you can plate it and uh just knowing that at least that it lock is going to thin out, out. that lock is going to need to be combined and um another thing i think it is very very it will it's going gonna to be too small playing than these things that we've been playing and since it lasts longer it is also a uh, very important so uh next time i'm just want to show you how i can uh, i'll be uh, doing the, uh, the repair because uh, that will be Your the next face. thing and then, you see it yes. time, we'll <laughs> i'm sorry I'll have to upload for you a video showing you how you can remove it. It kind of like baby twigs, it do. Hot, like it's dry. Damn. Yes, Look like Elmer's uh, this movie. kind of lifestyle. Uh, those ones, I know. Are you going to have all her locks like, going back? Give the baby uh, a side part. When you have Give her a side hair, part. Hair. Can you do this kind of hair? But I would say that it cannot. Yeah, you he cannot. You're going to have her out here looking like a boy. You have straight hair. So it is just meant for the natural hair. So very sorry for those ones who would think that you can do it but still there's some other process that you and then he got a nerd to do it in the suit and blazer i was just looking at <laughs> he got the nerd to do this in the coat. suit and blazer where is your apron if at, only your parts was as clean as your outfit i'm fairly clean i said what i said why are you wearing these nice clothes and you gonna get all that gunk on it anyway? <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Where's your apron at, sir? Where's your little night apron? But you know what I mean. That should be happening. So now, as you're doing that, uh, as you're plating, you make sure that you roll as you're pulling. Mm -hmm. That one okay. helps. No, you can say apron. Yes, uh, apron. It can be a when um, you're trying to jacket. Um, the cape is for you make, clients. You're trying to make sure that. The, uh, the, the, the gel oh he making the all these locks in the front uh, then you're allowing it to go inside the hair so that's where that's most people road, experience then so if anything you need so to that compensate my, for that uh, gel can be can enter there so that it can be as and then as it's possible. obvious so her one, her hairline has already been can, compromised I don't a little much bit. about it but you can see it's already very protective it's and though. still if you're an adult, still you can do this. You can. Yeah, I ain't this seen this him rip out here yet. So, so now, I'll give him that much. I will be much. showing you the video on how to uh, repair this, and then I know you will want to see the video on how to remove it. And Luckily, I'm her hair, sure she has a soft you, texture. So that That's the only reason why this comb is gliding so through. Yes. Had her hair been coarse, nice I know baby, that you can do. He gonna need more than that product. He gonna need some water. I forgot it's something God else. Damn. You know, whenever you're done with this, <laughs> some uh, slip and slide. Oh, that one lock. Like to make sure mm. that you arrange them very, very. Uh, uh, you arrange them in a nice way so that uh, to make sure that this uh, white gel to come out, uh, you just have to uh, put their wrapper. So when you put their wrapper, put the wrapper on and get the white out. Dry, but since he's a kid, we don't advise that. Uh, so what we can use, oh, we can, like but sometimes wax. when you have the towel, you can just put the towel it don't move. and you leave it. You hear what I'm telling you? Um, the whole day, as she's playing, oh, you can have this wrapping paper, you can My use this wrapping like paper. Is now. Uh, Damn, just, now he's like, bonding her head up. Very fine with you. Just make sure that it's very, very fine with you. So now, uh, after the dryer, uh, this is how it comes out. This is how it comes out. Uh, Look, even the, the fucking dry, wrap is wet. And... Uh, the other it's molded to her head. It's not being I didn't finish the whole process, but trust me, they can't. It go still out don't move. Out. They remain like this, and I'll be showing you the video on how to uh to repair it. So for now, guys, I'm going to sign out, that and please, scary. I would like you to make sure you know, that what you do and ring the bell. And please, you can still go on my Instagram, uh, Morris the Project Master, we chat more, and I have my you personal, do the baby uh, hairs, my of course, other salon page. That is hair by clippers. Please go and show some love. He should have. He should have gave her a, yes, maybe a part to soften of, it. Uh, yeah. Pictures that you will be using to tell me maybe I can do. At a I always think about so stuff like that. See you. Bye bye.
That was one of the first things Henny um, pointed out to me. She was like, you did a nice style, but that style was like more masculine. And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, the braids are too straight. Like, you didn't really use a side part. You got it going back. And I was like, what? I got to think about that? That, okay. that was literally the first thing I learned working at the salon. Like, you got to you gotta know adjust. how to reach your clients. Yeah, you got to adjust it to make it look right for them. Like, because they're not going to know, like, this is looking masculine. They're just going to look at it, and they're going to know something is wrong with it. It doesn't look right, but they're not going to be able to put their finger on it. That's why you got to, like, know, like, how to fix it. But uh, I wasn't really feeling that. It's easy to make locks look masculine on girls and women. It's, it's very easy. And it's also easy to make locks look feminine on boys, too. Have you ever seen males, like, with mohawks? It's a very girly style. Like, if you're going to do a mohawk on a boy, you have to kind of tweak it a little mm-hmm. bit. Because it, look, it starts looking real, like, Storm from, like... X Men, the, okay. the, the the yeah, that one X Men where Storm was like back in like when she was a kid or a teenager, or whatever. Yeah, I think that was the movie. I can't remember. I can't. I can't remember which one it was. The one where they fucked it up. Yeah, that, that <laughs> they one. They fucked it up. They fucked up the whole movie. <laughs> Damn. Um. Some women have a habit of laying men's edges with their locks. Looks very feminine. Yeah, cause it, it's the it's the curving. It's the mm-hmm. curving. Like, if anything, just smooth it back into the lock, but don't curve it because it softens it. Curves are for women or or for more feminine, and, like, straight lines are more masculine. It's, it's like, boxy, masculine. Curve, feminine. Like, like when men get micro locks. Oh. You know, I've heard that before. Penny said that before. She she really does not like smaller locks on men, and I like it. Yeah, it depends. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> X Men Apocalypse. Yep, that one. Mm-hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I I I can see why it can be look rather feminine. It's like it's the it's the swaying of the locks and the the, the yeah like the because even when we watched old dude with his brother locks, he kept whipping his locks out of his face. And I'm like, <laughs> I, it, I, mm. wait, did I say, did I say sister locks? I said micro locks. Someone said micro locks. It can be micro locks or brother locks. It's, it's two different, similar things. But yeah, I know what y'all mean. First class? No, it wasn't first class. It was, it was the apocalypse. Mm-hmm. It was that one. Let me see if I can find a picture. X Men Apoc how you spell apocalypse? Apoc thank you, Google. Yeah, it it starts looking it starts like Mohawks on men, it starts looking real soft. Like when you do it on obviously she ain't got locks, but Ew, I don't like this angle. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me pull out before I get copyright. No, that was not Holly Berry. That, that nah, definitely was not. not Berry, <laughs> that y'all. definitely is not. <laughs> the raw X Men. Uh, I know which one you talking the about. The girl who did the Leah biopic. Oh, I don't know who that is. I ain't watched it. All right. I don't think I did let me see. Let me read the comments real quick, child. This video gonna be on forever. Um. Let's see. They said, beautiful. I just found your channel and I love it. I'm a new subscriber. I love it. Well done. Well done. But what product did you use on your kid's hair? Thanks. I want to know too. Mounding gel. Mounding gel. Not to be critical of your work. Try Wait, copyrights it. on pics? No, I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't think I so. Was about to ask you that. No, I, I was joking. I was being facetious. <laughs> Not to be critical of your work, but that was too much product. Mango Lock Gel may be a better option for twists. A little is all you need. 
And it doesn't show once the hair is dry. Let's see what he said. Wow, thank you. But remember, each product with this appearance, I've been using this ever since and worked for me. <laughs> when it gets dry, it the gel disappears. But thank period you. I need him to learn how to type. He typed the way he talked. Yeah. He, <laughs> he typed the way he talked. What he look like? Go back down. His Let me see. I wonder if he shows his face on his Instagram. That might be somebody else. <laughs> Ouch. Mm -hmm. Ouch. 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 My God. Whoa. His crochets have always been tight. I'm not gonna find a picture of him. Woo! Ooh, you ain't gonna have no edges, boo boo. Bitch, you do have edges. <laughs> this is kind of cute. All right, pull out. I've seen enough. Yeah, nobody has played Storm properly as far as real movie action wise. Even Holly Berry, some of the quality. Originally, they should have had Angela Bassett, like hands down. Ooh. She would have. She would have did that role justice. She would have. She always killed. Every she would have did that role and my wife justice. Right there, boo. Hold up. Yeah, she a little too older now, but yeah, like back, back then, then, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. She would have killed it before. No hate to damn Halle Berry, because I love some Halle Berry, but as far as that character, yeah, she, bruh. <laughs> she would have killed it, man. I love me That's Angela why when Bassett. she was in Wakanda, I was like, this Storm right there, that ain't, that ain't the mom of that Storm. Mm -hmm. She played that part, boy. She's better as auntie. <laughs> I, I think they said Angela turned it down. Oh, mm. I'm not surprised. Probably didn't want to. They probably ain't pay her enough. Probably not. I don't blame her. Lavana said, for your choice. Okay, thank you, Lavana. This is from uh, Cash. Well, they want a Mariah Carey. Hell no. I've never seen her act. Bruh. Um, Who is saying that? Who said that? Who said that? They could have used Mary J. Oh, no. Oh, my God, his name is Nick. <laughs> um, Yo, I'm talking about an actual actress, you know, not just a celebrity where, you know, you just in the industry with singing or whatever. She acted in Precious. I mean, she wasn't really all that great in Precious, to be honest. Oh, who, who was in Precious? Mariah. Was she? Yes. What did she play as? I forgot. She was like the counselor or the... I was just about to say, okay. Eh, I ain't never seen her really act like that, besides Precious. I mean, it's not hard to act concerned. Like, <laughs> okay. I'm just... By not singing her act, one word, glitter. And hell, I no, ain't seen that one. Look, don't hate towards Mariah, but we already know how her voice sound now, y'all. All that high-pitched singing she was doing. Is taking it don't toll. matter. She, like... Taking a toll now, boy. Hold on, finally. I'm I'm in my Discord trying to find a video real quick. It's a couple of oh. Natural me four C. Hold on, when you don't record for two years. Oh, she's back. Huh? They said Beyonce. What movie? Be what was that old church movie with uh? What was his name that played it on radio? What was his name? <laughs> You know radio, right? Cuba Gooding Jr.? Was yeah, that him? Yeah, They were dating in the movie. I forgot what church movie it was. He was a church girl, was singing in the choir. And I think he directed the choir. It was an old 2000, early 2000 movie when she was young. I think that's the only movie I've ever seen of Beyonce besides, uh, take that back, uh, what was his name? 
with the midget with the the the, the finger. Uh, power. Uh, no, Austin Powers. Yeah, she played in that too. Hmm. I think Destiny Child played it together as a whole on that movie. That's cute. Yeah. That's when she was acting a little bit when she was singing in the beginning, but now I think she just focuses more on singing. Because she knew it wasn't meant for her. <laughs> acting is not meant for her. She's good at singing. Um, Let me see if I can... Are you obsessed? Pull yeah. this up here. I, I couldn't help but notice this in the Discord. Let's see if it'll come up. Okay, so Miss Zenazole Quadra says, Relax your hair, honey. Stop suffering. And so, what happened out of this was she goes on to say, Oh, look, I, is that a spider? Right there. Get the ray. Hurry. Where'd it go? It's right there. I see it. Just get the raid. Just get the raid. I, I, right here. That's the spot. Right. Okay, don't fuck up my curtains now. Just just hit him. Just he he good. You got him. He ain't going nowhere. All right. But it's not even your curtains, nigga. It don't matter. I gotta look at this shit. It's gonna be a spot. Gonna be like, <laughs> I gotta look the at the Okay. Yeah, he is dead. He just Yeah. Ooh. Once they hit him, that's it. He ain't got no name. What happened? He fell? No, I'm just it's dripping. Oh, um, I got some wipes, but... Get a napkin. I'm going to get a napkin. Okay. So, she goes on to say, Ah, when y'all done wilding and ready to relax your hair, check out my YouTube channel for tips on how to grow and maintain healthy, relaxed hair. Definitely will be taking these tips. Pick up buddy too long. He a little ass one. That's yeah. that little shit that be freaking me out and getting your hair. I'd be afraid of. But you can't see it. Before, yeah. <laughs> I've had one crawl down like. Yeah, bro. <laughs> in my old bedroom right upstairs, that purple room, I was sitting in my room in a pitch black. No light was on but my laptop in my lap. And thank you, my laptop was light was glaring in my face because I happened to see a string like a web fall down right in front of me, and he was just dang. I said, "Oh shit!" <laughs> I couldn't see shit, boy. It was bad. Okay, I don't know what you're talking. Oh, I'm glad the spider didn't get you. You fake. <laughs> All right. So she said, "Y'all really mad, Shane." But anyways, here's my Instagram. So let's find out what they're so mad about. Can I? No, I don't want to reply. I want to read. How do I read? How yeah, do... I couldn't sleep in my room comfortably until I found that motherfucker. And I did find him, y'all. <laughs> I turned on. I flipped the bed over and everything. Yeah, me bent, bro. How the fuck do I read comments? I guess I can't do it on here. Oh, we're not bringing up Marcus, y'all. Leave him alone. Hold on. She said, no thanks. I prefer hair that actually looks alive. <gasps> oh, shit. Wait, she's throwing shade on this? She throwing shade at her because she said they out here wild and when they ready to relax their hair, they need to check out her channel. Let's see if we can see any more. <sighs> Who's really the one suffering here? <gasps> oh, Oh my god! Mm. Hold on, say it, say it. Or let's in my bed. I'm spider. They're not really fine. You just so can't can't get into it. So, in your kitchen, you gonna leave him alive? In your bathroom? No. It's a negative for me. If I can get that motherfucker, he dying or she dying. Them ends, baby. I wish I had the the. Uh, hold on. Your hair here is the command <laughs> break. So the hydrogen bond's like okay, it's the, break. It's the almost ten thousand likes for me. Damn. Okay. Your hair looks beautiful and healthy. Can you please share what you use to help with hair growth? Also, what can I use for dry hair and split ends? I'm struggling in that department. Like, what moisturizer to use? Relaxers have been linked to cancer. No thanks. Ooh, come on, lock sister. Yeah. 
You just like education about your own hair, love. Ask and we shall tell you. No chemical is necessary on Afro hair. All right. Right. I'm not allowing no spider apocalypse. I'm sorry. They got to die. Click the reply box to see the replies. I don't think it works on here. This tweet reeks of self-hate. Why would you consider your natural hair texture as suffering? Remember, you are letting a ton of cancers into your body with perm. All because you want to relax your hair, honey. If you don't love your natural hair, you don't fully love you. Ooh. This nigga is just like, what the fuck? Hold up. Who's she responding to? Sprinkle. <laughs> She's weird as fuck. If you like perm, so be it. But don't attack other black women who are comfortable with their natural hair because you're not. Keep the negativity over there. We good over here, sis. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why would you want to relax when you can have all this? Am I am I missing out on Twitter? Should I get should I go on my Twitter? You have a Twitter? Um, I made one years ago, but I never used it. I've been deleted my Twitter since college. Yeah. Yeah. I think it still has a picture of me in college with like kinky twists or something. Hell no. Well, actually, I think you can see it on my thing. Yep. See, that was me in college ah, with kinky twists. Throwback. Okay. I just never did anything with it. <laughs> Suffering? Nah. Living my best thick, versatile hairstyle head of hair I've had in forever. Yes. But yours also looks good, though. Mm. Hi! The shade. Ooh, that, that post, the shade. Mm. Don't lie, that shit looks damaged as fuck. <laughs> Yo, I wasn't trying to be mean. Who, wait, was that? Oh, okay, because she replied under, okay. Um... Let's see. Anybody else? I'm about to go ahead and watch the video. Girl, we not like you. I'm going to look like a wet cat. Huh? I think this is the sign I've been waiting for. A moist cat. <laughs> I love suffering because at the end, I get so happy with the results. <laughs> All right. We going to pull out. Um, oh, shit. She over here playing. Okay. Damn, this shit 30 minutes. Two weeks post relaxer wash day. Is she actually doing anything besides sitting on her couch talking? Okay, let's just let me see what she got to say. Um, let me get her info. Jess is going the corner, because I know why you put that emoji with the smile. <laughs> I know exactly why she did that. I don't know what y'all I wait, what y'all saying? Mm-mm. What I said when she said uh the I'm wet like cat. a wet cat, I said moist cat. <laughs> Okay. Who says that? I'm like a wet cat? Do we need to have a stream for you lesbians out here and 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 bi pansexuals? No, we we should have a a stream though for the gays, you know, all together. We Let's tried that to. shit before. You know what happened last year? Was that here? No. I'm saying, I don't I don't recall. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> what happened though? Look moist and they somebody look exactly. Y'all know. <laughs> Are you gonna do like that? Oh, oh gonna... shit, I can't play that. <laughs> I don't be getting no action. I'm a celibate. I Girl, we don't know. care. No, they saying I get all the action. I don't. She, they said not by pansexuals. I mean it all together. I cannot. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Before we start, I just want to say thank you to everyone. Look, she put it again. I know, if just. Everyone that keeps coming nasty. back to watch my videos. <laughs> if you want to keep liking okay. and, you know, basically pushing me on, I really appreciate it, guys. And I just wanted you guys to know that I see you. <laughs> um, yeah, so throughout my childhood, because I've seen the pictures and she told me about it, but I don't even remember. Really her hair is only tickling her, her shoulders. Like, what is she? But anyway. Um, she took me to the salon and y'all, we cut my hair. Hey, dude, they they like, just I don't even know. Not all scorpions are like, that. like a, I had cornrows on Thursday. I'd be back to my body like 
Excuse me. She is she did. still low? I'll turn her up a little bit. Somebody said, what the fuck is she wearing? Like, I would literally have like a little nightgown. A little negligee. She's got a bed, look like, basically. How I started braiding my hair. And my aunt put me onto the Kitty's Relaxer. We all know the Kitty's Relaxer. So she put me onto that. Um, I started using Ladeen. Yeah, I think the very high school. That's when she moved out. And then I had to sort of like start looking after my hair by myself. And during my about it and i was like yo like i've been trimming you know? and yo i'm pretty happy with where my hair is at the moment you know her hair is not moving so yeah can't that even calm it out right journey. i've never had an afro i don't think i want to have an afro i love having relaxed hair i do feel though that there's a big misconception around relaxed hair a lot of people think that um relaxed hair is easy to manage a lot of people say oh no i don't want to have an afro because it's too much work sure it is too much work but relaxed work, no it's not the same uh, but... relaxed hair is also too <laughs> I'll much tell work you, the you of sweat paint. Do all these conditioning treatments <laughs> these perfect leggings touch ups for the girls hold up why you can see the print that and then you see the ass because a lot of girls don't wear panties with their leggings That's basically our equivalent, you know, for women or men who. What at happens if your leggings get a split? Well, do boo, you gonna be wide open. Oh shit! I, I've heard oh! a lot of girls with panties with leggings, so you know. Okay, let me let me go back to this. Let me go back to this. It's a lot of hair. Yo, <laughs> Hold on, did she? Do all these conditioning treatments. These protein treatments, touch ups, you know, weekly washes. It's a lot of hair. Easy access. <laughs> You're nasty. They oh, still... It's a lot of work, you know, and I learned that from a very young age. Stop my mom calling like, me. I'm not doing this because it's really a lot, you know. People think that having Why did she put all this on before she braided it? It's not. What is she doing? You know, I, I don't go often. You're literally asked out. It happened to me. To mm -hmm. You know what? No, no, no. You know who was asked out? Aaliyah's. Shorts had ripped when we was at oh, the I'm adult say, night. Nigga, what was that ass down? Yo, yo, shorts had ripped when we was at the uh, adult night oh, skating. Yeah. Bruh, I'm gonna tell y'all. Basically, I was trying to bust a move. You know that when they do that little back. I was trying to learn that little backstroke when you go backwards and shit. And when I hit that knee, ball hurt the rip. I said, <laughs> "Oh!" I said, "I hurry up and got off the floor." He was like, "What's wrong?" I said, "Bruh, my pants." I did not want to get back on the floor. I was like, get your way back on the floor. I'm like, no. Shoot, let me rip my shit. I'm getting back on there. Shit, we all grown. It's an adult night. Shit. Y'all probably looking anyway. Shit. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, I get either girls. I'm, I'm seeing the, the, uh, the comments. Some girls were Some leg through, leggings you can see through now. Yeah, most of them you yeah. can see through. Most of them, like, especially if you stretching them, stretching them, like, you be stretching that shit then. Wait, you guys don't wear underwear with your leggings? Some girls don't. They like the breeze. <laughs> the breeze. I mean, I, I heard mean, there's some of y'all that don't like to wear underwear with y'all dresses. Yeah. Y'all sundresses. Ain't no judgment with my part. Long as your cooch clean and it ain't stinking, you know? So. <laughs> Even the black ones don't wear no color underwear. Wait, you're saying don't wear it? Wait, even with the black ones? Yeah. Old Navy has some good leggings. Camel toes flapping in the wind. Ew. Because the thing is, a lot of girls, when they wear panties, the only thing, you can wear thongs with it because it won't show the line. But if you wear actual panties with leggings, it's going to show the lining. And I, I don't I don't like that look. It looks weird. Us it's as like, women do have ugh. discharge, so, like, yeah. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. Y'all nasty if y'all ain't wearing underwear with your leggings. <laughs> there are seamless panties nowadays. Thongs for the win. I I would imagine y'all would at least put on a thong, right? You know what I'm saying? At least a thong or something. All right, it, it ain't none of my business. I don't care. Y'all wear or don't wear whatever you want. I don't I don't have a dog in this fight, a, a cat to, to pet. I don't. And look. when that time comes, as long as I ain't smelling your cooch. <laughs> Get a whiff when you sit down. That's a problem. Okay. Uh, maybe she's doing a pre-poo. Maybe that's what she's doing. 
Whoa, my God. Yes. All right. I love it. T-shirt. Wet T-shirt. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, and then the so, volume got kind of loud. You can try to minimize the amount of sugar you use in your hair. Then that is good. Use as much as you can. Wait, wait. You got to wash your relaxed hair in sections? I don't see nothing wrong with commando as long as you got breathable pen. I don't do commando. No commando. Wait, does she shampoo yet? Uh, I'm gonna start washing my hair. Please don't judge my situation. I haven't bought a bikini. Oh, I was like, so oh my I'm god. Wet t shirt. Um, I mean, as much as I hate boobs, I gotta say the girls are sitting. They are sitting. Let me stop looking. You. Okay, she know what she doing. I'm just waiting for the suds. Yeah. Dry. Literally, no formula to how you wrap this thing. Most important thing is. Oh, now I gotta turn it up. You know, the hair all wrapped up. How you do it? Literally, up to you. Just make sure have here. No, cook. Y'all watch this in the Discord. I ain't seen this. Said camel toe flapping. Oh no. Five minutes, then I'll take this off. And <laughs> can, in the wind. Can the camel toe flap? Look at this. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Wait, what? Well, you know, you know, what the fuck? Take it back. Y'all are too much, bro. Up a little dry. It's oh, so wow. broken. <laughs> I am literally one of those people that are always on time and it does look crazy when people are late because all of these hydrogen bombs is just everywhere, just all over the place. It's going every which way. This video did not convince me to want to get a relaxer. To hit the shops and see what I can find. I don't even know if I still want to use Tresemme, you know, after that whole thing with clicks. I'm thinking of now I have the time for what is all this shit she putting on? Is that Jamaican black castor oil? Yeah, have castor oil. You know you can um, substitute. Boo -boo. Hold up. That's not meant that's for relaxed hair. Castor oil. You know you can. I was just gonna um, say that shit. That's why her hair breaking oil. off. Yeah, it's not meant. That shit is too it's heavy. Lays down my locks. Mm -hmm. I love that one. Quite good. But not for no relaxed. That that shit is too heavy. fucking heavy. And then on top of it, like castor oil has like humectant properties, mm -hmm. so it'll like keep your hair kind of moist. Mm -hmm. Like and with relaxer, you don't want to do yeah, that because the finish. hydrogen bonds. Your hair hears the command break. break. So the hydrogen bond's like, okay, break. Oh, shit. I didn't realize it was turned up so loud. Hopefully it wasn't too, too loud. Sorry, y'all. You didn't, you didn't deaf. Make everybody deaf. It smells nice. And <laughs> so you didn't deaf. Well. Cast the oil smell. Okay. Why is she... Start from the end, sweetie. I want my hair to break, so I'm trying to... She can't even comb her hair. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like this. Oh. And I'm going to wait for the power to come back. Oh. And then I'm going to blow dry my hair. I'm um, running late, so I don't yeah. think I'm going to film that part. Before when the power go off. <laughs> she put so much shit in her hair, it's going to... So we're all dried up, and now I'm going to smell my hair. It don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It I'm running don't late, so my smell is not going to be fancy. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep pushing these buttons, not remembering it's loud. Look, simple enough. I'm really running late now. Stressed. What is she doing? What is she trying to do? Is she going to ponytail? I might have to blow dry again this evening. What? I don't know. More heat? This, this shit don't okay, move. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. How are you gonna do like that? Um. How you gonna do like that? Like legit. <laughs> no matter how much you comb, it's not going to flow. All that for a ponytail. She's showing off her bras. Did you want it? I did not enjoy that. 
all that for a ponytail? Like, I'm, I'm sorry. Literally. I still got this shit turned up. Just keep pressing the shit. Let me turn this shit down. Somebody okay. said, well, at least she's pretty. <laughs> Y'all is stupid, bro. I'm here from Twitter. I really love and envy your hair. I used to have hair like yours until I got sick last year and had to cut it. I have natural hair ever since. What's funny is that I had a depressing day today on my hair. Okay, that's nice. I'm here from Twitter to support my fellow relaxed hair gang. Your hair looks lovely. You ain't shit for that. I'm depressed. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I'm from Twitter. Firstly, your hair is beautiful, sis, but the ends need to be trimmed. There is literal scientific research behind ends trimming. Your hair will be healthier looking. It should always be health over length. I also sense a bit of contradiction in your tweet. You said stop suffering, but here you attest to the fact that looking after relaxed hair is also difficult. Honestly, your hair is beautiful. You just need to trim the ends and your hair will flourish. Ignore. <laughs> she responded to everybody else but that one. <laughs> and that one. What do you use for hair breakage? How do you take care of your hair while it's in the braids? Honestly, your tweet was tasteless. You're promoting self-hate and not a healthy anything. Also, you need a chop child because those ends... Oh, shut up! Shut up. <laughs> Honey, you would know all about being tasteless. I'm not watching your video. I just wanted to comment and say your ends look terrible on Twitter. Good for you, love. Congratulations. Yes, for the clap back. Right. Your ends look damaged. Also, your hair isn't long. Thanks for your think piece, love. You really did something here. You're welcome, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> you need to get off the relaxer and trim your hair at least once or twice a year to start. Nobody gives a flying kite what you think, but thanks for engaging with my content, securing this bag. No problem. I really hope you take it seriously, though. Your hair is extremely damaged at the ends, and you deserve healthy hair. Length doesn't equal health if the length is damaged. Amen. Ma'am, this has got to be a joke. I don't <laughs> believe you. <laughs> Yo. That sounds like a you problem, love. No, the problem is, you know what, hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Let me see. Clapbacks, I'm all for it. Aaliyah, be quiet. I'm trying to talk. All right, hopefully I'm not too loud. No, the problem is you. You like relaxing your hair. That's on you, but that doesn't mean sisters attacking natural hair. As for me, I'm good. I love my natural hair, and I'm not anti-black like you. Mm. You're the problem, spreading dangerous information to black women as if there's not enough knowledge out there for you to know better. Do better, love, for yourself. Don't attack anyone on social media next time, and you wouldn't get this backlash. Try another angle. But yeah, you see he got more likes on this comment or she than you. Like <sighs> dangerous information. What dangerous information? She talking about her. I'm saying, like, yeah. Wait, what are you talking about? Who well, whose main page is it? Like? Uh, Wait. This, this, is the main her, person? this is her page. Okay. okay. They always highlight it. That's her page. So they responding to her because they said it's a you problem. And she says it's a joke. They both say, no, the problem is you. Gotcha. You and your ends are the problem. <laughs> Trim, babe. Oh. Shut up, babe. Oh, shit. Clap back. Oh. <laughs> Oh, she is not happy about these comments. I already know she not. No. How about you keep natural hair black women out of your mouth? Because she's not natural, boo. Black, she's not natural. 
Oh, oh shit. shit, hold on, we, we echoing. echoing. All right, there we go. And it's okay, because that's your prerogative. You can do whatever you want to do to your head, but don't be spreading, like they said, false information about natural hair when you're not even She natural. is nasty. Mm. She bad. She big mm. bad, obviously. Thank you, y'all, for speaking it up, bro. That same person kept commenting, and when we kept seeing it, it's like, no, you are the problem. <laughs> they kept saying it, bro. Uh, ooh, honey. <sighs> well, pull out, pull out. Well, that was um, pull that out. was different. <laughs> that was different. That really was. And then somebody said, "No, you missed the comment." Somebody said, "This thumbnail she got on the picture is that an attached ponytail?" Because that wasn't the length that we saw at all on the video. Her ponytail was not that long. Yeah, it definitely wasn't. She put, I think she put extensions in that bitch. Her hair ain't even that damn full. She definitely put something up in there. What? Clake bait? Click, I said clake. Clake bait? Click bait. Can't even get it out right. <laughs> but yeah. Wow. That commenter had time today. What Jermaine said, so simple yet effective. Trim, babe. It only took two words to get, like, piss right. her off. Trim, babe. She said, shut up, babe. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Mm, okay. That was the straw that bro- broke the camel's back. All right, we're going to do our next Super Chat. Let me see. Um, I believe we had 15 videos. Okay, we got 10 more. Um, we got Bailey's request from Super Chat, part one of why I hate my BBL results. Wait, why does what does this have to do with... See, now y'all just... I don't want to hear about no BBL. What the fuck? I care about your ass. Looking at A's. <laughs> oh my god. What type of I don't like talking about women's bodies. I don't either. I don't like talking about women's bodies. You setting me up. You setting me up. <laughs> it's a setup. <laughs> it's it a is setup. a setup, bro, for both of us, man. <laughs> You know how I feel. Well, let us do it. Because <laughs> even though it booty, you know, ain't no judgment, but I prefer natural well, maybe, booty. Maybe it's not what I think it is. Maybe. Okay, let's see. Let's just see. I say it's your prerogative and your body. Hey, what's up, y'all? I hope everyone is having a wonderful and blessed night. You turn her up. So I just wanted to make a part two of why I hate my video results. I was very bloated in the last video. I was on my cycle. So I'm going to show you guys what... This little Teddy Graham shape looks like in some jeans. So yes, you guys, I'm about to do a 360 for you. Here is let me scoot over a little bit. Here's the front, of course. Here, let me make sure you guys can see. Here is the left side. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Got Here the booty. The back. Here is the right side. You got tats on my wound. You got tats on my face. Yeah. So, yeah, since I'm not on my cycle anymore, I wanted to show you guys my loose skin and everything. So oh, to loose skin? Take these jeans off. I would think she would look like that when you were talking. Got them thighs out, girl. Wow. Yeah. Strip. Wait, did Strip. I pin it? Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> they don't right, look. Block it. <laughs> it. It is, it is, it. I can't call it my figure. I can't call it my shape because he didn't give me one. I am really sorry. I should have just went to Dr. Chang, like I said. Always follow your first instincts. I tried to save $2,000 and went to a different surgeon. I'm sorry, what's the problem? Yeah, I don't, biggest I... mistake ever. I literally, oh, and I had the $2,000. I was just trying to... Cut back on the Is she trying to look like Nicki Minaj? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't so see nothing wrong with the shape. But anyway, um, as you guys can see, there is God, my legs always sticking together. There is no shape whatsoever. Um, he didn't give me any hips. I didn't. I couldn't even explain. Wait, do you get hips from a BBL? I mean, I don't really see nothing wrong with her shape. They gonna... responsibly gave her a BBL. It was supposed to give an hourglass shape, and she doesn't have one. It doesn't look like a typical BBL. 
You can't sit on your butt for six weeks. Mm. Yes, they put fat there. Respectfully, I see what she's talking about. It's also uneven. You can get hips with your BBL. Oh. They move fat into the hips. Do you think that girl from the skating rink got a BBL? Um, Thank you for being a friend. Hey. <laughs> the apple that shit scared the fuck out of me. Look, we said we was going to do that. We are going to be like, what the hell? Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> okay, I'm bro. sorry. Hell no. That's, that took me way out. Okay. Um, okay. I don't see a problem, but you know... If, if if what she paid for, she was supposed to get it, then I would I would understand. But the thing is, people who go into that, they know you can't reverse it. So you wait, what it. you can't? I don't think you can. I mean, oh, okay, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you can. If you do, I don't think that's healthy either. If you do that, but I'm saying like people who go into that, you supposed to already know you're taking a risk when you do that for your health and your body. People always ask me if I have a BBL. Nope, my mama gave it all to me. Yeah. But yeah, I was I was gonna ask you. Do you think um old girl from the skating rink um that be doing all the splits? Come on, light skin girl. Yeah, she you, might, she might. But honestly, I think that her figure is perfect though. It like is. it's nice. But I think she works out though because she is in shape. She be doing some shit. You know, so that's true. I think she might work out. Um, I don't know. This is Atlanta. It is. It is. So it may be. But fake. she also used to be a big girl. Like she used to weigh like a hundred pounds heavier. Mm-hmm. And she ain't got no skin hanging. Mm. Maybe she lost it all. Yeah. I mean, like I said, she's in shape. The way she be doing whatever she doing on the floor, you, you can't be like... I mean, we've seen a bunch of bitches doing that same shit on the floor, and they, I ain't saying they sloppy. I'm just saying it's sloppy. Okay. My mama can take it all back. No, but for real, though. No. Okay, we need to finish this video. Let me... Okay. Okay. To him what I wanted. I wasn't I wasn't going for nothing unrealistic, but he didn't even give me a chance to explain what I wanted, what my desired look was. He was just telling me I had a you know nice little shape to then that you should have took that and left. left and you shouldn't have stayed there. Um that was your fault. It was, was the money. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's it's her fault. You didn't feel enough. You can't be mad at nobody but even. yourself. And I'm he didn't force you to do it. it. So anyway. Um I didn't even come close to my desire like, Can she still get hips though? She just slim down? Yes, I'm saying. I feel like she just need to work out. I don't think she works out. <laughs> like the hips, hips. People be thinking surgery is all you need, shape. but no, you have to keep that figure. body up. That's it's why gonna fall a lot off, of girls like, it's gonna are, look worse. The goal is the, one of the number one goal for BBLs, you want hips. It gives you that feminine silhouette that, that you're I mean, like you ain't boxy. <laughs> you, like, ain't, you ain't shaped like an iPhone. I'm saying, like, I don't see the problem. <laughs> well, I am in this penny and brown. I, I mean, this ugly front. You guys, can't even call it a shape. I'm like a shape. Here he is at the left side. Here. Sorry, guys. Oh, got that wedgie. Pull that wedgie <laughs> out, girl. I'll pull it out. Here's the right side. Okay. Yeah. So and then you see me having to keep pulling my underwear up. I try to give the illusion that I have a slight shape for one because I have loose skin, so I'm not snatched how I want to be. That's why I cannot wait for my tummy tuck and my round shape. But anyway, oh, whoa! For my C-section. I figured she probably had kids. Yeah. Loose skin. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's a mom's stomach. But you know what? It this looked is, like this that. Is this is a C-section flat. If you flat. don't keep it flat, like you gotta make sure. I mean, I I mean that. It's wouldn't... still gonna look a little, a little. You can see yeah, the, like the, a... the scars. Yeah, it's still gonna be a little form, but you can tone it down. You can tone it down. Yeah, I mean, but the skin don't hang like that. Like just from. And it depends on how big you were beforehand. If you were super oh, big, that's why you see a lot of people who lose hundreds that's, of pounds. That's not it, skin. The scar is going to be... I mean, yeah, I, I get the scar. She just need to hit the gym. That's what I'm saying. She just need to hit the gym. Oh, She's okay. not super fat, like, at all. That's so I'm like, girl, you just need to hit the gym. She need a tummy tuck. Lipo may leave loose skin. She could have saved so much money through the gym. Yeah. She may not have the shape she wants, but she has a beautiful shape. Wish yeah. she realized that. 
showing the stretch mark. I got stretch mark too, boo. What that mean? So, yeah. Um, I honestly think that he could have took more fat, though, out of when he was doing my 360 lipo i honestly don't even think he took out enough fat either but that's just my opinion and as i stated in my last video the doctor told me that he only put in 700 cc's that's not enough either but naturally like i stated it was more it was fuller over here on my right side so if he did do 700 cc's he should have did 800 cc's over on the left side but anyway he did not so, yeah, I, I have, I have no shape, you guys. Um, I want to get my arms done again. Well, she got surgery on her arms too. They're uneven to me, also. That's what and I'm saying. She I got her get whole some body lipo. botched, my nigga. Not just a so, BBL. Yeah. Um, I cannot wait it. for uh -huh. my round two BBL. He's delusional, like somebody said. Maybe she lost a lot of weight. Pull this up. Probably did, but it's just like, like you guys. if anything, so she's anyway, more about the skin, I not, not the portion and all this. Like, oh, that's ways. true. That's why I'm like, I don't get it. Dr. Dalbeck, she's really good. Dr. Hassan, I like his work too. His girls look really good. And Dr. Williams, who is highly requested at 305 Plastic Surgery, he does the signature. This face tag is throwing so me off you so much. I told you he her voice you doesn't, like her whole personality silhouette. doesn't fit the face tattoos. So yeah, he makes his girls look really good. That's what you really think. Nice. Wait till the camera go off, bitch. Hey, bitch. Look, oh, God. I'm telling you, because her right voice doesn't match so her, her right face tattoos. He at like pulls this, and he, like I said, he just makes you look smooth. Who get face tats are hard. He gives you a nice silhouette. So anywho. Um, a story about 305 plastic surgery, they actually took my $500 last year because I made a deposit for Dr. Brewster, it wasn't for Dr. Williams. But, um, I'm sorry, I would yeah, never watch my body. I made a $500 deposit, I got my quote for my tummy tuck and my BBO, which is $8,500, which that was cool, but I never got a surgery date, and every time I call, they you take down my name and my number and nobody ever calls me. It looks too aligned to me. Yeah, that's so a anyway, that's I might look into Dr. Williams, though, but he was so... Far, you know, far out booked, but yeah, I, I really do like his work. But the four surgeons that I did name, they're all really good. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Have a blessed night. Bye. Aww. I hope she, um, like, I hate seeing beautiful women like that that do feel that way. And it's just like, and nothing you can tell them at all. The so, fact that she still look good with their face tattoos. That's I'm still what I'm saying. Like, she still look cause good. Because the face tattoo would throw me off from most yeah. people. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. So, um, look um, good as fuck to me, too. As I'm like, I don't really see the problem, but I guess, look, you, pay, you get what you pay for. Oh, yeah. She wasn't liking that. She turned off her comments. Two thousand? No, no, no. I never said that my surgery was oh. 2000 I specifically said I was trying to save 2000 and went to another surgeon. And for anyone telling me that I took the cheap route, there are thousands of dolls who go to my surgeon and get great results. And it doesn't matter who you go to, your surgery can be forty-five or ten thousand. And you can still get botched and be disappointed. Go find y'all something to do, clowns. I don't even have that much money right now in my bank account. <laughs> the fuck you mean? <laughs> Y'all telling me to stop eating so much cake and junk food Ooh. when I probably eat better than y'all. That oh, Let me put the Ooh. voice on. Hold she on. Hold 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 on. Eating so much cake and junk food when I probably eat better than y'all that are in my comment section saying ignorant things. I don't eat cake or junk food, clowns. I am gluten-free, no red meat, no shellfish. I only eat fish with fins and scales. I make my own juice, eat lots of raw vegetables and fruits, etc. I gained a lot of weight after I had my son, and working out wasn't going to give me the body I wanted, and I'm still wanting. And I don't have low self-esteem, nor do I hate myself just because I want to have a round two BBL. Are y'all from the desert? Because y'all act like I'm the only person that y'all have ever seen with a BBL. If y'all are against BBLs, then why do y'all watch my video and feel like it's okay to leave y'all unwanted, weird opinions? Since y'all act like y'all were obsessed with me and kept leaving on dumb 
kept on leaving dumb comments. I disabled my comment section. Y'all some obsessive freaks. I never body shamed anyone. I'm not even that type of person. I can care less what anyone else looks like. I don't think about anyone else's body. I'm talking about my BBL experience. My body is ugly to have had surgery. I'm sick of you miserable, sick comment trolls. Mm. This is why I like when people watch my video comment, and comment on my video who have actually had surgery or plan on getting surgery. Everyone in the surgery world knows that this is not the look to go for and we see eye to eye. I see why YouTubers delete their channel because you devils are annoying. Always having something to say for no reason. I also hate when people comment who are against surgery. So why are you taking the time to watch my video just to say something ignorant? I cannot stand weirdos. I don't understand how y'all feel comfortable doing what y'all do. I'm only talking to the people who make ignorant comments. I'm not talking to everyone. Y'all are some obsessive, miserable crumbs. Excuse me, bitch. No, I'm not allowing you to pump me full of bullshit. Damn! Clearly, there's something wrong with Boo. He's super defensive. I don't know. They might have been saying some crazy I, shit. But my thing is, you put this out. Damn, this was just a couple months ago. You knew what you were at risk for when you put this out with your body. Not everybody's all for BBLs. So, you're supposed to just ignore the hateful comments, but obviously she couldn't. It was probably too much. Clearly. Mm, yeah, I don't I don't know what kind of response she, she was, was expecting posting this, but um Like I said, to each his own, if you want to botch your body, go right ahead. But oh. you can't expect everybody That sounds to real judgmental. Whatever. If you wanna do you you can do whatever you wanna do to your body, but you can't be mad when people don't accept that. You can't. Okay. You done? Yeah, I'm done. That's all, all right. I had to say. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep it moving. Um we have one last um cash app request and then the rest are just super chat. Um Lorenza said any video by Shadell Matherin. Thank you so much. Um never heard of this person, so let's see. Somebody said how do crowns become miserable? <laughs> Okay. Never getting swept. Okay. Hey. Natural hair snippets of my life. But the thing is funny how you call people miserable, but yet you're miserable. Clearly, you're not happy with your body. A All of these surgeries ain't helping. Aline said, hey, y'all, I'm writing a personal statement for an internship and keep thinking, the lies, the lies. I kid partially. I have imposter syndrome. <laughs> the lies. There you the go. Lies, the lies. Crumbs get stolen by Tripe ants. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Or roaches. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I could not. At the end of the day, that body wasn't giving. I got BBL, and that's what she wanted. Simple. I don't think the woman needs therapy for that. Um, I agree. You can't expect such validation from people. She has a small following. She probably did not expect such a large response. That's true. Yeah. I mean, but what you posted, though, your body, that's what's selling, you know, on social media, body. So... Pretty sure she knew that w that was about to happen. Come on. Oh, oh boy, mm, that lack of sleep is um hitting. Um, let's see, Curly the Straight Reversion. Did I join the natural? Ooh, is she at the salon? Oh, y'all know I love the salon. Let's go to the salon. <laughs> Of course, I'm pro do you boo boo, but she knew what she was doing. <laughs> I cannot, bro. Uh, 
All right. Hey guys. Ooh, 19 Welcome minutes. To my channel. I am Chad and Matt, you don't know who I am. I am back with a hair straightening video. Of course, I have to do the necessary. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share the video. I feel like and I'm of not course, to subscribe to come back here to look at my content and you've not subscribed or you're new here and you like what you see. So hoping that you'll join the family. Yes. This <laughs> the newest one that I went to is about Spain and oh, he's in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. Yeah, cool to be exact. So I actually found this out on Instagram, um, the Discover feed, I believe, or if it was an advertisement, I'm not sitting. Um, but when I scroll Wait, you found on the Discover page, page? I noticed that somebody that I knew had gotten the service done. So I went to my friend and I asked her what her experience was like. She gave raving reviews and she definitely recommended. Um, I was going back to St. Lucia, which is another video in and of itself, um, letting you guys know what I'm doing next. <laughs> uh, so I'm actually in St. Lucia. But I was going back to St. Lucia and I knew that I desperately needed a trim. Um, I had not gotten a professional trim in a little over two years. Um, and let me tell you guys, as you guys will see in the clips, my hair was super, super, super dry. My hair was super dry because I had been packing assiduously oh, for the entire week before that. I had planned to at least moisturize my hair before going in. Aww, but she I was packing so cute. Style, and my hair was dirty, so I decided not to touch it until I went to the salon. So, Madam said it didn't even get my hair at its best or at its average. She got it at its worst. Ooh, look at her. Girl. Ooh, what type of salon? Does, like, so, onto the wash. The wash of the first pleasant oh, experience. Man. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's a cultural thing. But I just feel like as a hairstylist, your job is to make the client feel beautiful, not you outshining yeah. them. I, and then you, you working with hair. It's going to get messy. Why would you want to wear that? That's a lot. It is. <laughs> like, thing, I'm it was Zora was gentle. doing her hair. <laughs> right. That would look like. For all scalp massages. I would go back just for the top massage. Honey. Yeah. Let's put her glasses look like that. Let me put the catch on her. Right. Again, so I'm soaking up in here. Make sure that you get enough water because I'm using warm water. Hold up, what? Hold on. I'm soaking up in here, make sure that you get enough water. Right. Because I'm using a warm water. Yes. So that when we apply the cleanse and shampoo to take on any dirt up because in order to get a silky flowing surface, mm -hmm. you need to um, purify the hair. Okay. And then we're going to use moisture. Okay. Moisture is very important. Mm -hmm. Without the moisture, you're more silk. Right. Okay. So far, so good. Well, hey, Dot. Like I said, we're not body shaming people who get surgeries. Who, who body shaming? She's saying wanting plastic surgery doesn't equate to poor mental health. Now, excessive surgery, yes. But I have my breasts done, and I have always been mentally well. So y'all tripping. Well, like you said, excessive surgery. She said she had more than one surgery. You just had one, love. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know her situation. Y'all, that's between y'all. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm just saying she's saying. I don't care so. about her shade. I don't care how she feel about her BBL. I don't care. So whatever y'all say, leave me out of this, okay? I'm just, I'm just putting. That's my disclaimer. That's my disclaimer. I don't want to see the comments. The chat, the chat said that the no, the chat is full of people right. who all got their own opinion, okay? Because everyone always the chat. It be tearing down like okay anyway um i don't know so on to conditioning of course you know conditioning accompanies detangling so she detangled my hair i'm not only get your elbows my hair, done my elbows sink in she used the steamer <laughs> by the wash bowl um and that of course gave my hair some juice because as i mentioned my hair was super dry so it, as when you're doing a surprise, it does it's not good to sit under a dryer that you actually the actual dryer that they use to dry corner corn mm -hmm. set here. No, that's not healthy. Right. It's dryer does is dry the hair. Yeah, she hot. she's put together. I know she hot though. It might be cold in there. I actually prefer a cold salon, but mm -hmm. um Penny and some of our clients like it warm, so I'm like all right, all right. That's why I always have my fan right there by me. And I try to blow the fan at me. 
and not fight. Because I get hot when I do hair. I and I need, I need to be comfortable. You're okay, working. wash and go. Wait. Oh, she's detangling. Mm -hmm. She said she's doing a soap breath. Damn, her glass is fogging the fuck up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one list. That one list is fogging the fuck up. And no fuss giving. They put, they put all this moisture in the hair just to fry the shit back out. <laughs> she can't see out this one lens. It looks funny. The cons She's doing a very thorough finger detangling, mm -hmm. and you know what? I'm here for it. Listen, Yay. you guys will see the transformation in my hair from the dryness that it started out with to the suppleness and moisture after the conditioning process. She would get a tip from me just from that thorough detangling. <laughs> that belt is so gaudy. Mm -hmm. She's giving mother. Right, she <laughs> is though. She is mother. Mother. <laughs> Bro, I cannot with you right now. Giving her a good massage. Look at that. Yeah, she is doing that. You gonna do that to my head? No. I'll give you a good massage with your shampoo. Mm -mm. Look, she with her cold eye like, yes. If you want, I'll massage you with some, some warm oil, too. I'll do that. I love my hair. Now, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be expecting a tip. Let's tip these nuts, nigga. I got a tip for you. Just to ensure that my hair was detangled, oh, my hair was yeah, actually yeah. detangled, so there was no tension yeah. or pressure from the shower hole. I like this song. <laughs> Are you going to be able to pull that garage down by yourself? They don't care. care. I'm going to help you. I go out the front door and make it easier. And make it easier. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right, who is this? Alice says, 13 weeks pregnant and sick with the flu or virus. Thank you for the fun live and distracting me tonight. Oh, I hope you feel right, better. And congratulations. <laughs> Dryer in my hair to its straightest. And thank you so and much. Guys, my hair, and I don't know if it's a blow dryer that I have, it made my hair incredibly dry. So even in trying to round brush my hair, brush out my hair in a blowout, I, my hair always was incredibly dry and it would bunch up at the ends. And I would have to be pulling and tugging and breaking my hair and hurting my scalp. So, of course, with coming from that background, oh, yeah. I expected okay. there to be at least dry. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be YouTube music. Oh. Uh, ooh. And she got that heat sitting though. Ooh. Ah. Well, she round rush better than Sindal. The only problem is she got... So here's the thing with heat, like blow dryers are very hot and if you don't use them properly, like you can really add to the heat that's on the hair. So when you just move in the, and I, this is from my experience because I used to, when I was in beauty school, I tried different methods of blowing out hair. I would let the heat sit, pull it out. Like in beauty school, I was the round brush king. Like I would round brush your hair like flat as hell, like no volume, no nothing, like silked out. But I would see that my clients' hair would all they would always need to trim like every month. Mm -hmm. Like they would always their heat damage would always get worse. Remember you were learning with my head mm -hmm. with that picture? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know what? When I first got in the salon, Henny told me she was like, That round brush is causing damage. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Girl, no, it's not. She was like, Yeah, it is. I was like, girl, I do everybody here like that. She was like, Wait, oh. somebody throw a shade. Mercy, but cool. But thank you. Thankfully, not Aaliyah's child. What that pulled to me? 
Round brushes always scare me. They look rough. <laughs> They're not rough. It it just it caught you need tension for them. So it's almost like you have to resist. It's almost just like when you're brushing and combing somebody's hair, like you gotta pull against the the pulling. So that's the only thing. It's not rough if they know what they're doing and they do it well, but um yeah. Only issue with her is she's um let me just mute this and let it play. She's um letting this heat sit on the hair, like and the heat is accumulating and it's creating hot spots on her hair. So I'm hoping she doesn't get heat damage this way. Um. Ooh, baby. And then you also got to remember the round brush has a metal barrel. So it's also heating up on both sides from the direct heat from the dryer and from the, the barrel as well. Y'all gonna stop calling me a deadbeat uh, parent. <laughs> Big shame. I ain't even got no When key. using a river, should I use a round brush or a paddle brush? Um, Your hair should be pre-detangled before you use the river, I would assume. That hairstylist is, is giving, boy. I'm sorry. She is slaying with that outfit. <laughs> That's, she but, is slaying. But she taking all the attention from the damn client. Boy, I love it is what it is. Ooh, she's just going it. straight in with this round brush. Ooh, yeah, she's putting directly on it. You see all that smoke coming? Oh, yeah. snap. I wonder if she getting burned. She ain't saying nothing. Honestly, she has good round brush technique. It just ain't good for natural hair. That's the only thing. Hairstylist is thick. <laughs> she got that BBL. I cannot. No, that's natural, boo. <laughs> that's natural right there. <laughs> that Madam Slay is super honest. So when we Madam Slay, concert, her name is not Madam Slay. You are killing me right that's now. That's why she dressed like that. Look, it fits her. All the best practices. You slaying methods. her, right, boo. Let me see um, your chair. There is no hundred percent guarantee against heat damage, which we all know. Um, so that gave me pause actually. I wasn't sure that I wanted to proceed with the silk press, but I knew that I needed to get a functional treatment. Oral cosplay. It would. The root of my hair, and then she did the chase method to pass down the length of my hair. All right, so how many passes? Two passes? Right, one? Okay. I mean, we already used a bunch of heat, so. Yeah. <laughs> why is this? Cool. Why is this iron vibrating? Is she doing that? Material, material. You know the song. <laughs> she slays outfits and hair all day. I got that song on my playlist. Is she grinding the flat iron on her hair? Like, why is it like? It's like it's shimmying down the hair. What's incorrect about her round brush technique? It's incorrect because it's it's too much heat on our hair. If you're doing it on white people hair, like that shit ain't really gonna matter because like you're not gonna see their heat damage unless they curly naturals or whatever, whatever curly hair, whatever. But when you are working with textured hair with curls and kinks, like when you're focusing all that heat, like you're gonna have more propensity to cause um, loosening of the, you know, heat damage and loosening of the curl. On on Caucasian hair, it's fine because their hair is already dead. Like <laughs> Somebody said she's hotboxing her hair strands. <laughs> Damn. So I've pretty much stopped using round brushes on hair except for, like, really thick hair to just like smooth out the roots and get like a really um, smooth blowout. But outside of that, um, I don't really use it too much to blow out hair. Like her texture ain't really built for that. Like I'm going to look at her reversion video and see if she got any heat damage from that. Her sections are so small. She making sure she get this hair mm -hmm. silked. And honestly, I mean, it needs to, ooh, ow, it ain't even coming through right. She's so rough. 
Maybe it's sped up. Maybe it's sped up. Nigga dancing and shit. Why don't you comb through the hair before you run the flat iron on it? Yeah, she's like running into knots. I want to see how much she's going to end up cutting. Girl, just get the tram already. <laughs> she keep talking about this trim. Just show us the trim. Like, and she really we don't need to hear about a trim for 20 minutes. Really, really well, so that I retained quite a bit of my legs. So kudos to her. I didn't see how she would approach my way without just chopping it all off. Oh, that cut is not even. Ooh, it sucks. That cut is not That's even. And just and I just wanted to give you guys an overview of my experience and my overall remarks. Um, I would definitely recommend going to Madam Slay. Of course, barring I don't know if I'll have any hip damage, um, but she's very honest with you. She will let you know if your hair can even manage heat at all. I really loved her I honesty. Know, I she she gave me the facts. She gave me a little bit of science. Um, and I really appreciated that. I also okay, maybe she loved was that Madam Slay gave me the option to opt out. Cut looked a little off at first. So most stylists, you would feel pressure or you feel awkward if you decided to change your style, especially if you were going to a style that's a demotion and would cost less. Um, you would feel that pressure. Listen, Madam Slay gave me full permission. She said, no, it's your back. hair. You have to be comfortable with what you decide. And she gave me full permission. Mm -hmm. You can tell from her conversation that Madam Slay is very, very passionate about it. Hair. So I it love do it. Move. <laughs> it do move. It do move. It All that heat, it better move. Has, um, a healthcare hey, background. Got a psychic girl. I think she has a healthcare background, so she gives you a degree. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's 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 see. I just want to see. Let's read the comments first. Oh my god, y'all don't stop fucking calling me, son. This looked like a really intense process, but Chad's, your already beautiful hair looks so healthy with the silk press. It's nice to have a change now and then. I particularly appreciate that Madam explained the pros and cons of the process and her products were as natural as can be. I'm against any pressure on type 4 hair except for special occasions, but Madam, but the Madam sure seemed to know her business. Your hair looks amazing. Okay. Looks great, looks healthy. Your hair plus her outfit were giving me life. Love it. The scalp massage. Yeah, she did that. Um for start to finish, how long was the process? About four hours. So she was only doing half clients per day. Yeah, that sounds about He'll be like, you charge more than a hundred for silk press? Girl, do you see how much hair you got? Pull out. Um I want a silk press. Go get one. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. Honestly. Um, all right, let's see. Hey guys, so I'm back. Just really quick. Um you missed the shady part of that review. Hey guys. Hold on, what you talking about? Oh, you mean in her video? Maybe I did. Sorry, her video was long. All right, let me see. Uh, I just want to see if she got heat damage. Guys, uh, welcome back to my Ooh, channel. Ooh, hold on, was her curls always like that? I am, and I create. Okay guys, so I'm done washing my hair with the shampoo. This is what my hair looks like right now. Now that it has been shampooed. Mm-hmm, I know it. It was, it was too much concentrated heat. So it's a little dry, but not overly, overly dry. And now I'm about to go in with the Afroji to step back. Now let me see what her hair looked like before. This is what it looks like. And the directions say to gently cleanse hair. It's, it's like it's frizzy. It's the curls aren't pulling in. So, so even if she has looser curls, like. 
Yeah, I, I knew it. I knew it. I, you're, you're talking to somebody who's used round brushes before. I've damaged hair like this. Like, that ain't so... Concentrating, Rhonda, concentrate. Um, so, yeah, that's why I'm like, for her hair, it's not... Round brushes isn't ideal. Like, all that concentrated heat. Not to say you can never use round brushes. It's not the tool that you use... Is knowing how to use the tool and when it's appropriate. Just like it's knowing how to use the product and when it's appropriate. It doesn't matter if the product is good, if you use too much of it and the shit flakes. Sometimes the product is just bad. Sometimes you're just using it wrong. It, it's not so much like the paddle brush or, you know, it's taking my hair. It's knowing when you can use a paddle brush and what state your hair is in so that you can use it. So, yeah. Um, I already knew that was going to happen. Uh, let me get an idea of her hair beforehand so we can see how drastic of a difference it was. One year ago. Hey guys, so. Maybe it wasn't so bad. Whoa! Oh, uh-uh, mm-mm, mm-mm. You see them curls springing? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, that's all I wanted to know. All right, pull out! Oh, I can't push the button, let me turn it down. <laughs> turn it down. Pull out, pull out, pull out. <laughs> I'm telling you, I know damage when I see it. All, all that um, fucking steam and hydration and the, uh, this and that, like that sound cute, but it don't matter if you just gonna fry the shit out of my hair. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> all right, thank you for that request. We're going to keep it moving with our next request from Jermaine, all natural. My latest video, reverting natural curly hair. Oh, is it more heat damage? Stay tuned and find out. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I was just going to ask you, when you leaving? <laughs> She got a texture release. <laughs> what the hell? Your hair doesn't see good or bad. It just sees command. I had no hand towel in there. Yeah, but we're not in the bathroom. Oh, okay. It's in the kitchen. <laughs> no, I mean like a hand, like to dry your hands. Like nobody uses it. The boys was there washing their head, just, just rubbing. I'm like. Well, I have a towel look, in there for a I'd reason. Wet hands, dry no, hands I wet hands No, I no, I well, that's true, but maybe damp hands. Yeah. <laughs> Your hair becomes much. I need to bring that sound bite back. I took it off because I wasn't using it enough. She needs some Olaplex, honey. Mm. Y'all know how I feel about the Olaplex. Oh. I have to end Hold the year. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Jermaine on Natural. I am Jermaine. Kinky Ryan. as fuck. Right. <laughs> this is going to be my last video for 2021. Also, the last video that I do for a tiny break. Just a little, just a couple of weeks off. Something like that. And of course, I have to end the year with me, the original me. I'm a Gemini. Because, um... <laughs> You know, it's giving unfeathered Claire Huxtable. It's giving, <laughs> <laughs> it's giving <laughs> Dot from Space She was bad. Yeah, I, yeah, I that was my first celebrity crush besides the girls, him, like, um, up. This is a lot more like, upkeep than uh, I like. Milf? You know, getting fresh and getting a mixture. I go over Miss Claire <laughs> House any day. Go. So, she always reminded me of Vernel. She did. She did. She hair. had that, that look I was kind of unsure on how or what I should do or use to get it back to its curly state. 
I went on to YouTube, I read some articles, and kind of wasn't really getting what I was looking for. So I reached out to Neurotica African Hair God. I reached out to Julian, the founder and oh, yeah, he did. of Adjua <laughs> Beauty. Did. Because she was first a stylist for years. I'm like, hey, what should I do? And she gave me a list of things. Hey, you know, Adjua Beauty. Beep. <laughs> Top two and they're not number two. What did T.I. say? Bring them out, bring them out. So, did um, he? Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the gang's coming to play. The gang is coming to Mine play. Mine was Blair Underwood. Oh, I need some more gel. Who's Another the one? Yeah, yeah the gang is coming Who's out. One? What I'm going to do is I'm going to hop in the shower and I'm actually going to do a voiceover mm -hmm. on what you should do and why you should do certain things when you are coming from a silk press. Just because I had a hard time oh, finding it and wait. I really had to piece it together. So I'm just going to take some of the things yeah. that I was told yeah, and some of the things that I have read. Yeah. Um, and I'll have stuff linked down below also along with any pop-up videos. Yeah. Yeah. Just to kind of help off someone else that may not really know like what and or why. Y'all can have All right, that. So let's, yeah. let's go. <laughs> let's go. Hey, it's me. All right, let's go ahead yeah. and get it started. All so right, first I love it. T-shirt, wet t-shirt. <laughs> Drench. <laughs> Ooh, Nia Long. Ooh. Who said I thought Jay Z like said that? Toast. Wait, what? <laughs> all right, just water Bring so far, out. so the hair is good and soaked no. and saturated and all the other words. No, that no, no, that definitely was Tia. Yeah, Tia. Mm -hmm. Going in with the Adra Beauty Blue Tansy Clarifying Shampoo. Tommy okay, from so Power start, Rangers. Always want to make sure the very first wash that you use. Is Everyone liked him because he had that little ponytail. That's all that was. All of the silicones from the heat right, protectant shh, shh. and whatever else you may have used <laughs> in the time that you've had your silk press, just clarify and get all of that off. Of Jay your said hair. it and Tia used. Wait, did he? Sleep. He sampled Jay Z. Oh. So always start with clarifying and wait what? really wow. oh, what did Jay -Z? i'm confused uh, jay-z Jay said bring him out but ti sampled it i know that wasn't ti's voice but i know it was in his song yeah that was jay-z that was saying bring him out bring him out that was jay-z yeah i've never really heard jay-z's music yeah and i don't really listen to jay-z like that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> First wash and um back to life. Yay, no he didn't. <laughs> and now uh, we about to be back to reality. So your hair next, doesn't see good beauty. or bad. It Bailed just sees moisturizing Come shampoo because of the whole thing. Oh, it smells so good. Next is the moisturizing shampoo. Now what happens when you silk press your hair? The flat irons evaporate all of the water out of your hair. Our hair only holds so much as it is, and yeah, the flat irons take all of it. So Moisturizing shampoo is a necessary step. Now, depending on how you have been caring and maintaining your silk press will determine on the amount of shampoos you need to do. If you've added more heat protectants, which is more silicone, and maybe you put a little bit more heat on it again just to keep it straight, then you might want to consider doing a double clarifying. But again, gauge how your hair looks and feels. Everybody load us some Lorenz tape. Shampoo. <laughs> Either way, a moisturizing shampoo should always follow. Old heads, you tried it. Okay, second cleanse is done, and here Old looks heads, listen good. To Jay -Z. My scalp absolutely yeah. feels <laughs> nice they do. and clean. My hair soft. Uh, it just it feels it feels like how it always has. It looks so so similar. So oh, the next thing that I was told to do was to go in with the Azure Beauty. This is the reparative conditioner. No, now, like a very important a part of, of reverting your hair back we from the bouncing around from one place to another. With protein. Why, do you ask? Well, iron is made of protein, protein. <laughs> and the heat from the flat irons or hot comb alters the proteins that our There's hair is made of. Bubble. It makes the hair weaker. <laughs> it changes the elasticity, <laughs> straightening out that curl pattern. The hair hears the command. <laughs> and can sometimes end up in what we all have that, seen bro. as heat damage. So we need to use protein and rich products to help rebuild the bonds and to bring Alicia. us back with everything that we had before we soak press. So helping to it's enrich the hair with yep. protein. Alicia again, the building wood. the bonds, making the hair stronger, building the elasticity. No, that's who made the curl brush. Pattern. Oh, I'm about protein to say the heat name. products <laughs> are very important. I was told to use a rinse off She's conditioner, but I have stylist. read in some articles that some people go straight to a protein beep conditioner. I want to optimize this, so I'm going to go ahead and use a protein enriched rinse off conditioner just to give me that initial bump of protein before I go in with the deep stuff. But again, I've never seen a young person say there bump there that Jay-Z. Yeah, she got a point. Yeah, I don't really hear she people talk a, about Jay-Z. She got a point. <laughs> okay, we old, y'all. We old. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
again. He looks so, so similar. Feeling like how it used to. Now time to go a little deeper. Deeper, deeper, deeper. With the uh, the Beauty Blue Repair the Mat Mask. So strengthens and repair. All right, just the top of the finger full. Y'all know I'm not heavy handed. <laughs> now the deep <laughs> stuff. So the heat from the flat irons and or hot comb, what that does is it weakens the hair. It alters the proteins that the hair are made out of, and it definitely gets rid of all of the moisture, and it gets rid of the curl pattern. So your protein and rich deep conditioner is going to do the opposite. It is going to put that moisture back into the hair, deeply condition it. The proteins are going to help build and strengthen the bonds of the proteins in your hair that the heat disrupted. And if you've got a, a good deep conditioner, then you should be detangling with it also. It should allow you to detangle with it. And it, it is also going to help to strengthen your hair if it has been damaged. And, like, and once again, the curl definition, we need the curls to bounce back. So your protein and rich deep conditioner, necessary step in this process. Look at them ends though. All right, uh, doing the rest and I'll be back in about 15 to 20 minutes. So a little bit longer than 20 minutes, more like 30 and... What? Oh, let's <laughs> go. All right, the hair when this shit had a cozy, like, oh, wait a minute. Like, bust your shit in, in the shower. It'll feel strong, strong. Mm, but, um, <laughs> comfy, so comfy. I saw a video, I watched some video, and the young lady was like, well, let me check and see if there was any heat damage. I don't know how I was just going to check for that. This one is always like this, but this is a different, this is a different curl yeah, texture I can tell right here. This is I from mean, around my ear area, which is a loose curl, so that's always cold. like that. Um, it hmm? looks kind of the same to me. Chat, right? It looks kind of the same to me. Next is the curl. I am going to be using the Bale Mint Leave-In Conditioner, of course, the Moisturizing Defining Curl Gel, and just on my ends, a little bit of the Bale Mint Oil, because we know. And now, style per usual. I went with all moisturizing products, but I did read articles where people did use some styling products that did have protein in them. But again, gauge your hair and see how it feels and go forward with what feels and works the best for you. Now, what I will suggest is though you are styling per usual, I would definitely go with products that are silicone free since we are rebuilding the bonds back to the hair. Break. And also using products Break. that are very specifically geared <laughs> how toward Cynthia's curl doing. definition. And if it says strength, if that's what your hair needs, make sure it says that too. But the curl definition, moisture, those should be the main focus. Boom, bam, bop, ba da bop, boom. There you have it. All right, gonna do the rest. <laughs> Please don't slip in the, in the toe. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Yes. All right. What I think is this is wrong good. I'm not going to be I feel like no. Oh, what's up? Be sure be will you be it. that girl. All right. So, sitting underneath my heated dryer, going to wrap it how I normally wrap it, and I will be back tomorrow. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, I would be okay, too. So it is the end of the My neck would be hurt. Is this a true wash and go? Wait, hold up. You're looking at your camera? How you do that? Look, and you don't even, bro, you want to be the tech person in the family, sir. Is your camera phone your camera? You'll never see it again. <laughs> it's connected, I guess. It's oh, so it's Apple. Mm -hmm. So I will say that first time oh, you doing can't do that with your tablet and reverting it back. <laughs> it it's pretty back to normal, at least from what so I, I was see. Lurking. I don't notice any ends that are really weird. I guess it did help. Hold that on, I how, did get how my old Lola is? Right at the same time. She's 38, now, I think. Somebody I was advised. No, oh, she's not. Oh, 32. Oh, 32. I read the wrong comment. My bad. Back to how it normally is if you've not had any damage. There's this actually feels pretty camera, normal. So I can see like Does it use Wi-Fi? Maybe it's a little bit more volumized. Volumized? What? It's bigger, but my hair has grown. You can tell by the grays in the front. I don't know. I, I don't know. It feels it feels regular to me, but I'm into it. I've got all of my movement. I am loving the reverse. So this is a cool little switch it up for Ooh, me nice. to do something different. Hopefully this helps someone with more They keep more saying he look like Frederick Douglass. Why they're using Bruh. the things that they're it's using. It's the gray streak. Using. If I left it anything out, if there's any additional information that maybe you have like that I did not mention, leave it down in the comments. All right? Make sure that you like this but video. But it moved, though. Press subscribe. It moved. Big, big red button. <laughs> I am always sharing something. I'm always sharing something. Feel free to share this out. As somebody else may need to know what to use and why they're using things when they are reverting their hair back from a silk press. Punch the notification bell so that you 
can stay. You still shaking? Of when I post my videos, <laughs> make sure you follow me on Jermaine on that troll on Instagram. I will be always. I'm always there posting something. So to everybody, enjoy your holidays. <laughs> Merry Christmas for those of you who celebrate. Happy New Year for those who acknowledge it. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah and Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. Let <laughs> me get you to get you Jermaine on that troll, and I'll see you all in 2022. <laughs> Y'all throwing out your ages and shit. I'm 27. I'm a youngin. <laughs> Wait, four feet one? Who four feet one? Is you 41? Right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what? <laughs> what Elise said, I never shook my hair after washing go. What does it do? Does it really help? I would imagine that it helps to... Um, Pull your hair out because sometimes we drag our hair down so much. So shaking it would kind of pull and lift it out and also add separation to um, your clumps. Um, I always shook out my hair too. But I always did like a legit wash and go like when I would do it. Yep, somebody just said it helps. It helps clump. Yeah, and release. Oh, yeah, it does help release the water. And then the water also helps pull and expand your hair out too. Yeah, so if your hair is real saturated, it'll do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, look, simply, Kendra, I'm 27, and I still get ID, so don't feel bad, boo. Wait, you just turned 22? Oh. <laughs> oh. I still get ID. Right? Unless they know me at the damn place such, where I'm at. Yeah. Such a baby. Distribute the water. <laughs> Distribute. Distribute. <laughs> you, you didn't watch that video, did you? No, you didn't. It was this dude. Nah, you talking about me? Yeah. Nah, I didn't watch it. Mm -hmm. That's what they talking about. <sighs> Damn, you 32 and you get ID too? Damn. I need something with some flavor and I ain't got no tea. Don't you want to get me some Coke? No. All right. It's fine. Coke, nigga, from where? Upstairs. She got Coke? I don't know. I was drinking it. I got a Coke. I, was, I ain't supposed to be drinking, but shit, this is my cheat day. Huh? Well, I got to go up there with you in a few minutes anyway. All right, let's see. How many more videos we got? We got one, we got two, we got three, we got four, five, six. Wait, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. All right. Our next request is from... Hold up. Ross, you got two requests in. Everybody gets one request, but since you're new here, I'll oblige. <laughs> Let's see. And this one is the urine therapy for hair growth. Oh, yeah. I heard somebody said that shit. Let's see. Maybe he spelled it wrong. or they, Maybe she, they. What? Like, what the fuck? Hold up. It ain't coming up. It ain't coming up. It ain't coming up. What is wrong with it, you? Urine therapy for hair growth. Urine for hair. You gonna urine let somebody piss therapy. in your head? <laughs> Alopecia. Hair loss. Hashtag oh. urine therapy. No, I just thought about... I don't, I don't want to say it. <laughs> what? I wanna piss on you. Sorry. Hello. I had to, y'all. I had to. Hello. All right. About P, bro. So for those of y'all that don't know, um, I will be doing. Rada, you been new. My birthday was November. I, I mean, you be saying it, and I be like, I know I was there, but like, I be forgetting sometimes. Somebody said R. Kelly offering hair treatments now. <laughs> So really, R. Kelly wasn't assaulting those oh, girls. No, he was giving. <laughs> Look, I see even I said I don't even know why she break this up. Maybe he was trying to help their hair, and he missed, and just kept missing, and uh -uh. didn't. <laughs> nigga, no, <laughs> bro. Look. <laughs> It's stupid. Not, not the wet emoji. Okay, I was saying. Sorry, y'all. I can't focus now. Uh, I'm sleep deprived. I was saying that um, I got a video I'm working on uh, with the uh, 
hair trends or whatever. And I think I'm going to do a ranked tier list and I'm going to like rank them on the tier, like, um, like stuff that I don't mind stuff that I think are actually great trends and stuff. That's just like, girl, shut the fuck up. So I just need to, uh, I think what I'm going to do is after I compile the list, I'm going to do some background research, just like some brief research on some of these trends because some of them I'm not familiar with. Um, and then some of y'all, y'all like to know like the science behind why these trends do or don't work, which for me, i rather just invest my resources on what I know works and not why it doesn't, but that's just me. You should do a ranking hairstyles video. I'm a, not like everything that's not natural. <laughs> that. I don't know if that's going to work for me. All right, let's uh let's watch it. Let's see. It's only 2 minutes, so Urine benefits for hair. This urine has so many benefits. The benefit of Asian urine on hair is backed by science. Yo. Urine contains nutrients like alanine, ascorbic acids, calcium, Ions Wait. also contains so many nutrients. Massaging who, the scalp who is all these people she urine put in her video? helps to rejuvenate follicles, treating hair loss, stimulating hair growth. Maybe it's her accent. And also, it's an antiseptic, which can help cure a number of scalp problems, including infections, itchiness dandruff and what have you to use this urine therapy on your hair get your early morning urine the worst use one to wash your hair do this twice a week what this will enable to treat your hair you can wash your hair with fenugreek water oh you why you not showing you using this product your hair. that's what i want to see you just showing random bitches hair. Make sure to <laughs> use the one that suits your hair type. The hell? So you have to know your hair type. As I said, she's not doing it herself because sure she would have shown the video. Hair type. Know if it is low porosity. Know if it is high porosity. This is very vital. Also know the ingredients you are allergic to. Very, very important. Damn, Cherry, how Some you get put in time out? To urine, so please and please pass Wait, you can be allergic to your own urine? Please, please don't forget to subscribe. Like the video body. and also share it to loved ones. Thanks for watching. I'm still stuck on the calcium. She said what? I oh. just got one question. <laughs> I never knew your hold up. Y'all y'all is y'all is kidding me right now with these <laughs> comments. I never knew urine could be beneficial to hair. This is my first time hearing that. Thanks for sharing this with us, my sister. This is serious. I felt somehow, but remembered it's very big medicine to health. Thanks for this useful tips. Congrats on your monetization. Let me see. She must have just got monetized. Mm. They keep mentioning it. Congrats on your monetization. But I'm saying, how do you know if a person gets mentioned if they're monetized? Maybe she mentioned it. Oh. Maybe they, she got ads on her videos. I don't know. I'm on YouTube Premium, so I wouldn't yeah, see yeah. it. Um, amazing. Great discovery of the benefits of urine. Would never have known these. Thanks. Wow. I honestly had no idea about the benefits of urine. Are these, are these people serious? I didn't know urine was good for the hair. Let me see. Straight hair, straight hair, straight hair, straight hair. Straight hair. Not a real person. Straight <laughs> hair. Your hair has a lot of health benefits. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Don't know what your <laughs> hair is looking like. I think you're rocking straight hair. Great share. First time hearing about urine. Learn something new. Let me congratulate you on your monetization. Thanks for sharing the benefits of urine with us. I've never heard of urine before. This is very new. I will look it up. Learning of this today. Love that you gave disclaimer. 
This is very informative. Thanks for sharing. Big congrats to you. No, this this ain't people like this. I'm sure it's bots in here, but yeah. they like people is actually out here because they congratulating her and saying thanks for teaching me about the urine. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -mm. yeah, she tried. This is what I said. I've tried this urine and it worked. Okay, I'm gonna leave a comment. I never leave comments, but I don't know what you finna put. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing this information. I was wondering if you could perhaps do a video demonstration to show the proper method so I can get the most benefit out of my urine treatment. I'm very much a visual learner, so it would be very helpful. Thanks again and be blessed. You is stupid. Piss on yourself, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how you show other, other people not even using the treatment, just showing hair? It's saying it works. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Don't y'all go putting urine okay, in your damn head. So guys. let me um let me make a mental note. Add urine. He want a visual y'all. To <laughs> um trends video. Thank you. Just when you thought it couldn't get any dumber. All right. Let's move on. Thank you so much, Ross Jerish, for the request. We're going to move on to Epiphany. She said, African Hair God, African Hair God, video number 33, many twists and random length check. Lord, my hair was so short back then. This going to be your last video. Look how short it was. Not me stretching this shit out. I'm done. Let me see. What was I talking about here? How much will y'all charge for urine therapy at the shop? <clears throat> um, well. Wait, what? Seeing how it's um <laughs> a very exclusive um service. Shoot, if you pay, I'll do it. I have a question. Are you using your pee or the actual person here? You do like their pee. It depends on who gotta go. Oh no! <laughs> no, your hair gonna be. Ugh. Don't worry, we'll wash it out after. It's still gonna have that that that. that ugh, Maybe that. we should try it on your hair. She said it helped with alopecia. You better not put no goddamn urine in my head, son. Right. It's an idea. I Will the will urine be it. organic asking for a friend? Definitely. <laughs> organic and fresh. Hell no. Very fresh. Shit, you might get burned. <laughs> Ooh, don't have no cut. Ooh, <laughs> baby. Oh, look at it, baby Ryder. I missed a little That mohawk word. was everything. Hey, everyone. Just wanted to pop in really quick. Oh, this audio. As you can see, I'm in the middle of doing my hair. Um, and I'm Bathroom doing nice mini though. twists, and that was more so my lot like micro time. twists because they're taking forever to do. So, yeah, I just want to come in and just do 
a couple on camera so you guys can see. So um, I co wash I shampooed and deep conditioned my hair yesterday. Was he about to say co wash? The same place I left it in after I detangled. Yes, you, sir. Now it's a little dry, <laughs> so I'm just going to put my Cantu shea butter. The chin strap. The oh my god, why did I rock there for so clips. long? Finger detangling. Okay. And you guys, I don't know why I decided to do these so small. I, I had no idea. But I'm, I'm already starting to dread it. <sighs> Anyways, it's been forever since I'm done. not even halfway done. Um, I can't even remember the last time I did it. I think it was sometime in like, I want to say last year in August. Or somewhere around So that anytime time, I had to do like a style like this, I would always just stretch my hair beforehand with like, like a braid out last, or a twist out. Like I would never already. use heat on my hair. This is why my hair and was as healthy as I feel like. Until I started going to cosmetology school and, the back, and the whole experimenting and doing different things. So this might be a two day project. Dark brown urine. Look at that. But anyways, so my hair is moisturized and just Yeah, y'all know my so urine good. I always I drink water now. After I drink this coke, I don't know. Part. Like <laughs> No, your urine should not be no <laughs> goddamn brown. And hopefully Ew. I'm like some and shitty water. <laughs> really, really small if your pee looks like apple cider or something, <laughs> is it right? Oh, I kinda wanna make them no. bigger, but Wait, I missed a super I chat. Off small, so I'm going to some fire. Small, just so they look consistent. Away. This is about the size. Of each, if Nap uh, eighty five tries it, everyone will so. be on board. It sounds like wasn't nobody protesting the shit before. So but I think you're right. Maybe someone should bring it to her right. attention. So I'm using my organics with an X coconut milk styling cream, and I have to say I really like this styling cream. I don't know why I haven't been using it. I've been kind of um, experimenting with different products. Trying to find which products give my hair the best hold <laughs> and are moisturizing. And right now, honestly, it was I'm, actually I'm really kind of a good product for mini twists. Coconut milk styling cream. It was it's very thick. Twist as well as my flat twist. So. But it's good as like a sealant. I must have done at least like 150, at least. You're lying. I must be somewhere close to 200 right about now. Wait, is I'm the other side done? That's just how long I've been twisting, you guys. And when I get to so the dramatic. end, I take a little bit more of the styling cream. I smooth it on. Isn't the there end, a lawsuit with their brand for balding? Around my finger. Mm. There it is. Mm. And look at my length, you guys. Like my hair is growing. Organic. Look how long that is. Ha, ha. You see that? <laughs> Uh, Boy, that shit ain't even tickling your shoulders. You ball headed like. place. I was excited. Like, I never um, had hair before. Actually, my hair is a little bit longer than this, but it stops at my bottom lip. Um, Let me see. Give y'all a little quick oh, link check, I guess. This is I was sassy. Right my I love those earrings I had, though. I'm going to have them too. It they stops gone. right there. Oh, this there. chin right. strap. Ugh. Right there. Line yeah. yeah. But that's what they call like, it, the chin strap. The longest, my, that's I fucked twisted. up. Like, this is where my hair is the longest, I think. Right behind my ear. And it comes all the way down to my... Look how healthy it is, though. Like, from root to tip, bone. that shit is, like... But yeah, my hair is growing, Ain't no so. thinning. I don't know. It kind of feels no like breakage. it's not. Like, it, it feels like it hasn't been growing for the past two, three months. Hi, I look but, forward to... Uh, like How do you even shave it into that shape? It's easy. Um, just not at the rate that I want to Straight grow. lines are easy. And it's I'm the curves that are hard. Um, We're moving together. Like, anymore. Um, I used to be real crazy with I already got hoops. Measuring my hair every two or three months or so. Very but now I don't do that. Like, I've noticed, like, when you just stop caring, like, you notice the growth more. Yep. Not like stop caring about your hair, but if you stop caring about how fast your hair is growing, you tend to notice more growth. Like if you're looking every single month or every two months or so, and you're you're not seeing half an inch of growth every month, Don't you're gonna be a little month. discouraged. <laughs> but if you just and now what happened? You just let your hair grow. <laughs> now, it's, now it's dropping. The it wants to grow. Then it you know you start to notice your hair growing. It's kind of like with losing you weight. Just stop caring. It's like losing weight. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Like, oh, you know, check your weight right every single day or every week. <laughs> so, I just, I Hell no. Anyways, I'm rambling. So, I like 
right. I think I, I probably felt fat here. Think of where? So I had a little, really little self explanatory. There's no point there. in like doing a tutorial. I always had a pooch because I think I have a um, pelvic um, axle tilt. So, like, I mean, my. Actually, doing the twist. Stick up. No, it's um, like. It's very it's, very, I forgot how they describe it. It's I like your it pelvis is like tilted forward. Me. So, it kind of uh, makes your. Really um, belly protrude it's more. Just didn't let me. Yeah, it's almost like you're jutting it out. Like so, even when I would be skinny, I would have that little belly, and I. Oh, by the way, you guys. It always, um, I always was self-conscious about. And it. I apologize because I can't remember your name right at this time. I don't know. Um, requested that I do um, a video explaining how I did the triangle parts for my bantu knots. Oh, I couldn't see. And I, I want that size hoops. Um, They're too cute. This is this actually isn't my the camera. ones I have in this now. This is my roommate's camera, so. Um, I really only have access to it when he's not using it, and he's like always using it all the time. <laughs> but I promise I'm gonna get you that video really, really soon. Um, just be patient with me. I'm, you know. Oh, look at you. Um, I promise I'm gonna get you that video. So just wanted to let committed you know about you. to his audience. Okay, so this is all <laughs> this is it. The, now it's like y'all get a video when y'all get it. Shit. Hit the thumbs up. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> later. I'll be sure to post footage of me when I'm finished. Bye. Bye. Okay, just so we can. Those monkeys swimming. Where? You just met, you, you went back, but it's okay. You're right there. Oh, yeah. right here. Yeah. They swimming. <laughs> Let me see. Eleven comments. Oh my goodness, they're like attacking right now. <laughs> they had an Ava cold they trying to get out the cold. You know they talking about it's supposed oh, to snow and shit. True. Anyways, I want you to know that you started me on my journey. For years I kept a Caesar cup because I didn't want a permit anymore, but I did not know how to style my hair outside of a blowout afro. Last year I decided to let it grow after I saw your video on your uh, of yours on Naturality site. I've seen all your vids since then and signed up with YouTube. My eyes have been open for the better. I went home, told my fiance about you. Damn. <laughs> and he thought I was crushing on another man. <laughs> so thank you for sharing. Hell no. Like I said, I'm like, he's gay, y'all. <laughs> I just found you and I'm catching up on your videos. You're so talented. Please try and pursue this because talent like yours should not be wasted. Well, guess I did that, huh? Cute as always of your intro pick. You go, boy. You go, boy. I love your hair. I could not. Brown-eyed dancer. I still remember her. She used to comment on all my videos. Oh, my God, they look awesome. They look really good. You make me want to twist my hair. <gasps> Nia's so pretty. She's a gamer, too. Hold on. Let me see if she got me. She jumped out of the natural hair community. I guess it got kind of weird for her too, but whatever. Let's see. She put her on too, shit. Okay, yeah, that's her situation. They video game her. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I fuck with it. Okay, she went to Animal Crossing. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see what she got going on over here. Let me see. Let me see. see, look, she be streaming for four hours. <laughs> I don't think this. Oh, I'm sorry. This shit was turned all the way up too. Sorry. Y'all, I don't think this a game. Like gamers, we used to this shit. Like we. Hold on, what she got? Just want the chicken taco. Yes, for the head wrap though. Did that. Hey, Damn I'm making you yeah. hungry. I'm making you hungry because it's gonna be. Lit. I'm sorry, I'm being so nosy right now. <laughs> Cheated. I don't even think I'm Cheater. subscribed. I need to go on my. Hold on, we have to punish We have to. Okay, I'm gonna check this out later. I'm sorry, I just. <laughs> this nigga. I can't I stream longer than an hour. My attention span. That was loud. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had I had my volume turned all the way up because my video was so low. I didn't even think about it. You know what? Ooh, well, let me go. Silk Press. Ooh, that Silk Press is hanging on by, um, not a thread, but maybe like 
some kinks. It's it's um reaching the end of its day. All right, let me. Oh, we'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> she know I day. love her. Yep. All right. Oh wait, did you want to say bye? Like you, you just yeah, dipping. I'll be. I'm gonna say. I don't know if you got to say something else, but go ahead. Oh well. Bye, you guys. <laughs> okay. I'll probably be back tomorrow, so y'all see me good. Like, I'm just shooshing you off. Yeah, like, get the fuck get off. Get off. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll be Love right y'all. back. Give me a couple minutes. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, you leave it. Look. <laughs> Don't be like that. Bye, y'all. Oh, I got to put on shoes. I don't feel like dealing with this. Is the music on? Okay, it's playing. Oh, and I can eat my banana chips. Thank you.
Say bye to the baby too. Okay, give me a second. I gotta breathe. Oh, breathe, bitch. smack up in y'all ear. I mean my chocolate covered banana chips. No, for some reason those were shaped round. I don't know why. It looks like this. Yeah. Alright, um, let me see how many more videos we got. Hmm. 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 All right, we got five more videos. Mm. You and Jermaine with the chocolate covered fruit. Wait, what is he eating? Mm, for some reason, it's like these banana chips are kind of stale. It kind of hurt my um my teeth a little bit. I got these from Sprouts. Share her YouTube channel link, please. I love gaming too. Okay. Let me get her on the phone. There you go. Tell her African hair guy I sent you. I don't know how I feel about banana chips, but I love bananas. <laughs> there. Hold on. All right. I'm going to do our next video request from Live Life Key. Hey, boo. She said, Casey Joe is Miss Jessie's even worth it for type 4B hair. Wait, people still use Miss Jessie's? I haven't heard that name in a long time. That's crazy. I almost forgot about Miss Jessie's. Oh, this one? Yep. Okay. Hey, everyone that's still here all the night hours. We riding it out on the last five videos of the night. Thank you so much for joining, hitting that thumbs up, and supporting each and every week. Let's go. It's nice having Lee here, but sometimes she be cramping my style just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, then when she not here, I'm like, where Leah at? Where Leah at? Mm-mm. Man, she gone. Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell from the title of this video, I have another hair video for you guys since you seem to love them. And we are going to be doing a wash and go using Miss Jessie's Honey Curls. Now, I've never tried this product before and I'm going to give you a backstory of why I'm using this. But I also want to mention that this is going to be a one product wash and go and I'll give you some back stories to that as well. So before we begin, you guys already know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And turn on notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. So let's address the one product wash and go. The reason why I am doing this is because I've noticed my hair has been acting absolutely crazy. My hair is not as defined as it once was. I would say around like 20. Don't be talking about my baby mama like that. We love and her. I don't have damage. I don't really straighten my hair unless I'm getting my hair professionally done. And I go to people who specialize in natural hair and I never have a problem with any type of heat damage. But my hair has been a lot frizzier than usual, even if I do things exactly how I used to do it. I want to say a lot of it has to do with my length now because back in 2019, of course, my hair was a lot shorter. So the weight of my hair now may be stretching out my curls, but it's just not giving, guys. It's not defined. It just a lot of times it just looks like a poofy mess and I just be over it. I can make it look good for a day but my wash and goes do not last as long as they used to. So I've been out to the black hair experience with Alyssa Marie. Alyssa, for those of you, you guys probably follow her on Instagram and YouTube. She's pretty big. And we were chatting about wash and goes and she was like, you know what? I actually don't use leave-ins anymore. I just go in straight with my gel, just lots of water and gel. She also encouraged me to purchase this Felicia Herwood, I believe the name is. I can't really see brush, but she swears by this. She was like, the longer your hair gets, the more you would have to start to switch your styling routine. Since you typically finger detangle. What's so bad about a leave-in? Oh, she is wearing a wet t-shirt. She sure is. All right, I love 
t-shirt, wet t-shirt. <laughs> I mean, I just feel like a leave-in shouldn't really make or break a style. Because it's a leave-in, but that's just me. Go try this out. So I got this with me. So basically she's like, I just apply a lot of water, brush that, and then I apply my gel. So that is the reason why we're going to do a one product wash and go. Now the only reason why it's like kind of tricky to know if this is actually going to work is because I'm using a product I've never used before. So let's get into that backstory. This is the Miss Jessie's Honey Curls, like I mentioned before. And the reason why I'm using this is for two reasons. One, one of my friends, Suli G, she talked about it on her Instagram story and how she absolutely loved it. And so I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and give it a shot. However, Suli's hair is a lot different than mine. She has more of like a spiral curl. And when I went on Miss Jessie's Instagram, which is something I've also heard a lot. They don't have a lot of representation for people like me. There's not a lot of hair inclusivity, I would say, on their social media, which kind of worries me. I feel like it's not as diverse as I would like it to be, which kind of lets me know that their hair products is more so geared towards women in like maybe the three category or even like 4A. But I'm gonna still try it out. Maybe something they haven't realized. Maybe their social media is pushing away the 4B girls and even the 4C girls, but it probably does work. We never know, right? So I Even though she's doing a lot of talking, um... She's actually making some really good points. She's not just talking to be talking. That's why I'm trying to hear her out. I wanted to come on here and be that person to try it out for you guys. And you never know, because I do have a platform, if it works, I will be sure to let them know, hey, you need a little bit more diversity on your social media because you're not representing the girls like us, like the 4B girls and the 4C girls. So that is the reason why I want to try this out. Now, because I don't know if it's going to work, I'm not going to know if it's the one product or this. I don't know. But we're just going to get into it. We're going to try this out. So I've already washed my hair. I did shampoo my hair. I deep conditioned as well. And I have my hair sectioned in eight sections, which I'm probably going to break down each section to another two. So it will be totally about 16 sections I really want to work in smaller portions because that is really going to help me like see what's going on with my hair right so first thing I'm going to do is drench my hair I have my spray bottle here my spray bottle does have a lot of warm water in it and I just want my hair to be nice and drenched now for those of you who do not know or don't check the description boxes or whatever I do have low porosity hair which means like my hair it's like the pores in it or whatever it's called it's like so tight and it does not just Oh, this is kind of pointless, but this is the consistency of the Miss Jessie's Honey Curls. Now, I will say I am very happy with the consistency. I will say that it's thick. She's a thick girl. And thicker products work better with my hair. Gels that are like water, girl, no. It does absolutely nothing for me. So, I really like the consistency. I do. And I like what my hair is doing already. I really do like what my hair is doing already. My hair is breaking a lot, guys. I don't know what's going on with her. She's not doing what I need her to do. Like, my hair has just been acting so crazy lately. I cannot wait to get this trim. I definitely want to talk to you guys more about my hair and what I'm about to be doing. So stay tuned for that video. I might film it today before I leave just to give you guys more insight on the journey I'm about to go through. My hair is looking good so far. Okay, I see some shine. Yeah, Mission Seas was always expensive. It was way too expensive for me with the products. That, um, or not the products, the ingredients that they have, a bunch of mineral oil. I remember, yeah, mineral oil was like the main ingredient in most of their products, I remember. And, um, it smelled good. And I'm like, let's see if this shit deliver. This shit never deliver. I remember I had a whole line of Miss Jessie's products. I literally used all that shit like once, twice, three times and gave that shit away. Because I'm like, the shit leaves my hair dry every fucking time. It left it dry. It didn't leave it smooth. It left it looking ashy. And it just, the product just smelled good. It smelled like candy and it didn't do nothing for me. So, I give the whole line away. Okay. It looks okay. It does. It does. I think I want to apply a little bit more product to my roots. Because my roots are looking a little poofy and I'm not here for that. But, it doesn't look bad. It does not look bad. I might be at a point where I can't work in such large sections. I be trying to finish my hair so fast because I'm over it. <laughs> but I think if I was to work in smaller sections, you might. Oh, I be back to see how it looks, and then you know, sit under the dryer and all that good stuff. This is a lot. The usual, the usual here on this channel. I do feel like this section here is too big that we're not going to really see the results that we want to see. So I'm going to go ahead and section this off in half. Some of these curls is like really popping. Oh my God. Is it? This is getting me crazy excited. Okay, so I have the product all over this section. I am going to spray some water and I'm going to go in one more time just with the praying hand method all over. And then we're just going to move on. We're just going to see what's happening here. This is so I do my washing goes in the shower. I define the inside. 
I don't know. I think I was actually working in smaller sections here. So maybe the longer my hair grows, the more I have to work in smaller sections. But other I'm super excited to see handed so I'm going to go ahead and sit under the dryer for like an hour maybe two hours or so however long it takes for me to dry at least majority of this without me being pressed for time and then we'll be back to see the final product okay guys and I am back so it's been about an hour and 45 minutes I sat under the dryer for like an hour and a half and then I went and cleaned my bathroom and stuff because if you a natural girl you know the bathroom can get really messy when you're washing your hair in the shower but I just want to say Miss Jessie's why are you not promoting your products to women of my hair type are you, maybe maybe they are and I'm just not seeing it. They do have it on their website, but I'm saying like on their like Instagram for instance, because my hair looks amazing. It looks so freaking good. This is probably one of the most successful wash days that I've had in a minute. And it sucks, I'm about to just like wash my hair tomorrow. I'll tell you why they don't. Cause you know why they don't want to deal with them 4C girls. That should be a hit or miss on that 4B, 4C. And they don't want to deal with that shit. They don't want them bad reviews. They don't want to say, well, you promoted this like it was going to work for Fossey Hair. And it don't work for Fossey Hair. Mm -mm. Um, let me see what she's saying. That is pretty good. I think it looks phenomenal. My hair smells good. I love this. And I'm definitely going to pick up backups of this. You know, I got to get at least like three of them in my you know collection because this is so nice. This is so good. I just feel like a lot of you guys should get your hands on it and... I can tell that it'll work for a lot of different hair types. And this is this is what I need. This is what I need when I need a wash and go. I don't want my wash and goes to be hard and crunchy and things like that because I feel like that is contributing to the damage that I am doing to my hair. So this is what I'm looking for. When I do my wash and go, this is what I want right Maybe now. Maybe all that brush you so is. I am literally 10 out of 10 pleased with this. I'm literally going to buy more, like right now. Like right now. It's amazing. I Hold up. How much does shit cost? Now, you know, I ain't want to be, like, all up on people's price menus and shit. <laughs> but, um, I just need the shit to make sense. Okay, we're looking at about roughly between $16 and $20. Oh, this is at a discount. Eight and a half ounces. Okay. So, do all her products do the same thing? That was another thing. It was like, y'all have all these different products. Let me let me go on the website. Let me go on the website. Y'all have all these products. And... Like, what What are they supposed to do? What's the differentiation? Like, did I say that right? Differentiation? Yeah. Pillow soft curls. The baby buttercream. All right, let's see. Excellent for natural curls, kinks, waves, pony puffs, TWAs, twist outs, braid outs, transitioners, coiling, silkeners. What? Eight ounces, $32. The curly buttercream. Again, great for natural curls, kinks, waves, pony puffs, TWAs, twist outs, braid outs, transitioners, coiling, silkeners. And why is this $2? One time purchase. Hold up. How much is this? It don't say. Oh, that's why it's a little packet. Hold up. Oh, okay, there we go. Eight ounces, $32. I was like, wait, what? I was like, that shit can't be right. Let me see. Perfect for tight, curly, kinky transitioners. For kinky textures, it says best to apply alone as a base in combination with any of the recommended kinky hair stylers. What? Best... To apply alone or as a base in combination with any of the recommended kinky hair stylers, 
and also as a daily maintenance product. What are the kinky hairstylers? The baby buttercream. The soft, the pillow soft curls, leave-in jelly soft curls. A natural soft curl cream styling lotion, perfect for achieving static-free big or soft, small soft curls that we all dream about. So I would imagine this is supposed to be more moisturizing, moisturizing and volumizing for wavy, curly, tight, curly. Okay, it's for everybody. I, I'm pulling out. Um, Yeah, for me, if I'm paying that much for one product at eight fluid ounces, that shit got to be an all in one for me. It got to be an all in one. Like I can't, I can't buy the whole set. Like if I buy two products, like, that's a phone bill. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's a lot. And then on top of it, let's go to history. On top of it, let's look at the product list. I mean, the ingredient list. Ingredients. We have water, emulsifying wax, glycerin, amodimethicone, vehentry ammonium chloride, Methyl gluceth hydro cellulose guar. No, okay, that that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Okay, so this is more of a glycerin based kind of creamy situation. Let me go back to the baby buttercream. What's in this one? Water, petrolatum, glycerin, mineral oil, fragrance. First five ingredients, water, petroleum, glycerin, mineral oil, and fragrance. Um, let's try jelly soft curls. I would imagine this is glycerin based. How much is this? 14. Okay, this doesn't have as much. Best darn super soft gel, period. Water, polysorbate 20, carbomer, glycerin, PVP, Sodium hydromethylglycinate, amino methyl, methanol, propanol fragrance, the sodium EDTA, hydrolyzed wheat protein. Okay. And it just so happened to be cheaper, less ingredients. All right. Anyways, I don't, I don't want to spend too much time on this because I'm tired. <laughs> They, that's why their product smells so strong. Yep, fragrance is at the top five. And that shit, if like, if you don't like scents, mm-mm. Miss Jessie's is not for you. That shit will give you a headache. It smells, I always remember it smelling like candy or like fruity candy, like Jolly Ranchers or something like that. So that usually like, gets a lot of people like like that reels them in because they're like oh this smells so good i want this in my hair but like for me it never really performs i guess for her the honey curls did his thing um i still i still would want just a little bit more movement for me it's still a little too stiff for me i don't know if it's because her hair is dried or dry -y. Um, I think for me, I probably would scrunch it out, but it's moving. It's definitely moving. It's just like, it's rigid. <laughs> I don't, I don't like, I don't like rigidity in a wash and go. I feel like a wash and go should always be like a touchable, like effortless looking style, even though most of the time it's not, I would expect this type of hold for like a rod set or, okay. They, see, she fluffing it. It's, it's, okay, maybe I'm being too critical. No, she needs some oil in that thing. She, she should have used the leave-in. She needs, she needs something to soften that up. Just a little bit. She needs something to soften it up. Um, I had the kinky curl. Oh, the coiling custard. I remember that. It smelled like dish soap. I would describe it as smelling like a sweet candle. It was one of them. I think it was the deep conditioning treatment that, for me, smelled like 
Candy. I think that's why I'm resonating with Candy. It was that deep conditioning treatment. But yeah, the other ones I would definitely say Scent a Candle. I definitely would agree with that. Or like Laffy Taffy Fruity Candy. Like it was one that was like a purple color. That reminded me of Candy too. I think one of them kind of had like this cotton candy kind of aroma to it. Anyway, it, it just smelled unhealthy to me. Like, it just smelled like... <laughs> Wait, is my computer freezing? Come on. Oh, shit. What the fuck is happening? Now my YouTube button don't want to work. The super sweet bag smelled like bubblegum. That's what it was. Thank you, Third Eye. Thank you. It sure did. That's why I always think of the candy, because it was that one. And I was like, this shit, I've never smelled no hair product like this. All right, we're going to move on to Trina. Trina's request, thank you so much. She said, any wisdom lock video, it's mine anniversary. Okay, so you got a wisdom lock. Um, I meant to ask, I think I asked you earlier, how long have you had it? Um, I wonder if she answered. Does anyone remember? Wisdom lock. See journey something. Let me see. Wait, she put a single lock right there, of all places. She did combing out my single lock. The dangers of lock jewelry. Hmm. Let me add this to the list. Meet Shelly. All about my wisdom dreadlock. Two years ago. One year ago. Oh, shit. My two single locks update. That shit is long. Let's watch this one. La Winter. The one I had that came in a brown too smelled like a sweet candle, then candy to me. She only has got two locks. Yeah, so for those of y'all that don't know, Wisdom Locks is not really a style but it's more of like, um, you remember how back in the day, like boys would have rat tails where they would shave or cut all their hair low except for that one piece of hair in the back and they would grow it out and braid it. That's pretty much what a wisdom lock is. Like you can have it anywhere, but generally speaking, most people just have like one wisdom lock growing out and then like the rest of their hair is like either loose or, you know, in a different style or something, so... The winter is about to be my new alias name. Yeah, I like that name. That's cute. So, yeah, let's see. I said, let's see. And let's hear. Think of coming to America, barbershop scene. Hi, guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, today I am coming to you with a requested video. Someone had commented on my old how I refresh my lock video, I wanted to know, well, how does my locks look today? Well, these are my locks, and as you can see, they have grown a lot. I do the exact same method. Only thing is, when I started wearing wigs, my hair started getting caught on the clips a lot, and it was getting caught on everything, clips, um, zippers, my chains. So I really try not to wear necklaces and stuff like that as often, and if I do, I'll wear it, but I'll have on my wig. So it won't like be, Prince Akeem. Um, mm -hmm. Just getting yeah, just watch Coming to America for movie everything. night too. It still does. I just try to be more mindful of it. I'll keep it in one place. I'll pit it up for something, or I'll do something along the lines of not wearing it down when I have on like long jewelry and stuff that it's gonna hook up on. So anyway, oh, so what I did was I had to wrap um, the, my locks with some of my shed hair. 
um, from when I would wash my hair and I just used it to help thicken my hair back up. Oh. So that is pretty much what I did. The back is still, it's finally starting to um, oh. catch itself. I'm not adding any more hair because it is increasing the weight on the lock. And if it's too heavy, it's, you know, it's pulling, it's going to hurt my head if it's too heavy. So this is my left side and this is the side that I grew first. And I did cut it when I grew the other side so that it could grow even. Oh, wow. So, so it was longer. first. So this would be about, I want to say, four or five years of growth for my locks. And this one I did about six months after. I did it because a lot of people had one lock and I like to be different. So I just did another one on the opposite side. I kind of like that. how long it has grown. It is not as long as the other one. But you would see that typically I wear my locks on one side together. And when I do that, they even out perfectly. So they did kind of catch up each other in that way. Because before... Um, when this would come like over, like that, one would be longer than the next. Now I'm going to stand up so you can get a true representation of how it falls on me. I am about almost 5'5", five five, not really, I'm like 5'4 five and a half. And as you can see, my hair ain't really much different from when I first started because I do a lot with my hair. So hopefully by next year I'll catch up itself or else I'm probably going to lock my whole hair because a lot of people, when they see me and they see the length of my locks, they're like, you might as well lock the whole hair. You see how long your hair is? But the reason that my hair is not as long as my locks is because I constantly do stuff to my hair. I'm going to show you guys how my hair looks from both the front and the back. So, this is Your hair is never... Hand. Okay, so let me say that. Your hair is never going to be the same length as your locks. You, we've already established locks are a conveyor belt of both hair that's attached to your scalp and shed hair. So as long as your hair is growing and shedding, the locks will continue to grow. Your hair that's loose is going to shed at some point and regrow it. So it's it's going to reach a point where it's not going to surpass. Okay. This is the right. So so this is how long the left and right is. Ooh. Right now, the left. This is my pelvic bone. Oh, right y'all with this girl! Oh, yeah. Oh, she has a nice, like, midsection. So it's past my pelvic bone, which is right here. And this is probably right at the top of my pelvic bone. I tug it, it's like right there. And from the back. You could have did without the music. Everybody's showing their body off tonight. Boy. Oh, girl, we don't. Oh, no, she's not digging into her. What is she doing? Child, if my midsection looked like that, I would always be in the bra. <laughs> everywhere. Midriff, bras, everywhere. Oh, girl, we, we get the visual. We get, Oh, my God. Um, on vote on videos to do. So just let me know down in the comments what you would like to see. Bye. Thanks for watching. And shout out to you who asked me about my locks because I, it really has been a, a long time, right? Bye. Please like and subscribe. See, I would like it, but you was getting a little risque for me. Made me feel uncomfortable. Let's see, Sante. I would. Let me see. Is there like a lock, wisdom lock, routine? Like, how does it wash day featuring my wisdom lock? Okay, let me. Damn. <laughs> I don't. I kind of want to watch this one too. Fuck it. Let's watch this one too. We don't watch enough lock videos anyway. Hey, Alina, X, Hallie. What was that? That was Kirby. That's my new um soundbite when somebody subscribes. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel.
I wanted to get like some little sound clips that would be like eye catching. So that of course I'm starting by just saturating my hair. Outs. This is my hair after I had just taken it down from braids. So it's a little bit more dirty than usual because of that. So I'm gonna really is be going she, like, hard with the shampoo. In times you guys 20? are gonna see me doing that. All right. And I'm also going to be showing y'all how I deal with my Aaliyah wisdom does not sound like that. On wash day. There she goes. Was it right loud? There. I thought I'm it was loud. I'll turn it down. I take care of my wisdom lock on wash day because I, I do treat it a little bit down than the rest of my hair. And yeah, so I'm about to get into shampooing. So I am using the Blueberry Reparative Hair Wash by Curls. I'm sure y'all are all already familiar with the Blueberry Collection by Curls. I'm using the shampoo from that line. So I usually divide my hair up into four sections to distribute the shampoo. And uh, you guys do can a see the shedding. Quick. I do like to finger detangle. Even with shampoo in, I like to start the finger detangling there. Because I feel like when you detangle while you have product in, it just really helps distribute the product. And I want a deep clean because my hair was just in braids. So, yeah, y'all are going to see the shedding throughout this video. <laughs> I always just ball it up and put it on the side. Where's your locket? So, yeah, I'm just saturating my hair before I apply more shampoo. Oh, um, okay. And then I'm going to be shamp uh, shampooing my wisdom Got lock it. separately. Got it. Thanks. Oh shit. Fuck. If I get flagged, it's my fault. This ended up being a terrible video. <laughs> okay. Oh, she got a juicy lock. If it were me. And me, so, you know, I'm not breaking off any hair. I then like to just really let the lock saturate in shampoo. I squeeze the shampoo in. I don't know why I didn't end up recording none of that, but I like squeeze it into the lock, if y'all get what I'm saying, kind of like how y'all saw me do. That shampoo but yeah. like, it so ain't now enough. it's time for my scalp massage. If y'all know me, I love my scalp massages. It's so many benefits to scalp massages. My it helps to stimulate growth. If you have any irritated you know, spots on your scalp or anything like that, it really helps soothe it. Yeah, and it's just really right. relaxing. I love scalp massages. It literally makes me look forward to watching y'all, like for real. So I highly recommend. I'm gonna link everything I'm using in the description box below. Okay, so I was saying, if I was to get, like, a uh, wisdom lock and, like, say my lock got as long as, like, the last girl's, I would probably do, like, um, like some type of ombre color job on it or something. like Or something to, like, make it pop a little bit more. That's just me, though. For conditioning, for deep conditioning, I, don't think I've seen I just like to divide that. my hair up into four sections again. This time, I'm finger detangling like a lot more thoroughly, and then after I'm done distributing the product through each section and detangling it really well. Yeah, her lock just looked like a, a twist she forgot to take out. <laughs> it looks um, was it intentional? I guess, I guess so. It's all intentional. What's a good way to style a wisdom lock? Keep it out of your style. <laughs> I mean that that's kind of the point, right? But then think about it like it all constantly getting tugged on that one spot. Where's the bubbles? The rest of my hair. No I sense. love applying leave-in in the shower now. That's like my new thing because it just makes it so much easier to manage my hair. I'm still rinsing out, I haven't applied leave-in yet, but it makes it so much easier to manage my hair. And um, when it's soaking wet and saturated, it's just so much easier to manipulate. So when I add products right then, it's just like Or if you had three wisdom locks, you could braid it. Oh, that's true. I would also use my wisdom lock as a makeshift hair tie. <gasps> oh, that's so smart for an Afro puff, to be honest. It would have to get long enough, though. That was a deep conditioner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For my wisdom lock, because I did put I a two in one product, I'm just going to be rinsing it gently and letting the rest of the leave in sit in my wisdom lock so that it can be a little bit moisturized. I like using a minimal amount of product on my wisdom lock, so that's just how I'm doing that. Okay. If it was me, I think I probably have like two like wisdom locks coming down. Like, I know it would look like I'm Jewish or something, but like, I always like how that looks like on anime characters. Or they had that long tendril and then like their hair is like pulled back. Is Nazarol good for dry G scalp? Um I wouldn't use it for that. I subscribe okay. I bye. would use it for because uh, it's medicated. So I would only use it if you have like dandruff or flaking issues, but not just because it's dry and itchy. I was just going to bring up the juice. Yeah, I know. I know. It would probably look really weird. It probably would.
in my mind though, in my mind though, like I would be, I'm thinking about cutting my hair like that with the tendrils. I mean, honestly, like when y'all be getting the like feed in braids and y'all had it coming forward, it was cute then. So why can't I have my little, my little wisdom lock tendrils? So y'all can do it, but I can't. Okay. Okay. See, that's the shit I be talking about. See, somebody got to be fashion forward. Everybody can't look like everybody. Everybody can't have their shit in the back. Y'all always rocking that shit looking like Jews with your Fulani braids and your little, your corn rolls and shit. Now when I want to do it, I'm looking Jewish. Okay. Now anything's wrong with that. I get it. All right, we got, I ate your sandwiches request, then it's Lisa and Romaine. All right, so I ate your sandwiches said, Shanti's, Shanti's Huntley, tapered wash and go on 3C here. I feel like I said her name wrong. Did I? A lock on the top of the head. I'm going to be walking around looking like a... <sighs> ooh, ooh. What if I do like the old like Asian martial arts movie where they have the long braid like only like at the top of their head or like the back half of their head and the rest is bald? Mm -hmm. I'm going to start a new trend. Watch. Everybody going to be doing that shit. All the rappers... All the, mm hmm everybody watch. The Shaolin Monk, yup. Genie from Aladdin. You should lock your beard. Funny you say that. I was actually going to do a video of me doing a flat twist out on my beard. Because my beard is actually long enough to like, like this shit is long. But I could cornrow this shit like, Oh, God, this shit nappy. Still twisting. Still twisting. Still twisting. Still going. I could do a rod set. You know what? I actually might do a rod set on my shit. I might do a rod set on my shit. Why the fuck not? Someone said, I think Allie said I should put curl formers in. <laughs> she said it again. You need to put the curl formers. You know what? We actually got some in the shop. I just don't know if I'm willing to sit with a bunch of curl formers in my on my chin. Like, what if brother locks on beers became a trend? We want to see it. You know what? I'm gonna start doing some fun shit with my beard. That's what I'm gonna do. Y'all right? Let's 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 switch it up. Shit, I ain't got no hair. You got all this beard. Let's do it. Shit. I was just saying some random shit. I didn't think you would actually do it to your beard. Well, be careful what you wish for. We're going to start off with the flat twist out. And uh, hopefully, flat twist with beads. Hopefully that works out. We might we might find some interesting styles. Like, we already seen the beards with the silk press and the hard curl. Y'all already see me flat iron it. Hair wax on beard. You know what? I actually might do that. If I do do it, I would probably do it more of like an ombre versus like just coating all of my beard. I think ombres on beard is nice. Only reason I wouldn't do it on like with real hair color is because bleach like thins it out and like dries out your beard. And my shit is already dry and breaks really easily. So, um, yeah, I, I'm okay. I, I'm excited now. We gonna, we gonna get some little... Some little styling vids up in here. Cornrows, your beard, and add beads. Hmm. What if I... What if I got Henny to braid, like, rows going down my beard? Hmm. I'm going to ask her to do that. Yep, I'm going to ask her because I definitely can't do that myself. That's going to be interesting. Thanos. 
not beard waves. I'm gonna get the beard waves when I do the flat twist out. Watch, put crochet braids. Y'all gonna have me turn into a whole fucking meme on Twitter and TikTok and everything else. Did I pin her? Okay, I did. All right, what's your My name? super cute, super quick wash and go. Um, this is about a week old hair, so it's definitely time to wash it and um, just to find it and get those curls popping. So I'm gonna go ahead and Touches wash this, beard. and I'll be hmm. right back to show you guys exactly what I use <laughs> and how you can get that cute wash and go. All right, so guys, I'm back. Just finished uh, washing my hair. I only shampoo my hair probably once a month. The only time I shampoo my hair is after I touch up my color and I have to bleach it. Um, in between bleaches, whenever I just need to wash my hair to do it, I use the As I Am um, Coconut Co-Wash. That's what I just use now. So my hair's still a little damp, but not after as not washing your hair for a whole month. In order to start this wash and go process with me, it's, I've learned it's easier for me to do my hair when it's soaking wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my spray bottle just to, um, to wet my hair uh, just a little bit more so I can really get um, some good definition. I got this spray bottle from Sally's. I think it was like $9 or something like that. This cut is cute though. Spray it a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start skipping this. All right, so first, and my hair is already detangled. I love this leave-in because when you put it in your hands and rub it together, it automatically warms up. So it's almost like it's just kind of melting into your hair. The way I do my leave-in is I pull all my hair over to one side. I'm gonna get that side done. Get to the other side. Get the back good and the sides. Damn, that's a lot. That's that's a lot. Go back. Get the front really good. I like to just kind of over time, your hair heel. becomes okay. mush and becomes over processed. That's crazy. I just did my roots and they're already like grown back. Yeah, that's what hair does. Oh. Oh no. Your hair hears the command break. So the hydrogen bond's like, okay, break. Okay, so she only does this once some Ooh girl. Her hair is breaking. She's breaking her hair. All right. So now to the styler. So the styler that I'm gonna be using today is the Lot of Body with Milk and Honey Refine Me Curl Defining Mousse. It took me a while to find this. Um I looked online. That blonde hair is so compromised, like to even like handle it when it's wet, like that el elasticity isn't strong enough to like handle all that tugging. And its natural state is cool, but when it's like bleached like this to a high blonde, you gotta be very, very gentle, especially when the hair is wet. Cause what hair is weak is when wet, except when you a virgin natural and your shit ain't about like two seconds from breaking. Like five ninety nine, I think. The Camille Rose Honey Hydrate you can get at Target. This uh, another bottle is really small. It's like thirteen bucks. And then the As I Am Coconut Co Wash you can. You get cannot at use Valley's. a lot of that honey. Your hair will be so sticky. I can't exactly remember how much it That's was. probably why it's so hard for her to comb it. But, so what I've learned is the easiest way for me to do my hair is for it to be in sections. So I'm gonna grab my clip again. The sections. I'm gonna... All right. She said, "I am not on. editing Let's this video." Together. And I like to do my hair kind of in, in rows. So just a little freehand part. Okay. Start here with this first layer. Add some mousse to it. And I guess you can kind of, I guess I could do kind of shingle it a little bit. And just kind of run that through. And just make sure those strands get really drenched in that mousse. Go on to For me, I actually like, it's, it would be easier if she like saturated her hair with water, which she already did. And then like take a huge section like the one she's holding and saturate that with mousse prematurely and then go in and part and use the mousse that's already present to like work through her hair like the second row same thing uh, and if you're like me if you're a person who's like me who does not who likes for your hair to hold but not for it to have like it's a not moving that hardness that gel leaves then this mousse is is perfect for you I just want her to separate the curls a little bit. It's looking like ramen noodles. She want the ramen noodles? She's laying it like it's a pancake. Maybe it's gonna separate when it's dry. 
Once I lay down a section, I don't go like. Why this hard middle part though? This hard middle part is going to irritate my spirit. It's a lot easier to tame um, it to in an upward motion. In the back. Okay, it's not, the application is not terrible. It just could be better. I wish I was the one doing it. That's an interesting clip. <laughs> That's an interesting clip. There's one on the side there. How I put the back, I get it doesn't have to be cute. I just need for it to stay in place. Same thing on this left side. So now that I have everything kind of in the front, the side, back, it's still a little damp, but okay. you guys get the idea. So thank you guys for Wait, no, 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 we're done. We're done. Front. We're done. You're not going to do anything with the back. I have to show you guys how. All right, guys, this is the finished product. The front, the side. looking it's looking like a shelf it's looking like a, a shelf that's like about to fall over um i feel like what i would have done is with the shorter hairs i probably would have did more finger curling maybe or maybe more of a hard wash and go to really activate the curls and maybe scrunch it in so that you not really are trying to smooth it into the cut, but like more so leaving it disconnected because this is a disconnected cut, meaning that the back is not meant to blend with the long in the front. So she's kind of just styling it wrong or maybe not in the most flattering way. But, um, Back. it's still a little damp, but you guys get the idea. So, thank you. Maybe, you'll, maybe it'll age and look better. Subscribe down below so that way you better. get notifications when my next video comes. And I'll see you guys soon. Um, I hope she got Olaplex because she's going to need it. How old is this video? Okay, this is back in 2020. Okay, no updates. Got it. Maybe the bag needs to be shorter. The bag is fine. It's just, it's not meant to like fall up. Like it wasn't cut up, so it doesn't need to fall up. Her hair is grown out, so it just needs to like, it, it needs to be almost like a, a fro, like shaping into the silhouette like it just all right yeah maybe maybe she need to trim it up a little bit to make it a little shorter so that she ain't gotta like slick it up because it ain't it ain't slicking kind of fro yeah like a fro hawk yeah exactly exactly i i i wouldn't have styled it like that that's just me that kind of um they kind of hurt to like see it look like that All right, next we have Lisa West's request. She says, Slade Hairstyles, Amazing Natural Hair Shrinkage. Okay, is this a video? Let me see. Whose video is this? Slade Hairstyles. Oh, wait, here it is. Slade Hairstyles, Amazing Natural Hair Shrinkage. Got it. There we go. Thank you so much, Lisa, for the request. Let's check it out. How long we been on? Four hours and 46 minutes. Okay, this is cool. You know, I was feeling kind of drained and tired when I first started. Um, I completely forgot all that. I came on kind of irritated and pissed too, but um, I'm feeling good. See, it's just, it's just great when you can just get on and just like... 
not worry about shit. But when you gotta worry about shit, that shit irritate. It's irritating as fuck. Like, I come here to like unwind and decompress. I don't. I don't come here to be like uptight and and concerned and worried about what everyone is going to like have an opinion of. Like, just watch the fucking video. Shit. Stop trying to diagnose me as a, or yeah, diagnose me as an alcoholic. And I'm like, come on, man. Come the fuck on. Um, all right, pinned. All right, we're ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. Her hair is already pretty damaged. Olaplex ain't Jesus. Lazarus gonna stay dead. Is on the video for more videos like okay, this. Okay, thank you. Hold on. The natural hair shrinks more than 60% of the hair length that shows your hair. Oh, they use the same music I do. The shrinkage can come in different level. Sometimes your hair may shrink 50%, sometimes it may shrink 60%, and sometimes there are some natural hair systems, your hair may shrink up to 80%. Yes, I have said. Well, I will say the longer your hair gets, the more shrinkage that is going to be apparent. Like, I wouldn't use a percentage because it's not going to be as drastic of a shrinkage with only like three inches of hair versus having like maybe 30 inches of hair. So that shows your hair. All right. I know she kind of low. She ain't talking about nothing. It's extremely coily like what you see right now and it shrinks like 80, 70, 60 percent. Okay. So can we just establish that this is 4C? Like. This is what 4C looks like, okay? Very, very tight coils, like the coils in a pin spring. People are trying to say that that's 4A. Yeah, no. Like, I I rarely see any curls get tighter than this. Like, this, this is probably as tight as it's going to get, okay? So, like, when I say 4C, like, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. Because, like... <laughs> you know, it is somewhere in proximity like to that. 80, 70, okay. 60%, then you are not alone. So this video is to inspire you to let you know that when your hair shrink, it shows. Jesus. Hair, like this lady you see right now, her hair shrinks like. And 80%. her hair is healthy too. You, you see, see them in. She haven't stretched the hair compared to stretching it right now. This is like eighty percent of shrinkage. That is what she has. I like this one. I, I thought that, that was joy. Like <laughs> that is what um, this lady have right now. So her hair is still healthy. It doesn't mean the hair is not healthy. But if your hair shrink like twenty percent, thirty percent, so maybe you overstretch your hair. Like maybe you use so much heat on your natural hair and another thing is when you relax your hair your hair doesn't shrink except the new growth that will shrink yes guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel how do you get your coils how do you define your coils subscribe guys subscribe. In here and here. I please everything. i need you to subscribe to my channel so that my channel will grow and don't forget this video is for educational purpose is to inspire our natural hair sisters out there that be finding it a struggle to care for your natural hair. It keeps your hair and moisturized for days, unlike regular oh, gel. It's real, it's real, it's so hot. Ooh, Breaking them curls hair is hair pulling hair. in. Have to appreciate your hair. Sometimes I find this shrinkage. What's the point oh, of this video? Nice. I guess she's just trying to showcase oh, like extreme and you can always shrinkage if you're really tired of the shrinkage you just want it to stretch a bit or maybe you like just showing the beauty of shrinkage maybe you need to use heat protectant on your hair so that your hair doesn't over stretch and make sure you need uh give it to professionals because if you use a stylist that is just learning how to suppress natural or she literally has no defined shape to hair. it yeah mm. so guys uh we leave you to watch this video i hope you like this video. look if we go if based on that up and also follow the then TikTok handle is on the i i'll say i'll say this i feel like 
the whole 4A, 4B, 4C is a range, but I don't necessarily feel like just because to be classified as 4C, you can't have a curl pattern because there's people who have looser, like, um, curls and bends in their hair, but I wouldn't classify them as being 4C. You know what I'm saying? I just, I feel like with the chart, the whole progression of the hair charting or hair typing chart is to like progress from looser to tighter. So if we're going with that same mindset, then I would say because 4C is the furthest on the chart, it would have to be more of the tightest curl pattern or lack thereof. Um, I've seen like, and I would say like 4B is more of like the no curl pattern range because it's like, it can be like a zigzag to almost like, no consistent zigzag pattern, at least for me. But in my eyes, the way I classify and look at 4C, I, I look at it as being the tightest of tight curl patterns or lack thereof. No defined shape is more of a zigzag. That's a defined shape. That's not making sense. Okay, you got it. <laughs> you got it. That's all you. All videos. I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Okay, what, is, what is she saying to the shrinkage? be more of a tight wave than a coil it could be but it, it still wouldn't classify as like wavy hair thank you guys for watching this video it's it's all a guide yeah, like you really can't you can't clump like afro kinky hair into three categories there's going to be some overlap there's going to be gray areas where it doesn't fit so i i get in here with what everybody is saying um it's just it's not that deep for me. It, everyone interprets it the way that they interpret it as. Um, I that's that's why I don't really focus on it too much. But like you, you can't clump all types of afros into three subcategories. It's just not realistic. So like it's never going to be any one overall consensus. And you know I'm not trying to be shady or you know, rude or mean or anything. It's just like, if that's how you feel, hey, that's, it is what it is. Some people don't agree with me, you know, like, and that's fine. I don't, that's why I don't go around calling everything 4C and 4, 4B or whatever. But when I think of, when people say 4C to me, that's what I think of. I think of the tight coils. I don't, I'm not thinking, oh, like a lack of curl pattern. Cause you can have a lack of curl pattern from not having proper, um, hair elasticity from your, your curl pattern being damaged. We've seen frizzy hair and lack of curl pattern just from that. Your hair could be heat stress. It could be hydro fatigue. It could be a number of reasons why you don't have a curl pattern. Not to say that anything is wrong if you don't have one, but I'm just saying I've touched and seen so many heads of hair that even to like try to designate like type 4C is just like this and only this is just not realistic. I get it though. I understand. All right. We are going to, let me see. Our hair is so amazing. I love looking at it. I actually do like this video. Um, it showcased different hair textures, hair types, and showed the beauty of shrinkage. I need more videos like this. Amazing. Someone got rich off of the, the design of our hair. They made the slinky. They designed springs for chairs in trucks and beds. 
Um, that's how I always explain shrinkage, like a slinky. That's what I thought. The old telephones had coil cords, and it reminded me of my hair. Percentage of shrinkage is related to curl tightness, not hair health. The tighter the curl, the more shrinkage you will have. If your hair shrinks less, your hair is less curly. Um, not necessarily. I was thinking that because it seems like most women with a lot of shrinkage have tighter curl patterns like I can't do wash and goes and if I moisturize my hair it needs to be stretched or it will shrink badly. Um, shrinkage has it's a number of variables that play into shrinkage. Of course um, the tightness of your curl pattern plays into it but like we've seen in the video there's people with looser wavier curlier hair that still have a lot of shrinkage a lot of it has to deal with um how much curl elasticity or not even curl elasticity a lot of it has to deal with how much hair elasticity you have in your cortex layer so even though you might have a tight curl pattern your curl may not spring up as much as the next person because their elasticity is just more intense than yours is. Um, and then we also see when you allow hair to get wet and then draw back up, if you just leave it to its own devices, a lot of people, their hair will shrink, 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 shrink to oblivion, like to the point where, like, to no end. But it just, it depends on how the hair is manipulated and there's other factors that play into that as well. But um, it's not really more so a curl pattern thing. It's just a unique trait to each individual person. So I don't want to. Th I don't want everyone to think that oh, just because I'm four C, that means I already have the most shrinkage than anybody else. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't. Um. Are we watching Natural Me four C tonight? No. What are we watching her for? Did somebody request it? Did I miss? Hold up. I feel like. Let me refresh. Let me make sure I ain't miss nobody. Is she talking about anything or is she just talking about not recording for like two years? Let me know if I miss something. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, don't. I don't see it. I don't. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, no. No. All right. Um. She just posted a video. Two. Ain't that what the video said? Hold on. I saw it in our Discord. I never really watched her like that. I just knew of her. Yeah, see what happens when you don't record for two years. She said it in her title. It looked like they just updating. It don't look like she's talking about her hair. I don't want to. I don't care about that shit. <laughs> she's the girl who had lines. Oh shit, she had lines to date. I hope she all right. Well, she clearly she doing pretty good, but I hope she doing better. Maybe that's why she stopped recording. I'm not shady. I said what I said. All right. You know what? Last video of the night, we got Romaine's request. 10 stupid lock mistakes. Naturally textured. Thank you so much. I need to hurry up and take my ass to bed. Ali and I got to go apartment hunting tomorrow. We going on some tours. So we'll see how that turns out. You are real, baby, not shady. Oh, I can be shady, too. I, I, I'm not in denial about that. It's fun shade, though. It's fun shade. Ooh, that's exciting. 
I feel like it's going to be full of disappointment. That's what I feel like. It seemed like all the apartments um, that we were looking at, it was almost like everybody had negative things to say, either about the management or the reviews was like, do not rent here, do not rent here. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, well, look, we kind of got to take the bad with the good because we on a budget. So, you know, it's going to be our first place just till we get on our feet and then, you know, we can, uh, we can maybe transition to something a little better. You said keep an eye out for the amount of light the apartment gets. I can't believe I stayed the whole... Yeah, I remember you... Wait, you said sometimes I dip to go watch Netflix and Hulu. Oh, it's cool. I remember somebody said... I think it was somebody else who said they were sleepy and they were going to catch the replay. What about renting a small home? Mm, I think Aaliyah's renting a home now with her roommates. And I think... I think she wants to do the apartment situation, at least for now. You should vlog it. Yeah, I'm not really good with the vlogs. I kind of want to, I kind of want to be in the moment. I sometimes feel like vlogging takes you out of the moment. Water stains on walls and ceiling. I'm more concerned about like pests and roaches and, um, yeah, little things like they like definitely the stains on the wall and ceiling leaking. Um, the neighbors, is it in the hood? Uh, like, am I gonna be able to like leave my car at night? Like, you know, just yeah. When you go on the tours, ask about the bad reviews. Don't stay around Avondale Estates. Yeah, definitely not going there. But thank you. Thank you. Um <laughs> Yeah, so I I think we got a good number of choices. We found like 10 different apartments we want to like look at and go on tours on. Um and I told her we need to start doing that this month and like knocking those out to see just kind of um just checking off our list as far as like which places we think are possible move in places for us. Um, but yeah, get a doorbell camera. Oh yeah. Henny got one of those. Shall I be reading them Google reviews? Like they be like, don't go here. Don't rent from this place. I'm like, ah, oh. it's cool. Check the area at night. Oh, that's a good point. And moisture, look under every sink, every windowsill. If the unit is on ground floor, check that it's off the ground. Some to avoid leaks. I'm neurotic, bugs, ceiling stains indicate leaks. Go after 5 p.m. His vlog angles are hilarious. Who? You talking about me? That is what made me buy a home. My first apartment was my last. A lot of apartments have bad reviews in the metro Atlanta area. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you kind of can't avoid it. It's, it's really the management. The management and the lack of maintenance crew. And that, that seems to be like the common denominator between all the apartment places. Because, like, the apartments be looking nice in the pictures and shit. But, mm-mm. Get a ring doorbell. We got one for our house. I love it because in the app, it shows you all the crime in your area. Go in the evening when everyone is home to check the noise level, top floor if possible. Look up the crime statistics in the area. All right, anyways, we're going to go. Thank you, everybody, for the tips. We're going to go ahead and uh, check her out. What happened? I wash my hair twice a year. Stupid, stupid girl. Ooh, let me turn this down. Mm -hmm. 
Hello. <laughs> what? It's Andrea. <laughs> and you are watching another Naturally Textured Original where we are going to talk about locks and knives. Locks and knives, lice and life and locks. Huh? Life and knives, all that. Well, she got a pimple today. I thought she was past puberty. Clearly not. That adult act made me tripping. So I used the community tab yesterday to ask y'all what video y'all would like to see from me. I like her Almost already. Half of y'all wanted to see me talk about stupid things I've done to my locks. Time to get in, get into it. <laughs> Number one, chopped them off and threw them in the garbage. And Damn. And Gertrude went to the great beyond. Stupid, stupid girl. I had gotten to, I think about five months locked. Damn. And my locks were just flourishing. They was getting long. They was colored red. That was the wrong red. But we ain't going into that. They were long. They were luscious. They were blowing the wind. Now, some may not think that was stupid, but considering I went back to locks afterwards, that was stupid. Ooh, my skin is, you can see all my freckles. Ooh, that's too much action. That's too much freckle action. Number two, I twisted them, braided them, interlocked them, instant locked them. And one other thing, I can't remember. Ooh. I did all five of them things within a month. What? Or two to try and get them started up again after I sliced them off. I should have just waited until my hair was longer, but I was just thirsty. I was a thirsty dog and I just wanted them, I, I just wanted them back and I didn't want to wait. So I just tried everything. What number we on? <laughs> number three, what's number three? I colored them unevenly and stupidly. I put high lift color and a booster on them and it was a disaster. Watch this. Oh, Lord. Oh, shit. Oh, Lord. oh, my God. I don't even have to explain why that one was stupid. <laughs> you can see that one firsthand. It was a bad idea. Number four, I interlocked them down to my brain and then combed them out. I was getting too comfortable with interlocking and thought that I could take a little bit more pain for a little bit more neatness and it just didn't work out that way. It was a hot mess. It was very stupid. Don't interlock your locks too close to your brain, please. Please don't be like me. Number five. She needs I help. That many, I got that many stupid things I've done to my locks. I didn't wash them for almost a month. It sounds nasty, right? Yep. Oh, but it's not too me, bad. I didn't wash my hair for two months and it was fine. I wash my hair twice a year. My scalp likes to flake. After going like a month without washing my hair, it was a hot damn mess. It was flaking, it was snowing. I will never do it again. I will wash my hair every two weeks faithfully. Number six, I washed my hair without putting rubber bands on it, without putting a stocking cap on it, without protecting it in any way to stop it from unraveling. And then complained about it unraveling. In my mind, y'all, I thought that my hair would get the memo and start to tangle because my hair used to mat like when I was loose natural without any help. So I'm thinking, so this is gonna be the day when it stops unraveling. No, and then a week later, this is gonna be the day that it stops unraveling. And I never would put any elastics on the ends. I would never put a stocking cap on and I would keep having to re retwist, re interlock read this, read that, to try and get it to stop unraveling. And people were telling me in the comments, Andrea, you gotta do this, 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 and this. And I'm like, no, I'm lazy. Stop telling me to do stuff. And- uh, <laughs> Okay, so just seeing like where her hair is here, I don't think she would be a good candidate for starter locks at this point in time. Only because her hair is really loose and I can tell her hair is very soft just from how wispy and all the flyaways and things. Um, so yeah, her hair probably would definitely mat up and tangle, but your hair needs a bit more length to like do that because it gives more room for the tangles to occur. If your hair is only like three inches, like nobody's hair tangles with three inches. Like, I mean, I guess it could, but like, Three inches, like, this would be really hard to do. But yeah, all right. <laughs> and it ended up backfiring, so then, so now I have more manipulation to my hair and more of a risk of damage. So, if my hair fall off, it's totally my fault. Number, number, number seven. 
it's hard for me to do uh, finger numbers. I'm not stupid, I promise y'all. I'm very intelligent. I don't know. I can tell. I don't know what's happening. I, can I kept tell. putting this mess on my hair repeatedly, even after I knew it was giving me flakes. Okay, this is the Lily of the Desert 99% Aloe Vera Jelly Soothing Moisturizer Enhanced with Polysaccharide Rich Aloe Zorb. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> B U L S it's booty in a bottle. Okay. And it makes my hair flake every time I put it on there. And I kept putting it on there and kept having to wash my hair vigorously. And then my hair would unravel. And then I'll have to re interlock, re instant lock, redo this, redo that. Okay. Kept using it. Number eight. I have compared my locks to other people's locks. And that is one of the stupidest things that you can do. It sounds like she's learned a lot through this. Most probably do it because we all have lock crushes, lock hair crushes. And um, mine, personally, is my sister. Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> Tiger. I was fixated <laughs> on how my locks were developing, how they were maturing. I was just paying too much damn attention to them. I couldn't keep my hands out of them. And... I'm sure that probably led to some mechanical damage because my hands stayed in my head. And I'm sure it was because I was going for a look that someone else had. It's great that I now realize that because now I'm just coasting. I'm coasting through this journey. Okay. Is this her editing? I want my locks to look like my locks. I encourage you as well not to compare your locks to someone else's. Number nine, I got too many. I ain't going past 10. Uh, <laughs> when I had my first set of locks on YouTube, I was styled a mess out of them things. I always had my locks in the style for the first like couple months. Okay, they were kind of long. And marriage was a really big issue with my first lock journey here on YouTube. And I was complaining about the marriage, but I wouldn't stop styling my hair. It didn't make any sense, it was stupid. So that's number nine. I ain't got no more. I don't have 10. It would be nice to have 10 stupid things I've done to my locks. Nope. I got nine. And that's all. I hope that you learned something from this video so you don't make some of the, the stupid mistakes that I've made with my locks. Fortunately, Gertie is still thriving. Gertie just has a thing she does where she just thrives no matter what I do to her. But I don't want my luck to run out. So I'm not doing any more of these stupid things that I mentioned in this video. So that's it for this video, y'all. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. She's funny. Let's see. Um, I'm over two years into my lock journey and I love your videos. They crack me up. I am rooting for you. I remember I tried to use scissors to get a knot out of two locks from a style I tried. I cut all the roots except for two strands from my scalp off of one of my locks and let it hang there hoping somehow the roots would find its way back. <laughs> Your personality shines. Love watching your videos. I've been thinking about locking for three years, but I want to really enjoy my curls first as I'm scared I will miss them. I cut my locks after five months in December 2020. I just wanted to shave my head and gain the experience. After eight months post-shaved head, I relocked. <laughs> However, I like this set better because they're smaller and I have 154 locks, which I had 100 the last time. I took a lot more care with how many the size of having a straighter middle part. I regret nothing and neither should you. It's a learning experience. Your hair is beautiful. That's what's up. You're so funny. Subscribe instantly. And you're so damn knowledgeable. What she say? Thank you, love. I can't deal with you. You are so silly. But the good news is that you learn what your hair needs, and that's what matters most. Hold up. You crack me up. I am super straight, but I got a crush on you. Thank you for being candid, and you are beautiful. I hope you... Stay coasting. I just celebrated my one year anniversary and you were supposed to be with me.
<laughs> Thank you. I appreciate your support. I speak progression, prosperity, and growth over Gertie right now. Congratulations on your one year lock anniversary. I'll get there eventually. Um, hmm, I, I don't have a I don't have a sound bite, I don't think. Um Bruh. <laughs> I, that that was a lot. Super straight. Hmm. Read the reply. I forgot to say it was fun and informative to go down memory lane with you. Good luck with this channel. Her super straight is giving by. Her comment is giving attached. Very much attached. All right. Um. Pull out. All right, y'all. That is going to be it for tonight. Let's go ahead and head on over to the closing screen. All right. Shout out to everybody for all the love, support, thumbs up views, and hanging in there with this long ass stream. Y'all know how we do every week, Thursday, approximately at 6 p.m. Tonight it was 8. But we got here, we came, we conquered, and now we going and taking our ass to bed. So shout out to everybody with the donations, super chats, cash app, and the tipping page. Also, shout out to the Patreon members, channel members, and I feel like it was somebody else I need to shout out. Everybody, I, I, I can't keep up. Oh, shout out to Superior Vice TV for the timestamps she delivers every week for us to make it easier for us to go back, watch the live stream, and see who it is that we're watching. Thank you so much. Be sure to check her out. Her channel is Superior Vibes TV if you haven't seen it already. Now, she did say she ain't doing natural hair videos like that, but she do have an extensive library of natural hair care, hairstyling, and product reviews. Okay? So be sure to go and check that out. All right. <laughs> um, again, a friendly reminder to all of the channel members and Patreon members. We are going to have our exclusive um, Sip and Paint party next month, February the 19th, which is on a Saturday. Um, I will notify those of y'all who are channel members of all the supplies and things you will need for said paint party. Um, the Patreon members, y'all should know, it's on the page. I already told y'all. I kind of forgot to update the channel members. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, Patreon. The next um, stream is going to be next week on Saturday the 22nd. And what other housekeeping do I need to... Um, just thank you guys. I I, I really needed this because today was stressful. It was stressful. I woke up. I, I didn't even get a good night's rest because my mama woke my ass up. And, you know, I was kind of debating, like, should I do this video? Do I, should I do this stream tonight? Like, I just don't know. But I'm glad I did. Y'all always make everything better. Um, So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. And y'all have a good night. I'm going to see y'all next week. All right? Oh. Actually, y'all probably gonna see me sooner than that because I'm retwisting Aaliyah's hair on Saturday, so y'all gonna get a live stream of that. And I'm gonna try to do my uh, little uh, beard twist out video soon. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna edit that one. So y'all gonna get y'all gonna get an edited video from me. Congrats. Um, sing, sing, sing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm a little. I'm a little drained right now. I ain't gonna lie. I got y'all next week. I promise. I got y'all next week. All right. Until the next one, y'all be blessed and have a wonderful night. Bye.